Z30, boo. Ah! Ah! Hello there, mortals. I am Jensen, and welcome to Hydronia. This is going to be the start of a series that I am going to be streaming live on YouTube. I'm going to be uploading the videos as their own recorded thing. I've got some things to say. There have been a couple of failures that we've played, and unfortunately, yesterday, I fixed everything, but I was in a bit of a strange headspace yesterday. I, uh, had a strange reaction to some medication, so yesterday was a complete write-off. But we did learn a couple of things. One, the MILF's aquifer is really, really hard to actually pipe water to. Two, we do kind of need to set up Ember Cradle with a little bit of automation. So, I have behind me a brand spanking new save right here. Subscribe! Hint, hint. And we're going to load into it. Now, I know that the save is not going to break because I have applied my own fix to it. Wonderful. Excellent. So, let's get started, right? Uh, also, if you are unfamiliar with the chat up in the corner, uh, Scott's World has just drawn Jevil from the popular game Deltarune, which actually slaps. Good God, that game is so much fun. It's a rather simple interpretation. I'm more used to tail and lanky when it comes to drawing, so I'm not used to small and chunky. Ah, that is a... a, a Chunky more it seems like clown to me than it does devil, but, you know, I, I don't know many devils, to be quite honest. They, they could be quite chunky entities. So I did a quick one and then moved on to Peatley, which is the... Oh, fan made boss for Chapter 3. Okay. Well, we'll see if that if that uh, that prediction kind of lends a little bit of merit when Chapter 3 does come out. But do we actually know when Delta Rune Chapter 3 is going to come out? By the way, for anyone watching this, I have already done this kind of like starting sequence maybe five times on stream in the last two weeks. So we're going to blast through the early game and then we are going to blast through the early automation. And hopefully we'll have basically a house and a really good setup by the time the stream ends so that we can go literally anywhere else. Because Ember Cradle kind of sucks. It kind of sucks for resources. We're going to try and outgrow it as fast as possible. All right, we'll dump into here. So first we need around about... Three, four hundred buckery boos. Actually, we need to drop that down, grab another shovelful. We need about 300 buckery boos to start piping in some water to get to the bottom layer of the dirt down here, which also means we need a pickaxe, which is probably going to be included in the pricing job that I just mentioned. Uh, and then we are going to basically rush the automation, I think. That'll be it. I had a lot of fun playing this yesterday. Found out making a sword gives 30% more value from the materials used. Ah, that's good to know. Have you found that NPCs give you quests yet? Uh, there's a big one up in the castle when it comes to crafting items. It's very, very cool, isn't it? See, it is a really good game when the saves don't ultimately break. And after the stream, I will actually be recording a video on how to fix the game-breaking bug for any unfortunate soul who is unlucky enough to come across it. Because apparently, it's like a one in a thousand player kind of bug. Although in saying that, that's only the reported statistics, according to the developers, like one in a thousand people. And unfortunately, I think that number is higher. I think that number is way higher. It was an easy fix too. It didn't take a lot of figuring out. It took me maybe like half an hour of testing to figure out a good fix for it. I tested to see if my saves are broken. I don't think they are. If you saved it initially and then you load it back into the world. We'll test after work today. If it does break, I will be uploading a video basically on how to squash that bug uh, ultimately altogether forever. Ah, Chapter 3 is coming out end of the year. Okay, so that's a wee ways away. There's actually a few games that I am now excited for. I did find out that No More Room in Hell 2 is uh, coming out around about my birthday. So I'm probably going to get that and stream a bunch of it because that was the first game that really got me into video game development. I wasn't actually a part of the team of No More Room in Hell, but... I was kind of like an art asset maker for some mod makers and I didn't really get credit because I didn't realise when I was about 16 years old that that was a thing that I should probably ask for, but I, I got a lot of my experience of kind of multimedia management and making things from No More Room in Hell. I can't wait to play the second one. Also, Silent Hill 2, my favourite game literally ever made, is uh, getting a full remaster come basically a week before my birthday, so I will be... Uh, kind of blasting that as well, around my, my, my birthday as well. I'll pay full price for it too. It looks really, really good so far. And I want to see if they've got more endings than the secret dog ending, which I basically know off by heart at this point. Okay, we should have a, a fairly good amount of money set up so far, but we will kind of make sure that we have an excess. All right, good. Please play Silent Hill 1 first. Is there a remaster of Silent Hill 1? Because if there isn't, I will not actually be able to play it and stream it. It's unfortunate, but it should basically be locked to PlayStation, and I won't be able to play it. 
Especially not with the jank-ass tank controls, holy hell. I do feel like Silent Hill 1 was a good game for its time, but it did not age as well as Silent Hill 2 did, by a long shot. Did you see the anime Bleach is getting a Street Fighter Smash Bros game? That's awesome! Actually, there is a mobile Bleach game that I absolutely adored. It's probably... One of... It's probably my favourite auto-battler of any mobile uh, game uh, on the market right, right there. No, there is not. You can play it with an emulator. I can t teach you how to get it very easy. I can't do it. I literally can't do it. Konami has a habit of uh, doing the Nintendo thing of striking people who uh, play their content. Uh, alternatively, I guess I could say. So, uh, no, I don't want to uh, kind of jump down that legal rabbit hole. But I do want to play Silent Hill 2. Especially the remaster. Good grief, I loved that so much when I was a kid. One of my first ever games that I played as well. Well... Maybe a couple of years after Doom or so. But I got a PlayStation... I think it was PlayStation 1 quite early in my life when I was like eight years old. And I ended up getting my first two games for it. No, my first three games for it were 40 Winks, which was really, really cool and a, a little bit cheesy, kind of horror-oriented. Uh, Silent Hill, which is probably not what you should be giving an eight-year-old. And Nightmare Creatures was number three. That was also a really, really good game. I would be surprised to see a remaster of Nightmare Creatures, but if there is ever one that comes to PC, I will definitely be playing it. Good grief. Love it. A lot of people also give the Silent Hill movies a, a bit of a bad reputation, but I quite love them as well. They, they are beloved in my eyes. Okay, we should have a couple of hundred bucks worth of crap right here, but again, I'm going to be thermonuclear with this, and I'm not going to take any chances. Oops, didn't mean to put that there. Good, we'll pick this up, and I think after one more shovel and pan, we'll go up and we'll exchange our money for whatever we've got. What is in here? Let's see. We're about to find out. Let's spin the wheel. Let's spin the wheel. Yes, 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 yes. I saw Dog Shark recently was uh, playing Hygienera as well. It's so fun. It's such a good game. One of the first games I ever played was Croc Le Legend of the Gobbos. Uh, the word Gobbo probably... Oh, nice. The word Gobbo probably hasn't... Um, is that recorded? No. Okay, so I've also... Sorry, I've also reset all of my achievements, and I just got my first achievement for uh, selling my first thing and getting my first bit of money. Yeah, Gobbo is, is probably not the... Not a word that you should put on a kid's game, mainly because... Well, it, now more so than than before, right? Because uh, it, it's, a, it's a... It's a blowy thing. <laughs> it's, a, it, it's a blowy reference. So we need a pickaxe. We definitely need a pickaxe to get to bottom level. We got uh, quite a bit of money left over. We've got 149, which means we can get one of these intake pipes and probably a couple of these straight pipes as well. I'm actually going to go out, and before I buy all these, I'm going to get the cart. It is a beautiful game. Still really hoping you play Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. I watch stream it, streamers play it all the time. I'll probably get around to playing it. Like, it's not the kind of game that I would necessarily choose to play, and I'm not sure how I would play it on PC. But... I will be playing an arse load of games. That is the whole point of these weekly streams. I'm going to be absolutely blasting through just about every game that I ever wanted to play on YouTube, minus the time restriction of editing them into a, a big episode of things. Okay, we need about 10 of these. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is probably going to cost a little bit more than we have. I'm just going to drop this here and put this intake pipe on here as well. Here we go. How much? Uh, 234 bucks. We have 149. We're going to go and brush pan a little bit more. Hello, handsome man. Hello there, BSM Trigger. Welcome to the stream. You know, the first game I ever played was Doom. Doom. It came out on my birth year, 1994. And I think in 1995, it overtook Windows as the most downloaded application of the year, which is pretty insane, if you think about it. But uh, I, I was just getting into gaming, right? And my dad saw me kind of fiddling around with a couple of point-and-click Flash games on, on the internet, and he fired up Doom for the first time, and I played it for a bit, and I was like, Dad, this is way too hard. And he was like, don't worry, Daddy knows the cheat codes. So I got to play the entire game through with God Mode and stuff like that. What a great dad. What a great dad. Enabling his, uh, his very, very young son, I think I was about five, maybe six, at the time to, to play Doom. Kicked me off on a gigantic uh, tirade of, of horror appreciation as well. What a guy. I love my dad. It's very much like Deltarune. Oh, the Paper Mario games. I would not know. I haven't seen anything about them. But I have been kind of willfully burying my head in the sand when it comes to video games. And also, I just want to thank all of my viewers for not spoiling anything when it comes to Deltarune and Undertale for me. I know how, just how hard it is not 
to spoil a beloved franchise when somebody starts dipping their toe into the fandom. So uh, everybody who knows everything that there is to know about Deltarune and has still just, like, let me figure it out on my own, thank you all. Thank every single one of you. You all deserve a, a, a big clap and a pat on the back. Okay, let's uh, get another piece of dirt on the shovel. And we're good. We'll brush that and we'll shovel this in. We could probably actually do with just a few... We could do with few po fewer pipes in the cart, couldn't we? We could definitely do with fewer pipes in the cart. But I definitely want to kind of get to deep uh, level about as fast as we possibly can. Especially on this map. Because all of our automation constraints are based around that. And once we start getting down to the bottom of the map, we will start making core stone. Which is an ore that will do us a real good solid in the near future. I'll brush this. And we'll go see what we have to work with. Did you check my comments? I don't know how to do that. I've, I've only got my streaming software up, so I can uh, basically free up all of the resources my computer has for the game that I am playing. Also, I can show you how to play it on PC, like uh, share screen if you'd like. That'd be useful. Uh, I'll let you know when I get around to uh, considering it, because Mario is one of those franchises that is absolutely gigantic. And I know there's a lot of lore surrounding it. I feel like I would have to know a lot of the lore of the previous games. Like, I've seen th some of the creepy Easter egg compilations on YouTube definitely cite one of the Mario games as having kind of like the cr one of the creepiest instances of horror in gaming. Like the, uh, the, the level where you're basically in hell or purgatory or something and you look up and there's like a thousand different guys standing at the edge of the map staring at you. We are... Nine bucks short. Let's go brush a couple more things and then we'll buy up all of those pipes. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door is very standalone. Okay, I'll definitely consider it, but again, it probably won't be anytime soon. I got a, I got a big list to get through. I'll be getting through the uh, arcane games like, um, oh, what are they? There's Dishonored. I love Dishonored. We need water. Okay, let's drop that back in there. Love Dishonored. I'm going to be doing all of those games before I get to anything else. And I also want to do Battlefield Hardline before I forget that it's loaded up on my PC. Because that's the last game I want to play on the EA Play membership, basically. And as soon as I play that, I'm done paying nine bucks a month for EA Play. Which is uh, going to be very exciting for me. Okay, that should be enough money. Great, here we go. Excellent. So we should be able to get the pickaxe and the pipes basically with just this float right here that we've got in this bucket. You would have to have your stream open so you can see something chat. There is also a little heart in my pop-out chat so that I can see uh, the chat, basically. Uh, there's a little heart that I can click to stick on my stream. It blocks some of the words. See who's chat? Something said. You would have to have your stream open so you can see the, the whole chat. Okay. Yeah. So, but turn it down on a separate device. Again, that's a lot of administration that I don't necessarily want to do while I'm streaming. I'll get to your comment after I have finished uh, streaming, because that's basically how I'm working these days. I want to basically assign all of the time that I've allocated for streaming just to streaming alone. And it's going to be a little bit hard to enforce, but I think I can do it if I'm, if I'm just a little bit strict enough. Okay, good. So we'll set up basically where we usually set up, which is right here, facing inwards. We'll take this intake pipe. We'll stick this bad boy right here, maybe. I think that would be the best place. Yep, that'll feed in well, and we'll start sticking some straights up on this bad boy right here. Un, de, toi, uh, French for four. Uh, whoops. Okay, probably should have said it in French. And French for five. And let's not forget, of course, the beloved French for six. And, of course, French for seven. And probably one more, and then it'll drop straight into the shaft that we're probably going to dig out at uh, this immediate moment. Yes, we are definitely going to do this. Let's start digging straight down the cardinal sin of Minecraft. I said, why the hell did you restart? What, from yesterday or from the nasty bug that was deleting saves? Because one of those answers is common sense and the other one is uh, probably not public information. I wasn't feeling all there yesterday. And we basically wasted all of our money on buying a plot of land that we couldn't mine. So I've just kind of gone ahead. I've started a new game. This is going to be the first episode in the series that actually goes up on YouTube, by the way. The official series that I start doing of Hydroneer, because I know enough about the game now to not, like, waste huge amounts of time. Because uh, yesterday was the first time we'd actually bought a parcel of land. And by when I say we, I mean I bought a parcel of land in this entire game. And I also want to see the Volcano DLC. I can't remember what it's called. Vo Volcanus or something like that? 
I think we actually need a, a couple more pipes to come down here. Let's go ahead and uh, we will unstuck on this side. Ah, it is Trench Foot Man. It is Trench Foot Man. Uh, in a different world, a different alternate reality. And, and basically kind of like a separate Marvel Cinematic Universe, you could say. This is like the Doctor Strange universe of Hydra Nier right here. So does this drip all the way down? Yes, good. Excellent. Now we have to create a little hollow with our pickaxe all the way down there. How much money do we have and what are the beds cost? Because we probably don't want to do it in the dark, let's be fair. Actually, we don't have to, do we? We don't have to do it in the dark at the... At all. Where is it? There it is. Good. We got a lamp. I'm going to drop this down the hole. Excellent. I have just received another achievement for turning on the lantern. Drop that bad boy down there. Dr. Trentsfoot, but does I, Gunner? Yes, I recognize you, Gunner. You were here yesterday when I was having my dizzy spell. <laughs> I'm actually surprised all of you guys let me away with that, to be honest. I was, I was flip-flopping so much. We started so many things, didn't really finish anything except for the fishing, which only really took an hour. How did I sleep? I placed a bed and couldn't figure out how to use it. You just click on it. Uh, but you you have to place the bed. You can't, like, drop it on the map. you got to actually, like, place it as if it's a, a building component, which requires you click with it in your hand. I'm going to Six Flags, but I'm scared of heights. What do you do? Um, my technique for overcoming fear is to dive headfirst into the fear until you are too desensitized to it. Honestly, that is the only way that I have found uh, people can really overcome fear reliably over and over again. It's by doing the fear. Well, it's my first time seeing you. I had no idea how you act normally. Oh, I'm, I'm very proactive normally. I'm, I'm very, very onto it. And usually I'm very sharp and witty. I'm not like the, uh, I'm not the ums and ahs guy, you know, just kind of sitting there like, what do I do? Huh? You know, those kind of streamers, the, the ones that like, they won't say anything until somebody actually gets into the chat. Uh, but unfortunately with streaming, you kind of, you can't get away with dead air. So, I talk up a storm, usually. My fear is being trapped in a deep ocean cave. Do I do the same tactic? Ocean actually is probably one of my deepest seated fears in the world. However, I used to surf, and when I would surf, I wasn't necessarily scared of the ocean. I was only really afraid of the things in it, like sharks, which unfortunately was the thing that stopped me from surfing in the first place, but... You know, if I was attacked by more sharks, then chances are I wouldn't be as afraid of sharks. You know, I'd probably know how to how to deal with them if there were more sharks around me at all times. I played some Nautica to get over it. It didn't help. Oh, no. That's actually one of the games that I've got lined up for the next, uh, well, maybe within the next maybe month or so. It's going to be a stream game that I play four hours a day. So hopefully I'll be a lot less afraid of the ocean after that. But, you know, I highly doubt it. So it seems like one of those things where, you know, you're either afraid of the ocean or you just aren't, right? There's not really any in between. I used to be afraid of the dark. Uh, that was an easy one to get over, because I, when I realised that I was the scariest thing in the dark, uh, my fears of the darkness kind of just left, like a, <laughs> like something that didn't want to be around me anymore. Like, the darkness started fearing me once I stopped fearing the darkness, I, I guess you could say. Hell yeah, you're going to 100% suffer. I, I, I'm nervous. I am nervous, but I, at the same time, I cannot wait to suffer. I am a bit of a masochist, let's face it. I'm definitely a masochist when it comes to these games. Uh, let's drop this bucket down to the hole. Boop. Wow, can't believe that reached the bottom without uh, hitting anything. And the shovel, we're going to need that bad boy. And let's drop it down. Boop. And we're also going to need, of course, our trusty brush right here to brush our teeth with. And, of course, to brush all of the mud and feces off of the ores that we are going to be collecting. Uh, let's drop our bucket where the water is falling. Excellent. I don't know if that's actually filling. Let's see. Let's put some dirt in here and then we do a brush. Good. I actually found that if you just kind of like shovel all of the items down south in the biomes down here too, it gradually gets rid of all of the crap that you don't want down here as well, which kind of saves us a lot of picking, I suppose, and also gives us a little bit more production. Okay, get some of this. You're the scariest thing in most situations. Oh, come on. Once you get to know me, I'm not so scary. I'm not so scary. Although, uh, that's funny. Um, uh, Z30 there, he's a personal friend of mine. I'm not going to dox him, of course, but... Uh, I think last time I saw him, we had a couple of beers and I was showing him just how great uh, martial arts can be if you do it for two decades. And I think <laughs> I almost reflexively threw an elbow into his face when he was like, oh, what if I counter this with that? A little bit rough, sir. 
You're going to get PTSD from hearing all the Reapers. I literally get afraid when I hear just the sound effects, though I'm not going to spoil the game. Uh, I, kn I know what's in the game. I know it's in the game. It's been recommended to me a lot ever since I started streaming kind of like as a hobby back in 2019. So I know what's in the game, but mm -hmm. to experience it for myself, that is going to be a harrowing experience. I think maybe even uh, Silent Hill 2 might be less scary than Subnautica in, in ways. God, I forgot about that. Yeah, you almost hit me in the face. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have a couple of beers and then the old martial arts comes out. Uh, I had one friend, I'm um, not going to name him either, uh, but basically I gave him a TV remote and said, uh, try and stab me with this. And uh, he like gave a thrust and I, I gave a good um, push and then up into the chin and he just had the, the remote sticking into his neck like that, real rough. I was going to do like a, a series on how to do some self-defense on YouTube, but I kind of also think that maybe if I start showing people how to defend themselves on YouTube without kind of also having the responsibility of knowing that I don't do tournament style or submission style. I basically learned martial arts that kill out of interest. Uh, I don't want somebody to accidentally commit manslaughter and then get registered as a lethal weapon because they know enough martial arts. I played in VR on my Oculus. Oh, Subnautica, is that in VR? Oh, no. Oh, well, I have one too, so I have to play it in VR at least one episode, right? I've got to. Oh, I've also got Hitman, World of, World of Assassination, Hitman 3. Uh, that's got VR, and I literally have not seen anybody play it in VR, so I'm very excited to play that in VR. I love Hitman so much. It's such a fun game. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. It has a VR mode. Yes, excellent. Okay, wonderful. I just, I, I don't know if I can stream it. That's the issue. I don't know if I can stream all the VR games that I want to stream. Because I kind of need somebody at the sideline to not only tell me when I'm about to put my fist through my desktop and computer, but I also need somebody to be able to read chat out if I am going to be streaming it, which mm -hmm. might have to be my girlfriend or my best friend, Carl. And both of those people would probably rather spend four straight hours either playing video games for themselves or doom scrolling. That is uh, Carl and Sam's favorite, favorite uh, hobbies, retrospectively. You use Steam Link, by the way? I use Steam Link. Oh, for uh, VR. No, I've got an Earlink cable. I cable straight into my computer for the uh, low latency because I find that using Steam Link every now and then can kind of get the headset to stutter. And when you're playing a VR game, that can be the, the make or break between whether or not you get mad motion sickness. So maybe maybe I'll be uh, doing a, a bunch of cabled runs. Besides, I won't be going too far from my computer because that has all of my recording software as well. There is an app you can install in the Oculus to show chat. Ah, that could be really handy, actually. That could be really handy, actually. Wow, uh, thanks. If you can actually link that on my Discord, I'll look into it, and maybe I will stream a couple of the games. But I do also, uh, I have hypervigilance in the eyes and ears, so I might not be streaming for, like, the full four-hour sessions either. I might be doing it for, like, an hour at a time, then I'll just move on to a, a game on desktop. Because I don't really want to bug in my eyes or get square eyes or anything like that. You know, as they say. NH2 download and suggestions. I have a Discord? Yeah, I've got a Discord. Uh, if you want to talk to me or my community, you can go into the description of this stream or into the description of any of the videos I've posted in the last few months. You'll find a link to a Discord. That is my Discord. It's pretty cool, actually. I just launched a new channel called You Bop, You Lose, where basically uh, once a week I'll post an album. And if you can sit through the entire thing without enjoying a single song, you win. So, uh, you know, by that logic alone... The only losers really are the winners <laughs> of the challenge. Uh, they're good albums too. They're uh, some of my most beloved. And they're albums that I would consider don't really have any more bad songs on them. They're like one or two. The first challenge was uh, Hollywood Undead's Hotel California Deluxe Edition. It slaps. I lost immediately. <laughs> nice. Yeah, they're really good, aren't they? I know half of the people who go into the You Bop, You Lose are going to look at Hollywood Undead and just immediately concede as well. It's going to be a good one. Uh, I've got some other good ones. I am going to be mixing up the genres quite frequently as well, so it's not, like, all going to be indie rock and stuff like that. It's all just going to be, like, a big, diverse celebration of, of music genres, because not all music genres suck. Only the artists in music genres suck. I mean, you could win by using headphones but not wearing them. Oh, uh, yeah, but that kind of defeats the spirit of the, of the challenge, don't you think? I mean, is it really a challenge if you don't actually do the challenge? It's like the ice bucket challenge, right? But instead of having an ice bucket, you uh, just have nothing. To, to have a literal comparison of that challenge. Okay, we've been panning for like 15 minutes. I think it's safe to say we've got heaps of money right here, right? We've probably actually got enough money. I'm going to estimate 1.2 thousand. I'm going to estimate 1.2 thousand gold. 
with this one, with this one right here. Also, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be streaming Hydrogen Air again and I am going to be doing a giveaway of the last key that I have. Oh, I was so close. I was so close. So if you want a free key for this game yourself, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a big stream. I'm going to harvest up a heap, an absolute arse load of resources into a single bucket and then we're going to take it to the shop and I'll get everybody to guess the value of it. The person who get the, gets the closest value will win the game key. And hopefully... They won't already own a copy of the game. Let's see who gets it. You already got one, Scott. <laughs> you're, you're immediately disqualified, unfortunately. You can still participate, of course. I'll tell you what. If anybody already owns the game and they get it right, they get to nominate who gets the game in chat. How does that sound? That sounds pretty fair, right? If somebody already owns the game, then that's, that's how it works. I've also found some really good news. Uh, this game uses remote play for its online co-op. So, technically... One game only needs to be required for all of your friends to play Hydrogenia with you. You don't actually need it for co-op. You, you can just use the remote play feature on Steam to join the multiplayer games. And I don't think a proper uh, integral multiplayer is really planned for this game, so that's probably the best we're going to get for a, at least a year or two. I will give two virtual doubloons if you nominate me. I will, I, sorry, I am not going to be nominating anybody. I am very, very good at uh, gauging the value of things in video games, so I will not be playing whatsoever because i'll just give it to myself <laughs> very good okay so what do we want to do with this what are we doing down here still brushing we need to buy all of the automation don't we let's go unstuck and we'll go to the shop right over here yes 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 and then we'll start buying all of the infrastructure so we need two machines these two right here yeah i figured that out like uh four worlds ago my dude keep up keep up dimensional traveler keep up so that's 750 bucks down the toilet. We have 660 left. That's probably actually enough for just the piping. We should be pretty good. You could almost afford a nuke. A, a, a nuke is two. A nuke is 26,000 gold. We found that out yesterday. They're a little bit expensive. Jared Marshall. Hi there, Jared Marshall. Welcome to the stream and congratulations on doxing yourself as uh, Z30's friend. Right there with your actual IRL name. <laughs> congratulations. Woo, I have to leave early tonight, sadly. Ah, uh, that's okay, that's okay. There's always going to be the videos up on YouTube. So, nobody will miss anything. You'll only miss out on the conversation. Uh, let's go ahead, take our money. We'll go over to the shop over here. I thought it was 2K. Yeah, I thought it was 2K initially as well. Uh, turns out it's 26,000 buckery booze, which is a little bit above budget, gotta be said. You could become a nuclear power. I am the nuclear power right now. Hilariously, I am the only person in the game who is capable of actually farming up these resources. Uh, we also need to take a look at farming because I've uh, kind of thought of a way to automate agriculture by just setting up a bunch of T-junctions above all of the uh, things that we want to grow and just have it constantly dripping water onto all of the agriculture. I don't know how we're going to auto-harvest it. Probably don't want to auto-harvest it. I'm probably just going to use the sickle forever. So we're actually going to need a heap of elbow joints to get all of this stuff down south. We're probably going to need about maybe 12. I'll get 14, just to be sure, to be sure. Four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and eleven, and twelve, and I'll get 14 for good measure. One and two spears. Good. So I don't know how much that's going to cost, but we could probably afford it. Uh, we're going to need a few other things. We're going to need a couple of T-junctions, of course, to kind of set up the infrastructure for all of the automation that we want to do. We don't want one of those uh, pressurized tanks just yet. So I'm going to get four T-junctions. We're not going to use all four of them. I think we're only going to use two for now. Uh, we already have an intake pipe, and we're going to need a heap of these straights as well. Good. We'll get a bunch of straights. One, two, maybe like a thousand. Three and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and also ten, and eleven, and twelve, and we'll get thirteen, and fourteen, and fifteen, and sixteen, and seventeen, and eighteen, and nineteen, and twenty! Twenty straights! There we go! I call that the old sports bar. Remember to bury an NPC alive to prevent a curse? I, I think the curse yesterday was the... The medication that I was adjusting to, unfortunately, it gave me this real big dizzy rush like half an hour into the stream. I am genuinely surprised no one called me out on it because I'm usually uh, quite hyperactive when I'm in front of a camera. But yesterday it was, uh, <laughs> it was a little bit, little bit touch and go. 
Uh, we don't have nearly enough for this, but we we did actually farm up a heap of money already. Sorry, I just uh, misclicked on my keyboard. Had to make sure that I didn't end the stream accidentally. My last keyboard had something that I really liked on it. My last keyboard, uh, a Logitech burner, I think we could all just call it at this point, had a uh, little notch on the W key so that when you take your hand off of the W key, you can immediately stick it back on. But this one doesn't, so I keep like readjusting my hand all over the place. Just make sure to prevent a curse. Okay, we'll try and drown a couple of NPCs, or at least encase them in some kind of soiled tomb, uh, just to prevent that, that curse of the head rush that we had yesterday. Okay, uh, we'll brush a little bit more. We need about 300 buckery booze, which shouldn't actually be that bad to get initially. Uh, we've only been doing this for half an hour, and we've already got a pretty significant portion of what we need. Okay, we'll get that, and we'll shovel up some dirt, put it in the bucket, and we'll brush it, we'll shovel up some dirt, pack it in there, and we'll brush it, and then we will uh, shovel up some dirt, and we'll brush it. Captain Trenchfoot knows exactly what to do, even though, uh, it's pretty obvious, he keeps trying to brush the walls. He's just, again, he's just trying to do it. I don't know why he keeps doing that either. It's, it's not like I'm telling him to do it. He's just doing it off of his own volition. It's not me doing it whatsoever. There he goes again. Why is he doing that? It's so strange. What, did I not put soil in this? No, I did not. That's funny. Okay, Captain Trenchfoot. Uh, okay, <laughs> he's really broken his brain, it seems. Also, can't you fill the bucket with more than one thing of dirt? Unfortunately not. If you put a thing of dirt in there and then you get a second one in there, you get nothing. You get nothing. It's a mechanic. Okay, try to drop that. But I do like to have a little bit of dirt on the shovel when I am kind of like trying to fill it in. So I'll do that actually, just so that we can kind of skip having to grab dirt from the shovel every single time. Okay, and this side, we'll put one in here, and we will get another little bit of dirt, and then we'll brush, and then we'll drop, and then we'll drop that in there, and we'll do a bit of a brush. <laughs> a radical cry? Uh, I, don't, I don't think I want to, to be quite honest. I'm, I'm not really sure that the stream is really the appropriate place to, uh, to do such a thing, especially off of the um, insistence of chat. So I, I, I don't think I'll be doing that, and if, if that costs me a subscriber, so be it. I gotta be emotionally charged when I cry in a game. Okay, we've probably actually got enough to get the automation completely set up now downstairs. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, look, it's daytime. We worked all throughout the night. I hope we can have enough spare money for a bed as well. We're probably definitely gonna want a, uh, a bed, right? A radical, oh, right, right, right. Okay, unfortunately the whole game's, I'll try and like blur out your name if I remember it. All right, we got um 650 buckery booze. And we are going to go and buy ourselves a bunch of things. You could fill up your bucket with your tears. Think about it. Free salt water. Can I sleep in your bed? Uh, sure. But uh, about, at about 9 p.m., I'm probably going to want it back. So if you can break into my house, you're welcome to. Yuck. An electric crystal. We don't want that. We just want to drop all of this money in here. 924. We've got 1,300. That's insane. Let's get a bed. Right here. 24 bucks. They are super cheap. Wow. Great. Boop. There we go. We have bought everything that we need. Allegedly. Allegedly. I, uh, allegedly, we have bought everything we need. I think we're probably going to need a little bit more, but I think for now we've probably got literally everything that's required to set up a, a good dig site here with automation. So let's go ahead. We'll place our bed uh, over here, completely out of the way where I normally place it, and we will start maybe... Oh, we've got to dig out this uh, kind of path, don't we? We've got to path in this a little bit better if you guys are more into Valheim than Hydrania. We're pathening. If only you could buy alcohol in the game. Uh, I hope that's coming in a patch because we do have the ability to plant things. It would be awesome if we could like make moonshine out of out of corn or something. That'd be such a cool way of just like, because you know how we've got those auto smelters where we can basically just dump a bunch of the ores and they smelt down into one resource that you pour out and it's really, really good. That would be really, really cool for agriculture if we could make like gigantic distilleries and such. Uh, we'll have to unstuck out of here. Don't know why we've got the pickaxe in our hand still. Let's drop that down the hole, or not. Let's drop it down the hole. Very good. So we're going to have to dismantle some of this crap right here. Some of this garbage, yucky crap. Probably maybe all the way back to about here. And then we're going to start elbowing in. Uh, there's the elbow. One elbow going in right this second. And here we go. One elbow. Now we're going to need another one here. And we're probably going to need another one here, I know it kind of looks weird how I'm staggering them, but this is the infrastructure that we do want. We kind of want one here. Now, I think here we're probably going to want a T-junction of some sort. 
or maybe we don't. I haven't decided. Can you connect the water thing from the underground, like getting the water, but the mechanism is underground? Unfortunately, not in this map. This map is Ember Cradle. This one sucks. There's no water at the bottom of the map. Uh, I think every other map has its own kind of ways of getting water down south, but uh, this one is literally baby's first Hydronia map. Uh, I'm going to flip that there. We'll place that right there. Good. And we'll put another one there. Good. And another one here. Good. And... I think we may want to take this off and we'll put it instead of there. We might want to put it like one block ahead of it if we can. Oh, give me, give me access. And right here. So I think we want to put a T-junction right here and I can't remember why, but I'm going to do it anyway. No, I've just remembered why. It's because we want to pipe in the sorting system to that little section there. Unless we just have it like go and slay them all the way up here. Ah, actually, let's just uh, do a bunch of lifts and hope for the best. All right, we're going to need a single T-junction or just a straight pipe. <sighs> ah, we'll use a straight for now. We'll use a straight for now. No, let's let's not. Let's just use a T-junction. Right here. One T-junction. We'll have it pipe out maybe this way here. And we should be good for the rest of this, right? We just kind of uh, keep elbowing down south. I'll get one out. Drop that down there. It's stuck. Whoops. <laughs> one out here. Good. And we'll drop one down here. And we'll drop one down here. And that should be it. <sighs> what com more confuses me is the fact that you can just suspend them in here. No, 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 no. They're, 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 they're on something, I think. I think they're, I think they're on something. Either that or the Hydronera is on something because it's functioning. Uh, one there. And we'll want one here. Good. And then we'll want another one. No, actually, this is the lowest level we want to pipe to. We'll take this one, we'll go above ground. We need a T-junction just down here now so that we can start piping in these automation machines right here. All right, we'll get one T-junction. I know it's a little bit messy, but uh, believe me, I've thought about it and we are going to get a separate cart very, very soon for each different type of pipe. It's so light that they float. Never pick the straights. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. Sometimes the straights are okay. Sometimes, 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 sometimes. As long as you're not like on Fox News or something, the straights are definitely, they definitely have utility. They've got a function in this society right here. Okay, let's go ahead and dig out this way because we're going to need another T-junction right in this point right here so that we can set up the automation. And then we should be absolutely good to go. Okay. We are actually very good to go. We're probably going to need to elbow a lot of the infrastructure down here anyway to kind of get around this big curve, but I think it should be Fine. All right, let's start busting up here. Good. And we'll make some room. We'll make some room. It was actually kind of nice in the kind of like last stream that broke with the save that broke that we kind of had an egress tunnel as well to put all of the pipes down, uh, do all the maintenance through. But at this point, we could make one. We, d we just don't have the idiot mentality of uh, where do we put the hole in the first place? We kind of know now what the map looks like without doing that. Especially if we kind of like dig a, a really frustrating little hole, crouch into it and then look through the map uh, because we can kind of see where... Okay, so if we just pipe all the way that way, that should be good, actually. I can't believe I just used an exploit for this. Wow. I can't believe it. So we're actually going to pipe our machines on this side, which means we're just digging out the wrong side real quick. What did I walk into? Dog Shark, you have just found the first in the series that is going up on YouTube as the official Hydronia series that's going to be on my channel. I erased yesterday's playthrough. I have fixed the save bugs. Uh, after this recording, I'm going to be recording basically a tutorial on how to fix the bug in case anybody else is getting it because the Steam community pinned Sticky on Steam basically is, is not very informative whatsoever and doesn't really do anything. Uh, so that's what you've walked into. That's basically all you've missed so far. I'm basically just digging out a nice little place to plop a couple of automation machines. And then we are going to basically get started with the brush pan and shovel to try and rush money. And or. Uh, so we can get ourselves a sorting system. Is there something down there? There was. Good. Okay, we've hit the edge of the map. I don't think we're going to get a huge sorting system down here. But as long as we can get maybe six machines at most, we should be pretty good to set up automation somewhere else. We should have enough money to buy rights to another piece of land. Who agrees that Steven Universe should come back? Uh, what, uh, like the, um, Doctor Strange? 
I definitely think Doctor Strange is something worth continuing, honestly. Doctor Strange is probably the best section of the Marvel Cinematic Universe that has not aged horribly or been killed off in some way or some form. So if that's what you're talking about, definitely. Uh, otherwise, I have no idea. You actually fixed it? Yeah, 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 I fixed it. I actually fixed the bug. I fixed it for everyone as well. The fix was relatively simple, but... Uh, it only took half an hour to figure out what was going on, and once I figured out what was going on, I can now safeguard every single save until uh, basically the end of time or whether or not the developers implement it. I've sent a message on to the developers about kind of what's going wrong, so whether or not they fix it is completely up to them, but I I do know how to fix the broken saves. Cartoon character on Cartoon Network? I have no idea. Bring back Metalocalypse, that's what I say. Bring that back, that slaps. That was great. That was on Adult Swim on uh, Cartoon Network. I love that so much. Steven Universe had a terrible ending. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. That's real rough. Kind of like Game of Thrones, last season of Game of Thrones. Well, now, does that mean more hygiene? Yes, I'm going to be binging this for the rest of the week minimum, and uh, maybe I'll be kind of like doing a, a couple of streams here and there of this just to kind of get back into the groove. Because this is one of my favorite games of all time, and if anybody else has played this game themselves... Past the point where you need to learn how the pipes work, you'll probably also agree that this game scratches a very specific itch that most games just do not even program into their games. I say they should bring back Gravity Falls fully. Yeah, I still need to dive into that uh, fandom. It, it's, it looks really, really good. And I didn't realise that one of the creators of Rick and Morty was a part of its conception. So I'm, I'm definitely going to dive into that. But uh, until I do, I have no idea what Gravity Falls is all about or anything like that. Okay, let's get a T-junction down up in this bad boy. Sorry for the uh, the weird conflicting words in that sentence. I know it's going to bother some of you with OCD. Uh, we'll put this right here. Where do we put it down? No, we put it this way. So we're going to need a machine hooked into here. We are, oh, we're also going to need a bend below. So we're actually going to need to bend this downwards. Okay, yep, and then we're going to need an elbow right here. It's going to be a little bit ugly. So we'll need a straight going into here, and oh, we'll need a T-junction going into here, and we'll need an elbow going upwards. I know it's a little bit fiddly, but I haven't thought of it any harder than how I'm basically doing it now. Uh, T-junction right here. That can go straight down the hole. Good, it fell, and we also need an elbow, don't we? I'm glad I got so many elbows. I got more elbows than Vishnu. Uh, we will have this one kind of piped up in this direction. Who's actually? This is really inefficient, isn't it? You know what? Let's drop this elbow. We'll get rid of this elbow. We'll take this T-junction. Uh, whoops, didn't want to place that there. And we will actually organize it so that it's not like this. And then we'll get the T-junction that we wanted to pipe in up top here. Sorry, I, uh, I thought about it a little bit harder after I said I didn't think about it too hard. We'll put that there, and then we'll get an elbow right here, and we'll put a straight, going straight from here to the kind of the grinder, I suppose. Yep, that's what we want, because we want the unstuck button. We can't leave. And what do we need? Straight, right? A single straight, and then we're good to go? Okay, I'll drop this down here, and then I'll pick this up, because I can't just drop this down here. It's too big. Uh, this is the thumb pip. This is going to go right here. Which end goes... Where? Okay. There it is. Wonderful. We're going to need to stick something up its bum bum, but we can definitely do that very shortly. And we're going to need to stick the grinder. We could probably actually put this a little bit further back, couldn't we? It's a little bit inefficient in terms of space. Like, if we bump this right up against the walls here, we could probably get ourselves maybe, like, two more slots of space down here. By the way, I'm Edits and Animations. I use two accounts. Welcome, Edits Avocado. I thought Owl House was overrated, but Oh, Owl House. I've heard of that one. A lot of people were kind of upset about that one being cancelled as well. Wow, you guys are really chatting, eh? I've never seen this. Usually people chat to me, but I've, I've never actually seen people chatting amongst themselves. That's actually really heartwarming. I love that. I love that. But my channel does tend to attract a certain type of person. Generally, really, really smart people. Really, really smart people seem to be very attracted to my channel. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, run this back, like, maybe one or two, and we'll see whether or not we've actually got enough play for this. This little gamble, this gambit that I'm going for right here. Uh, one right here, and maybe one down underneath this. Like this. Oh my god, it actually functions. Holy hell, I can't believe it. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, uh, we'll stick this one further down there, and we'll orient it so that it's piping in. Good. 
So we can actually pipe all of this one block further back, which actually is very, very good because we want to conserve space as best as we can. Uh, that goes there. I'm not going to worry about hooking up the conveyors to this system. I'll probably just get a separate thing or maybe just like hook it up straight through the, the middle of it. Okay, and we'll get our T-junction right here. Very, very good. Do not go to Disney. You do not want to see what they did with Marvel. I do not want to see anything Marvel related. Uh, recently, I've been really let down by Marvel, to be quite honest, honestly. I have got Amazon Prime. And I hate to say it, it's actually really, really good. Rings of Power, I loved. I actually loved Rings of Power. And I'm a Kiwi, you know, so, you know, Lord of the Rings is something that's basically heritage to us at this point. And they also have Chuck on there. If anyone hasn't seen Chuck, it's definitely worth binging all five seasons in a single sitting. It's so good. It's such a good TV show. Came out in like the, um, the mid-2000s, kind of like in the peak of TV. Huh? huh? Why can't I put this here? It's the only place I can't put it. Why is that? Is that because of the shovel right here? Most likely, actually. All right, let's jam this right there. Good, and it's all set up. Uh, both machines are good to go. Let's go ahead and put some dirt up this uh, little little thing's bum bum right here. Boop. There we go. And I'm actually going to turn this lamp on so we can see what we're doing down here because we need to drop a bucket right here so that these things can eject all of the things that we need to harvest from them straight into a nice little lean zone, which we do not have up top. Where the hell is the bucket? I was probably back at the store, right? We could probably actually do with getting... Maybe a few more buckets, to be quite honest. We are at that point now. Let's actually do that. Let's just get a few buckets, because we're going to need to file a sorting system pretty shortly too, after we can afford to do so, which will require three buckets of their own minimum. We'll get another couple for ourselves as well. One, two, and this should be good. What is that, 60 bucks? It's 60 bucks. Nice. And let's also uh, haul them one by one as we need them back to the other place. Most people dislike phase four and on... Onward? Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that in terms of Marvel. I entirely avoid cartoons and crud now. I have no more subscriptions. And if I want to see something, I just pirate stuff. That's fair enough. I kind of like... On one hand, I actually fully agree with uh, the CEO of Steam, Gabe Newell, what he said about piracy some years ago. It's a, it's a fan service thing. I feel like Netflix really let everybody down over and over and over again, which is why if you're familiar with the uh, edits I do on my channel... I hate Netflix with a, a grinding passion. They increased their prices here in New Zealand three times within a year. And then they removed the ability for uh, people to kind of share an account, share two accounts while they're at two different like IP locations. Absolute garbage. I don't know how they're still floating. I also saw their uh, earnings report in the stock market and somehow it's gone up. I don't know how the hell it's gone up with the decisions that they've been making. All they've been making is crap decisions. It's very clear that uh, Netflix doesn't know what the hell they're doing, to be quite honest. I have a question for everybody. What do you think about Chapeau? She's dating a teenager and will hopefully being ar be arrested. I don't know enough. I don't know enough. Uh, Jack can answer that one for me. Uh, while I kind of think a little bit harder about what we're doing right here, we probably want to skip the night before we go ahead and think harder. We want a piece of flooring, right? There we go. We just jumped ourselves. <laughs> I forgot we're in our socks and undies. I love that so much. I love that for us. <laughs> The world's richest man, and he doesn't have a shirt on his back. Or pants on his legs. He's just, he's just in his underwear and a, and a pair of socks. What a guy, huh? What an absolute guy. So we probably need flooring right here. Flooring right here. We're going to get some flooring. It's going to cost us uh, five buckery booze. Drop it! Drop the floor! Dude! Okay. That was a little bit frustrating. Who's Shepo? Yeah, that's what I was asking. Hell yeah, watching stream in VR. How's YouTube in VR? I haven't actually used YouTube in VR yet, but I, I love my Meta Quest 2. I love it so much. It is such a such a good platform. The fact that you don't have to use base stations on it just immediately secures it as the best VR I've ever used. Uh, I can't put this at the level I want to put it at. It's a little bit of a damp fart, isn't it? I think. It, maybe it's a, a bit of a damp fart. Ah. Okay, we can put it there, though. So I'm actually thinking maybe we the bucket and the floor on this platform right here so we can get a flat bucket to pour everything out into it catches basically everything and then we move everything kind of over one level which will require a bit more picking but we'll definitely be able to do it i'm gonna do it i'm making the executive decision to do it right now as the executive of this channel do you know what ghosts of tabor is 
Uh, I know a different game, like Ghosts of Tavor. I know what that is. It slaps as a VR game. It's an extraction VR game. West 2 is great except for the battery. Okay, you need to look up a company called Kiwi. Kiwi Design. They do aftermarket parts for the uh, Quest. They are awesome. They have made the best air link cable that I have ever seen. It's a good 10 metres long, so you can go basically outside and play it. Well, why would you want to go outside and play a VR, though? Uh, you'd not only get sunburned, but you'd also damage the lenses on your VR. So I, I wouldn't recommend doing that whatsoever. But what they also have is uh, kind of like headsets that actually fit your head, and they have battery packs that fit on those headsets. So uh, the battery life can go from like maybe three, three hours or two hours if you're playing a, a graphics-intensive game to uh, roughly six or seven hours, completely unguided. And if you use the AirLink cable, uh, their one definitely charges the the unit as you're using it. So it never dies if you're using Earlink. Everyone knows what she looks like. Okay. Right. So we'll come out here. Actually, I kind of want to do a Blade and Sorcery stream now because version 1.0 just got released and I still haven't played it yet because I've been busy like uh, streaming and, and setting up YouTube stuff in the background and doing stuff on Discord and all that such. I keep a, I keep a busy life as well as like driving my girlfriend around to, to stuff because we have one car and she doesn't want to pay for parking when she's at work and stuff like that as well. Which makes sense. We're in a recession right now here in New Zealand and uh, money's money's tight. She's a banker and she's struggling. So if, if that doesn't kind of like cast a light on just how rare money is here in New Zealand, I, I don't think much more will, to be quite honest. What have I missed? Uh, you haven't missed much. We've basically kind of got the first set of automation set up, but we also at the same time haven't uh, because... We can't pipe it into the place we need it for at the scale of production that we have. So we're actually going to take everything and we're going to move it over one section. I'm actually going to go ahead and plug this in, see if I can actually pipe it out. Yes, good. So we want to be able to pipe this out here, essentially. Good, everything's unplugged and good to go. We'll plug that in there. Uh, we were just talking about the uh, the MetaQuest, the, the VR. You've got one of those too, don't you? Don't you, don't you, Z? I'm pretty sure you have one of those Metas. They are awesome. We were literally just singing its praises. Probably the best thing Mark Zuckerberg has done since, uh, well, probably actually ever. I don't think Mark Zuckerberg has really done anything good because Facebook is now a, a mass surveillance application, and before then it was Face Smash, which was basically a review platform to review um, college routes. And if you don't know what that means, probably too young to know what a college route is. Don't Google it. Don't Google it. Don't Google it. It'll put you on a lot of unsavory websites. Okay, so we should now be able to start piping out resources. Boop, boop, boop. Nice! We've got our... Our first ore was literally the next tier ore. How lucky is that? Okay, the last run was cursed. This one has been blessed. We have been blessed by the rare ore gods. So I'm actually going to unstick myself from here, and I'm going to take this ore, and I'm going to stick it under my pillow as a reminder that sometimes things can just go right. We'll sleep on this. Instant isn't minor by heart. Yeah, 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 I'm a minor by heart. I was a minor uh, in a different way when I was like under 18, but now I'm a, I'm definitely a, a more practical kind of minor. You don't have any VR stuff? Your flatmate does? Dude, they are so worth it. Especially given that VR these days, if you want to buy like a, uh, like a Valve Index, if you want to buy a Valve Index, that's 3,000 bucks right there. And it only really comes with two base stations, so you have to buy additional base stations, you have to... Uh, hook everything. You always have to be cabled, as far as I know. I don't think there's like any wireless features with the with the Valve Index. But with the MetaQuest, all of the cameras are, are built into the headset. So when you look around, your hands are guided by literally everything that you can see. So everything that you can see is, you know, guided by your hands. The only downside of this is maybe if you are actually a martial artist like yourself and you actually want to use martial arts and maybe like a swordsman video game. Sometimes uh, when you have your your hands maybe like here the headset won't pick them up. And when you start actually doing a lot of the um, the uh, the movement and stuff, your headset won't pick up a lot of the movement. But uh, MetaQuest, definitely the best VR headset on the market. Um, I also fully agree with the uh, the Apple stuff, right? At least it's better than Apple's stupid goggle things. Fully agree with that. Apple's stupid goggle things are just basically the end of the world, right? It's a sign of the end of the world. It's the rapture incoming. Oh, actually, speaking of Facebook, they wanted to make... No, it was Google, wasn't it? They wanted to make that Google Lens thing, which was a set of glasses that basically doxes people you walk past on Facebook. Did anybody see that? 
They're all like a set of glasses, and when you walk past somebody, it's got a facial scanner, and then it scans Facebook's database of, of like, profile photos, and it, it tells you who it most likely is, so that you, you know exactly who you're stalking on the street. What a stupid idea. What an absolutely brain-dead stupid idea. We've got more Cloudium. Whoa, okay. This is a great run so far. Wow, wow, we were. Okay, so we probably, uh, we're going to keep the Cloudium separate, right? I'm gonna, just going to drop that on the floor right there. Let's get another bucket so that we can start manually sticking all the Cloutium into there, and then we'll start shoveling into a pan again. Probably the pan that we're lining into from up to... Oh, we need more water, actually, to do that. Oh, we can just pipe water in. We've got a lot of water just kind of, like, dripping onto the ground right here. We, we can utilize that. So, this is going to be Cloutium right here. Very good. Boom. Cloutium. Goes in this bucket right here uh, because we need it for the next tier of uh, machines. The only thing Zuck has done was buy the company and change its name. Talking about Oculus. Yeah, he, he did change Meta. I don't know if that was a good decision, honestly. I, I think that was a crap decision because Facebook was a household name and people still call it Facebook. Only time I've ever used VR was at a mate's place years ago and I played Skyrim. Good one. Nice. I was 20 minutes behind on a stream. It happens. You can always skip through. Uh, the whole video's going up. The whole video's going up on the internet, so you're not going to miss anything. Yeah, um, VR, it's definitely worth having. It, I... I don't want to say this preemptively, right, but it kind of feels like there are going to be workplaces that migrate to VR just to accommodate the whole work from home situation so that people who have like the flu or COVID or the bubonic plague because they don't shower any more than uh, once a month, uh, they can still work from home and earn, a, earn an income to pay rent. And it's a little less social, but at the same time, it's more convenient because there's no, no travel time. You don't need to like dress up. You can use an avatar or everything like that. Uh, I feel like workplaces are going to migrate to VR once it's actually feasible to do so. When I, when I say feasible to do so, I mean, like, they should have a battery capacity of, like, 10 hours and stuff like that. And also dedicated keyboards as well. If there was, like, a hand controller but a keyboard that picked up the keyboard on the headset so that you could actually see the keyboard, you would save so much time uh, other than having to pick on the virtual keyboard because that's really slow as well. Am I going to buy Switch because my iPad is going to die in like five minutes? What is it? A, a meta iPad? Haha. <laughs> Best games for getting into VR, Super Hot and Job Simulator, then maybe Blade and Sorcery 100%. Blade and Sorcery, I'm actually going to start uploading build guides for. I've got a bunch of them. Like uh, Bob the Builder. I've got a. Uh, oh, didn't want to pick that one. I've got a Bob the Builder build where basically you go in there with a pickaxe and a hammer. Uh, you knock somebody on the chin with uh, either one, I don't really care which, it knocks them over, and then you put the pickaxe on them and you start hammering the uh, the pickaxe into them, and it kills them. It bypasses all armor. It's really overpowered. It works every time. Don't you just remind me of the movie Surrogates? Never seen it. I only saw what VR was like. That's it. I just saw Never Blade. It is definitely worth it. The Meta Quest is the most affordable one by far. If I could get a sponsorship from them, I would definitely... I would throw that link, right, that, that affiliate link all over the place. Those things are so cool. Dude, you need to watch it. Surrogates. I need to watch Surrogates. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Screw you, man. Maybe, maybe I will watch Surrogates. Screw you. Screw you. I'll watch Surrogates. Take that. How does that feel, huh? How does it feel? How does it feel when I say I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch the movie that you told me to watch, huh? Take that, you big bastard. Big bastard. So Undertale is Friday, you said? Yeah, I'm planning for Friday for Undertale. I'm planning for it. But it also, I, it's it's a longer game than I thought it would be, so it might be a multi-stream kind of thing. I might, like, dedicate Fridays to it. But I do, every Friday, want to do, like, a, a stream of a game that um, is very, very good. Like, one that people won't want to miss on their Friday or Thursday nights. Subnautica VR is bloody amazing. Oh, I am not looking forward to playing that in VR, to be honest. I'm looking forward to Hitman World of Assassination VR. And I played a lot of Payday 2 in VR as well, so uh, probably do a few videos on that. Maybe streams, actually. Uh, yeah, given that Payday 3 completely flopped itself by refusing to have any kind of offline mode, which was the uh, entire success of Payday 2. I don't know what the hell they were thinking, to be honest. All right, now we need to get ourselves more machines. We're at the point now where we need to start piping in a few more machines. So let's go ahead and pipe in uh, the infrastructure to get another set of these right next to this bad boy right here. And then we'll start basically coupling this with some gold panning to earn the money. Man, that one was a, a forceful ejaculate, I think. Ah. Bruce Willis to what he does. Be oh, is Bruce Willis and surrogates. Okay, I definitely need to see it then. I love Bruce, well, maybe not recently, but I definitely love Bruce Willis back when he was not suffering from that really, really tragic illness that he uh, got, got by. I could potentially join you on Payday 2 VR. 
I'll try and open it up. I'll try and open up VR lobbies, but it's going to be really hard to actually get people who have VR headsets to join the lobbies because I don't really think you can open up a game to restrict the platform that somebody's using. Potentially. It's so terrifying to be grabbed by a Reaper and have to throw you around. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, why are we here? We've got enough pipes, I think. I'm going to look at Six Flag Ryan's. Get me ready for when I, we go be there. So be back in a bit. Okay, there, Juju. You enjoy yourself. The Six Flags, is that a theme park? Lucky son of a gun. Lucky? Oh, we've already got an elbow down here, actually. We didn't need to grab that one. We need a T-junction. We need two T-junctions, and we also need a straight. So let's go ahead and pipe those up. Still, again, I think we're stuck down there, so we're going to have to do it manually. Um, a straight, two T-junctions, which we don't have lying on the ground here. Oh, no. Do we have any T-junctions? No. Well, that's a different one. We're going to have to go and buy more T-junctions. That's a first. Oh. oh, no, not the straights. No, no, no. The straights are actually coming in handy. Uh, not like uh, CNN or, or Fox or anything like that. I am having a gander, dude. Don't pressure me or I won't buy anything, you dick. I'll go to your competitor, the one competitor in this entire game who also sells these. Who doesn't really ever seem to man his store, he just kind of like puts things in Ice Helm and has an honesty box. I don't know why we're actually paying for it, to be quite honest. Alright, we'll come over here, I'm gonna jump and drop. <laughs> Are we gonna pay for this then? Yes, good. Okay, hopefully that was all of it. Let's go. But for the best measure to make you terrified, which is what I did, go on hardcore run in VR. I'm not playing Subnautica hardcore. I, there will be so many jump scares to me that I just will not get anywhere. I know there's like uh, different zones and biomes with different uh, elements of difficulty. There's no way in hell I'll be able to do it in VR. Damn it. Okay, there we go. There's one and... Damn it. <laughs> Come on. Cooperate. Good. And we also... That's it. That's it. That's what we need. Good, so we need to pipe in one of the T-junctions first, right here. We will put it right here. Good. And then we will stick in the second T-junction right in front of it. We'll try and mirror the setup we've already got here. Whoops. Press that button way too many times. We need the elbow. We need an elbow right here. Boom. And now we need the straight, which is just over here hiding. Classic straights, huh? Hiding in the closet. Hiding in the, hiding in the dingy closet. Which plot has the water underground? That is the MILF's Aquifer. And I gotta say, it sucks. It, it actually sucks. I hate the MILF's Aquifer so much. It's a revolting place to, to set up any kind of base, to be honest. Just because you need a tier 2 pickaxe just to access all of that water, and then you have to pipe it all the way up, which is just a nightmare on the pressure. I got through the whole game, but like God, it's terrifying. The random sounds of roaring in the later stages make you constantly paranoid. It's an experience I wish I could do again for the first time. Well, you can uh, watch me vicariously experience it for the first time because I will be experiencing it for the first time. I've never played it. People have been recommending that game to me since 2019, by the way. Cass says hi. Hello there, Cass. Uh, tell her tell her that you're a famous YouTuber now on my Ready or Not series. Tell tell Cass that you're a, you're, you're a big shot YouTuber and that you can quit your... <laughs> Job in finance. <laughs> Live solely off of the royalties of the uh, of the Ready or Not series that we've been doing. <laughs> oh, that'd be a that'd be a, a rush, wouldn't it? Thank you. What for the update? Uh, you're welcome. I'll update anybody that that asks. Honestly, asking you shall receive. Okay, good. Uh, we've got a bunch of these buckets now. I don't know if this is actually the, and I don't know if this is enough to get us the next machines. But we are going to need a lot of money to get this next sorting system, and we're also going to need a lot of money to get uh, the Forge and Crucible. Actually, I'm going to take this bucket. I'm just going to drop it on the ground here. We'll bring this one over. We'll put that there, and then we'll turn this machine back on, see if it goes in. Oh, I've almost missed it. How about that? Is that good? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Let's go topside, see what we've earned. I am going to make a guess at 1,050. 1,050. Cass gave me a side eye for that. <laughs> Asking you shall receive, can I get a million bucks in spirit? I can give you a million bucks in spirit. I can't give you physically a million bucks. Oh my god! Holy hell! That's the biggest haul we've had on a single bucket at Ember Cradle in any game. That is insane. Is there Cloutium in here or something? Product fetch hefty prices. Yeah, you're telling me! I mean, this is... That's a sorting system right there. That's it. We've got enough money for a sorting system. Holy hell. Perfect. I can't believe this actually went so well already. 
Can we believe this? Three grand. Three grand for our work. That's actually exactly uh, what I wanted to see as well. This run has been so much less cursed than yesterday's run, which will never see the light of day. I deleted it. I deleted it and it's never seen the light of day. Well, I haven't technically deleted it. It's, it's, it's still on YouTube, but I played copyright music on it, so it's about as good as deleted. All right, uh, so with this money, we actually now want to get into our tractor for the first time, and we want to go to the big, big city, and we want to start buying up a bunch of uh, conveyor belts and stuff, right? Good. We'll put this down here. We'll start pricing it up at least, right? Dude, that is insane. I know, it's insane, isn't it? I've never seen that from a single load of a bucket. The machine's still going as well. The machine hasn't even broken, which is the most surprising part of it. Usually, at this point, the machine would have broken down, we'd repair it, then we'd grab the bucket, take it up, and it'd be like one and a half thousand bucks. Now that I have one million spirit bucks, do you know any stores that take spirit bucks, or is it only useful for spirit airlines? Uh, unfortunately, the only thing that you can use spirit bucks for is to get across the river Acheron when you die, and that's assuming that you believe in Greek mythology. Ooh, more platinum. Nice. <laughs> Straight off the bat. Thank you very much, game. What's this? Gold. Okay. I was getting a little bit greedy. Right. So, uh, we don't have enough ores to pipe in any more automation machines, and we won't do for a long shot. But what we do have is a huge, huge, huge amount of money. So let's start trying to think of a decent network, right? So I'm thinking that maybe... Hear me out. I think that we pipe in from here. So I'm going to stick the infrastructure for a, another one of these right here. And we're not going to pipe this one into actual automation yet. Because we can't stick a platform right here. So we can't stick a flat bucket in front of it. Which means we're going to drop almost maybe like 1 in 10 ores. I would say we drop 1 in 10 ores that get spewed out of the machine. Because the bucket is like sit sitting sideways. But with the infrastructure there... We can actually uh, change what would be the straight right here into a T-junction, and then we'll pipe it in sideways to kind of finish off this kind of angle that we've got here, which means that we can start piping in conveyor belts, which would be perfect. Yeah, I do know a place to take spirit bucks, but that's in the Seirete, and I don't know how to get there. Yeah, what is Seirete? I'm with Gunner. What is Seirete? Is that, um... There's no way that's like Japanese mythology. That's like, um... That's something else. That's definitely something else. I know enough Japanese mythology to, to recognize what it's called when I see it. Not really to quote it, but definitely to recognize it. Okay, I'm going to start cleaning up our workspace as well because we have made a dog's breakfast. Oh, we've got T-pipes. Great. Uh, how do we do this? We kind of like... Were we over here, I guess? Maybe like... Huh? Oh, we got to move this goddamn cart, I think. It's at the wrong angle. Maybe like... This, maybe? Yep, that looks good to me. And we will just start dropping... Everything. Yeah, oh, actually, we we're on this side and we're dropping it like this, right? Yep, that's good enough. One, two, three, and four. We're not going to use any straights in this next build. There is an elbow. We're probably going to use this one in the next build. Probably going to use a couple of elbows in the next one, actually. So we'll get uh, two T junctions because we know we need two T junctions. For God's sake! <laughs> I know you have the pickaxe right. I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to do it. I'm actually going to extend this hole out right here so that we don't get all the pipes stuck. We're just going to get a little bit of egress here so we can start dropping things down without having to go down there manually with it in our, in our hands. I completely avoid anime, so I assume it's that. I opened the stream to the Spirit Bucks thing. I was very confused. First time watching. Welcome, Blahaj, if that is your real name. Um, yeah, basically, we're just talking a bunch of crap and setting up a bunch of piping systems for automation in Hygienia. This game slaps. I love it. I fixed it. There was a real nasty bug that broke a lot of the saves uh, that we were doing initially, but I single-handedly fixed it. It's going to be a tutorial going up in case anybody else ever gets the bug as well. So right here, one of these goes here. Elbow goes right here, and we'll orient it the right way. There. Now this one, instead of being a straight, is going to be a T-junction. And the reason for that is we want it to pipe out this way, which is also bugger, going to require a, a T-junction. So then it's going to be elbow, elbow. Ah, uh, slightly too long, isn't it? Uh, okay, that's a little disheartening. A little bit disheartening. Or is it? Or is it wrong, actually? Where are all the elbows that I thought I dropped down here? I thought there were actually elbows that we dropped down here. It doesn't seem that that was the case at all. all right, let's get a couple of elbows down here. And one and two. And we also need a T-junction to kind of pipe it in in the first place. Uh, all right, so... Move these out of the way. Huh? What do you mean it's blocking the way? 
Okay, we'll put that there. So I'm hoping that we can kind of like pipe this one here. And then we get another elbow on top of it, or even just a straight. Or maybe. Maybe not. Maybe this is not what we do at all. Maybe we uh, keep the T-junction there. No, because that would have to be a straight as well then. Oh, no, I fixed it. Okay, so we take the T-junction, we get it off the bottom, and we put it here. Uh, but that's going to block the path of this extractor that we're going to stick down here eventually, aren't we? Uh, okay, so we've got a little bit of a conundrum here. Maybe we could just work backwards from what we've already got. So we definitely want to pipe in from this way. We'll get the shovel out of the way. And we'll put that there, because we want a straight here to bump into that conveyor right there. Actually, we want it further across, don't we? Yeah, we do actually want it further across. We want it right here where this uh, two T-junctions are kind of sitting, right here and here. Let's put this here. We need two straights across here to convey over to the automation machines. And now we want to elbow in from this side. And we need to find something that will pipe in from here, basically. Uh, where's that other elbow that we lost? Ah, huh, okay. A uh, oh, well, Blahash. Oh god, the Femboy Horde has awoken. Blahash is an Ikea shark. It is not, sir. My name is not Blahash. Yeah, I had a hunch that uh, that would be the case. So, what are we looking at? Uh, we still need to pipe in a bunch of stuff here. We might be able to get away with something a little bit fiddly if... Okay. Maybe if... Hmm... Let me just pipe these in. We'll see what we've got to work with. We still need one, two... We still need... Uh, one, two, five across, three, four... We still need four more elbow pipes that we're going to dump into the hole right now. We'll do a quick sleep. Whee! Jump over ourselves. I want to ditch work and play Hydraenea. I know, it's got it's got that... It's really got that charm to it, doesn't it? Uh, we actually need more elbows. Excellent. We're going to be throwing elbows into this cart as if it were a, uh, a mosh pit. I hope there's someone in the chat that gets that reference. I want to see you all throw elbows if you got the cash. in the mosh pit. Uh, these are our, our buckets. We can't forget that. We could probably actually just stick it on the cart right here. We'll drop that there. Why do we drop it there? We still need to fill it. Let's grab it. We'll come over here and we'll grab a few elbows off of the table. Just a few. We we won't get too many elbows. Just, just enough, basically, to tide us over. One, two, three, four, five. Just enough. We'll only get just enough. We won't get too many. Like, we don't want to go overkill with the elbows. Huh? We'll only get enough to kind of just wet our whistle, huh? so to speak. Okay, that should be enough. Excellent. We'll come over here. And, my sir, you can work and play high engineer by being a plumber. Oh, yeah, huh? but then you have to deal with the issues of being a plumber. Oh, we only have a hundred bucks. Wow. We haven't already blown through three grand, have we? There's no chance. There's no chance we've blown through... Th oh, no, it's on the back of the truck, isn't it? Okay. We'll drop the back of the truck's worth into the shop right there. And we should be good to go! Uh, wonderful. Drop this right here. Very cash money. You know it's you know it's really cash money? Money. Cash money right there. Three grand right there. That's insane. That is actually insane. Okay, we'll buy all this. We'll throw this on the back of the... Uh, tractor right here, and then we'll think about how we are going to pipe up our sorting system. Kind of after this, I think. We could probably pipe it into the usual place, or we could just have it right in the middle of the map, which makes the most sense. I'm not good with my hands, I work better with computers. But, oh, believe it or not, I'm actually uh, both very capable as a tradesman, and I'm also really handy with computers. So much hate, you use hands to use computers. Uh, computers require dexterity. I would say, more so than strength. Trades definitely require strength more so than dexterity. Unless you're doing something underneath a house, in which case you really, really need to be dexterous. Dexterous. Dextro? Dex something. Dexter. You need to be dexter. You need to be real dexter. Okay, and that should be good. I still don't really know how I'm going to pipe this in other than literally just having another set of pipes above this one. We could probably pipe it in as a sideline to this. Don't really want to do that, though. That's going to look like absolute garbage ass. Yeah, it's going to look like garbage ass. I think we just go with uh, what we were doing initially. Unstuck ourselves. We'll get another three pipes, and we'll just shove it down the hole right here. This is probably the only uh, hole on the internet you'll see an entire elbow shoved down. 
Oh yeah, my strength stat is like eight, but my dex is 16. Bit of a D&D reference. I absolutely love when people create D&D stats for their actual selves. I would say that my strength is probably quite close to maybe a, a 12, but my dexterity, it's way up there. It's so far up there. I, 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 there's one thing I've learned in martial arts, and that's that dexterity will always overcome strength if you uh, just know your footwork and your locks. In every case, you'll always overcome raw strength. And I've demonstrated this to a bunch of people before. Oh, I really want to make like a self-defense series on YouTube, but at the same time, again, it's, it's dangerous knowledge. Dangerous knowledge you have. Especially when it comes to like the legalities of it, because when... It's like superheroes, right? Superheroes are super because they have a power, but they're heroes because they choose not to use it in, which, in most cases. Damn, which class would I be, IRL? Probably like an anti-hero paladin. Gotta be said. FNV? Fallout New Vegas? Uh, yeah, I could do my Pitbully stats as well. It's basically, honestly, it's basically the same thing. I think that, um, I think that the entire Fallout franchise is basically a Mad Max application to Dungeons and Dragons. What about a gun? Big gun? Oh, I can shoot guns, but, uh, guns here are quite restrictive. I joined a club for target shooting with a pistol. I'm pretty good at that, and I can land a good few shots with a rifle. Uh, but other than that, the only firearms experience I really have is uh, going to an airsoft club for years. Ask it, well, guess what class I would be? Probably rogue, because you're edgy as hell. Yep, I would say so. More gun. I know I'm in New Zealand as well. Yeah, we've got restrictions on handguns. So you, to be good with a firearm in New Zealand, you must actually have a real dedication to wanting to shoot guns. You've got to get licensed and stuff. My dad is a masterclass with a pistol, and I do paintball. Does he have, his, um, does he have a, uh, a collector's license? Or does he have a pistol uh, carrier's license? Well, I say carriers. You can't actually carry any gun in public on any license in New Zealand. But, like, uh, there's a Class D li uh, firearms license where you can take handguns out to firing ranges and you can fire handguns. Uh, but there's also, I think it's the Class C or Class E, which is a historian's or a collector's license. We can also collect handguns, but uh, ultimately you can't really... Like, like, take them out and shoot them around and stuff. It's more It's more for... Uh, just historical displays and stuff like that. Okay, we've got all of this piped in. It's not pretty. It's really not pretty. I'm... Really struggling to see how we're actually going to insert this into the infrastructure that we've already got. No, I'm not. Right here, we're going to put a T-junction. Mm, right there, yes. And right here, we are going to leave nothing. Okay, we've actually piped everything in and... On this little dit right here, we're going to remove the straight, and we are going to put another T-junction. No. That's not going to work. Yes, it is. We're going to put the T-junction here instead, and with this other uh, kind of crappy elbow that we've left down here, here it is. Good. We'll not only clean up the area, but we'll also pipe in the last of this. Damn, that is hideous. That is actually hideous, but it actually functions. We're also losing a lot of water pressure because we haven't corked up a lot of the, the thing, but we don't actually need a fast... Uh, sorting system necessarily okay so after all of that we've got two straights left over which is pretty good actually that's that's actually really good now we're gonna need a valve on here to turn off all the machines for the purposes of repair but i think we'll get a bunch of water hooks on there first he's got a lot so he's got i assume he's got the clearance yeah he'll have a class d license then he's friends with a police officer and he goes to the range with them so i assume so oh, i could just be uh, shooting the police's guns with them as well that could be that could be a thing. We'll get another one of these intake pipes. I think that's going to be a, a great investment. Where's our money? Oh, it's in the back of the truck, isn't it? So we'll get this money real quick, and we will buy this intake pipe. Then we'll start piping in some of the sorting system, because we kind of need the pipes in before we can start buying the rest of the sorting system itself, which is the most expensive part. So let's get that out of the way about ASAP. And by the end of the session, by the... Oh, my God, we've only been going for, like... An, an hour and 18 minutes. That is insane. Look at all the progress we've made. We've already got automation set up. We're halfway through getting a sorting system set up. This is looking better than the best run we had on the cursed um, playthroughs that we did. Uh, let's take these pipes and we'll just come over here. Boop, right there. We'll get the extractor out of the back of this truck right here. I did put it in the truck, didn't I? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Maybe, maybe it's still over here. Is it still in the shop? Now we have a gun room in our house. We have a lot. Uh, yeah, uh, don't tell people about that, by the way. Uh, don't, don't tell people about your, your gun room in the house because uh, 
One of the conditions of having a handgun license is that you not only need to be able to uh, carry concealed weapons, but at the same time, you also need to conceal where you keep them. Jensen, I think your stats are strength 12, dex 30 to 40, constitution 8 to 11, and 8 to 9, wisdom 3, charisma 5 to 6. I'm pretty high on charisma as well. I think I, I would sacrifice strength for charisma, honestly, because I've got a condition called chronic fatigue. So maybe make strength maybe like a like a 5 and dump the rest into charisma. I'm, I also have a lot of wisdom as well. I'm 30 years old, so I kind of, kind of, kind of can't get around that one. Other than that, pretty spot on. The intelligence, I I have no stock in intelligence. I could not care less about being really, really smart, to be quite honest. Uh, also, I'm not sure how we're going to line up the sorting system here. Yes, I do, actually. We are going to put the first intake pipe here. We're going to have a straight pipe lining into it. It's kind of strange that my, my int would be so low, especially given how you've been seeing me play this game so far. But at the same time, I'll take a hit. I'll take a hit. So uh, the reason I piped it up like this is we're going to follow the shore along to kind of like pipe all the way over here, uh, right at the entrance of this area so that we don't even need to set foot on this ground to get our resources. We don't want to do that whatsoever. All locked up to code and the room is hidden to the others, though you should try paintball. Never get a net protected. Dude, I played airsoft for years. I, yes, uh, like a paintball is one thing, right? You go around, you've got all of the, the gear on, you've got the gigantic face mask, you've got a, an unwieldy gun that you can't look down. But when you're playing airsoft, it is a completely different game. We've got a club here that only adults play. Because again, uh, restricted air guns, uh, they're restricted here in New Zealand and they have to be moderated. But when you have like 20 to 30 people all wearing military BDU and vests and everybody's got their own masks and stuff, uh, it, is, it is a completely different ball game. My rifle has an EOTech sight on it. That is crazy. Okay, then select in two to... Th but then the bump to whiz, uh, five to six. Yeah, it's a strange one, isn't it? Like, I'm dexterous, but the reason I am so dexterous is probably because I've fallen over so many times, which would indicate wisdom. So maybe wisdom is actually my primary stat. Also, everybody, hold up here. I'll show you my old airsoft mask, because I know you guys are going to absolutely love this. So I paid a Russian dude to make this for me. Isn't that sick? It can stop a 22. It's absolutely crazy. I love this thing so much. Unfortunately, you can't really hear anybody when the when the mask is on. So, you know, it is what it is. Ah, I love it. God, I love the airsoft. I love seeing that mask. It's so good, isn't it? Yeah, uh, the guys used to call me uh, Doom Guy. And I was famed for... Quite literally screaming on the battlefield. Oh, I've also got a melee weapon you guys would probably want to see too, which uh, I got really, really good with. So this is what I would use to sneak up uh, behind people and get silent kills with. A hand and a half sword. Literally a hand and a half sword. Would sneak up behind people. That's how I would get my melee kill. Easy to use as well. Really easy to use. Basically, the technique is to um, stand in a, in a reverse ox stance. Uh, reverse with, you know, ox stance being up top. But uh, cradle the, the thing under your armpit and then wait around corners. And as soon as you see the tip of someone's gun, you just thrust right into their vest because you know exactly where they are. Doom. I got full auto in the neck and I still got a bruise there. Yeah, it's rough, right? Uh, Airsoft is absolutely rough when it comes to getting the welts. Wish I could go, I could go to Airsoft, but it's way too expensive. Literally Doom Guy mask. Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally Doom Guy mask. I want to get a Helldivers helmet for it. You'll have to pay someone to make it. I had to pay uh, a Russian dude like 400 bucks. It was not a cheap helmet, but it is definitely up to snuff. It can uh, basically stop anything. My God, <laughs> I was kind of hoping you would have pulled out like a demon energy sword. An Airsoft mask that can stop a 22. That is really nursery. Yeah, it is uh, kind of scary, but that's why I bought it. I did not want it to ever break, and I was happy to invest a lot of money to protect my face, because before then I was using a mesh mask. And I don't know if anybody's ever used a mesh mask in Airsoft before, but when you have it on your face and your nose is like pressing up against the mesh right at the front, if you take a round right to the center of the mask, all of the shock is distributed across the front of your face through your nose. It's rough. 
I played Airsoft, I'd probably have one of those retractable knives when you stab people at retract, so I could play London Simulator. Yeah, there's a couple of guys at the club that have that. Um, my first weapon was a gigantic... Uh, uh, yeah, I probably can't show it on the stream. It's a, yeah, it's, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a, from Saints Row 3. From Saints Row 3. If anyone's played Saints Row 3, you know exactly what melee weapon I'm talking about. It's about this long and it flops around. <laughs> I always had it on me and, uh, you know, I was pretty rough with that as well. My dad just straight up used level 4 plates when he went to America and played Airsoft. That is so overkill. That is so overkill. Actually, I ended up running the club for about a year. It was pretty good, actually. Uh, but then my health kind of caught up to me and I uh, replaced the airsoft with YouTube. So that's why I'm here. Also just finished chapter one of Delta Traveler. Very good game. Would recommend after Undertale. Okay. I will definitely get around to playing all these fan games. I will definitely, like, make no mistake. I will get around to playing them. But uh, I'm going to probably leave all those kind of Delta Rooney games for like the Friday streams. He said it was for realism. Yeah, a lot of people put a lot of stock into realism, especially where I go. Uh, we've got a couple of snipers who actually have full ghillie suits. I had a shroud for a while. No one could find me under it. Um, it was basically just a, a big net, and uh, on the day I would take a bunch of foliage, just stick a bunch of crap in it, and I'd lie under it. Like, we had so many uh, game modes as well. So many that um, that everybody would just come up with, and if it was really, really good, we'd play it. Uh, we had one really fun one called VC, uh, called, uh, basically a shorthand of Viet Cong, where basically... For every one in four person, there would be a team, and they would be the Viet Cong. They'd go into the the bushlands. We had a big airsoft pitch, by the way. I was covered in bushlands. We'd go into the airsoft pitch, and uh, we would all just kind of like set up an ambush, and everybody else would walk single file or double stack file into the ambush, and as soon as they were fired on, they could break the filing and uh, basically engage at their leisure. That weapon? Yeah, 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 that weapon. That weapon, that weapon. You guys know. You, you guys you guys know what weapon. I don't want to get demonetized, so I don't really want to say what it actually is. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's that weapon. It's a dick. It's 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 a dick. It's a rubber dick. I can say that on YouTube. I've I've said dick a bunch of times on YouTube. It's a giant rubber dick. That's basically the weapon that I have for my my airsoft. Okay, let's start uh, piping all this bit this uh, stuff in right here, and uh, I'll I'll kind of ease up on the airsoft stories. Uh, Z, actually, Z in chat has uh, come to Airsoft with me. I think he loved it as well. I, we didn't really go back, but God, it's one of those things you just never forget. Uh, I took another friend of mine to Airsoft once, um, Carl, and he got two kills on his first day, which would have been impressive had it not both been friendly uh, kills in the back. Search up, maybe don't. Saints Row 3 bat. Yeah, 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 that's exactly the one. That's exactly the one. That's what I had. That's what I had. It wasn't purple, though. It was, like, skin-coloured. And for anybody of, uh, of ethnic descent, it was my skin coloured. It, it wasn't any other skin coloured. Uh, the big black one belonged to a friend named Dave, who is... He still actually goes to the club. It's been years and years since we all joined. Uh, maybe like four years since we uh, joined the Airsoft Club, and uh, he's still going. I think he's still part of the leadership, too. I mean, is it really big enough to be considered a weapon? <laughs> it's not really the size that counts, though, is it? It's, it's how you use it. You know the old trope, the old trope indeed. I don't think we bother just following the shore. I think we just, like, straight pipe everything. I'm going to straight pipe everything. And maybe we don't have the output here. Maybe we'll just put it over there. That probably makes the most sense, honestly. Let's uh, move this. We can get the straight pipes faster. We'll just straight pipe it in. We're not going to spend a long time in this area right here. We just kind of want to get in and out as fast as possible, essentially. Whoops. Right. And whoops. Huh? Where do I put it? Size matters. It needs to strike fear in your enemies. I fully agree, which is why I got that uh, hand and a half sword that I just showed everybody. Oh, man. You knew when I was coming as well, I was not a quiet person. I, I had the loudest rifle in the club. I specifically bought um, one rifle and I shaved off a piece of the gearbox so that it just made this really, really deafening clap every time you fired it. It actually probably sounded like a 22 firing subsonic rounds every time it fired. And it was fully automatic. It was a king's arm. God, that thing went like crazy. And I had a pistol as well, gas-powered. It hit 5 FPS under the um, FPS restriction for pistols. So people were pretty afraid of that one too. And because I spent some time uh, at that pistol shooting club, man, I was good with that pistol. I could hit somebody at 30 meters pretty accurately. Okay, I took off that pipe right there because I kind of want to set up the outtake over here instead. Just kind of to distribute the water pressure a little bit better. And maybe not screw ourselves over in the near future. 
maybe here we'll put it. Get it closer. Is that dripping? Yep, that's dripping. Perfect. So now we need a couple of straight pipes and we should have uh, most of the infrastructure piped in. This is going to require a lot of the belts, though, unfortunately. This is going to require a lot of conveyors, which, for, if memory serves, only it only costs about 220 bucks per conveyor belt. So we should be getting money at a fairly alarming rate pretty quickly. You can't show people your sword like that? I, I can, and I did. I showed people my sword like that. And if you don't like it, then, uh, you know, sucks to suck. Which was also probably the most uh, said phrase in my Earsoft Club as well. Uh, don't want to go there. Want to pipe it into here. A loudencer. No, I did not get to the point where I bought a loudencer, unfortunately. I kind of wanted to. I wanted a Mad Bull. No. It's sort of in. The, the Mad Bull ones were quite good for a long time, but I found one which was just slightly a few decibels louder, and I wanted to go with that one instead. Uh, but I didn't end up getting a loudencer. That's, that's really when my health kind of got the better of me, and I had to hang up my my doom guy helmet and uh, retire from the sport which is a little bit of a shame a little bit of a shame but you know maybe one day my health will get better and i'll uh, go back maybe maybe i'll get a gopro and make youtube content out of it that'd be awesome like strap a gramophone nozzle to the top oh we called them something else we i think we called them french horns something like that please read my previous message Size matters, it needs to strike fear in your enemies. Oh, you knew when I was coming in reference to size matters. Yes, 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 yes. Um Oh, what is that? What is that? Um that quote from from Watchmen. Uh I'm not stuck in here with you! You're stuck in here with me! I actually shouted that at somebody when uh, we kind of had this standoff around a corner once. And he just gave up. He stuck his hand in the air and he gave up. Poor guy. <laughs> I think it was new as well. <laughs> I don't think he quite knew the uh, the culture that I had unfortunately brought to the party. Got to be said though, the games are now much quieter. There's there's no longer anybody screeching deathcore vocals across the map at any, any point or anything like that. So maybe for the best, maybe not. Uh, we'll get the rest of this money before we start actually buying a bunch of crap. And we're probably going to uh, do the last shop here before we actually think about it. Let's go ahead and sleep. Uh, we'll drop this and we will jump ourselves. Whoops. Okay, let's put that back. Uh, and boy, there we go. Jumped ourselves. Wonderful. Good amount of viewers this stream. Yeah, it's probably because I took out the Doom Guy helmet, right? If I played this game wearing this helmet, what do you think? What do you think the views would be like? Like that. There you go. How's that? It's it's a pretty good hat, right? Yeah. This is this is how we game now. I have, I have just mixed two genres together that literally nobody asked for. Doom and Hydronair puzzles. Whoops. <laughs> nice. Jensen, I think you need to become a VA. What What is VA? Payday bulldozer. Oh, we did actually have somebody with a bomb disposal uniform uh, for a couple of days. That was really cool, actually. That was so cool. And um, it really kind of leaned into one of the game modes we play, which is like uh, Defend the Tank, where a couple of people... They'll wear uh, these kind of like plates on their front uh, that are kind of separated from their neck at the at, at the necklace. And if you hit them, it disables them for a little bit. So uh, the objective of the game was to get the tank from one end of the play field to the other end of the play field. Voice actor? Oh, I've done some voice acting. I've done a little bit of voice acting, but only here. Only here on my channel have I done a little bit of voice acting. It's fun. I actually really like it. It's quite soothing. Okay, good. I've uh, offered a lot of game developers to put voice acting in their games. Unfortunately, a lot of developers, I don't know what it is about uh, their kind of like perception of incredibly harsh screams, but they don't really want their monsters to sound like that. And I have no idea why. They want those like kind of really obnoxious breathy sounds. Make it sound like some asthmatic is uh, walking behind you. Seems to be the, the kind of feel that a lot of game developers go for these days, unfortunately. Did he say the bulldozer line? You're up against the wall! Oh, actually, I could do a cloaker really, really well. What do the cloakers say? Payday 2 is amazing. Yeah, right. Doom Rainier. Absolutely. Doom Rainier. Oh, God, I wish I could go back. But my health. <laughs> it's a rough one. I got something called chronic fatigue syndrome, which has eventually um, been led to neurogenic fatigue. I got an illness when I was a teenager, which has basically sapped any ability I have to 
kind of do physical things for any more than half an hour a day. So I work out 20 minutes a day, which is why I've got these gigantic hulking arms, but that's really all I can do, unfortunately. And I also do 10 minutes of chores, and that seems to be basically my limit. Uh, other than that, I'm basically stressing out about chores that I didn't do and <laughs> making YouTube content, which maybe is a, um, a feedback loop that nobody really wants in their life. Okay, we need a, another straight on the end of here so that we can kind of link these two up. We don't have another straight, do we? There's not another straight on this right here. Oh, we've made a mess of all of this crap, actually. All right, not really. Not really another straight. I'll take one from here. I'll take one from here and I'll go and stick it on the end over here. Poker. You're up against the wall. Oops. Sorry, that was an alarm. You are not actually uh, hearing the death whistle from Puss in Boots The Last Wish. We could probably cork this up as well. It might make the most sense to, but at the same time, probably also not really necessary because we're going to redo all of this once we start getting the gem sorting system in. I think uh, we probably actually want more floors. Now we're definitely actually going to stick more pipes in here. What happens if I overexert myself? Uh, basically narcolepsy. It's it's basically just narcolepsy, essentially. Uh, it's not random. It's, it's not completely random, though. It's definitely physical kind of exercise that, that definitely triggers it. I don't know what specifically causes it. I've been working with a couple of doctors to try and figure out the cause, but it's definitely associated with, like, an, a leaky adrenaline valve or kind of like an adrenaline valve that is just always working. Why didn't I use the key gen thumbnail? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> I'll do that after the stream. I'm basically uh, sticking things in as soon as I remember. My school account name is literally Gunner and Cloaker. It's weird, isn't it? It's, it's so strange. Everybody is still singing the praises of Payday 2, and I think it's because of the modding community. But Payday 3, everybody has just looked at it like it's like it's an unflushed turd from three days ago. Just because it's got no, it's got no um, offline feature, which means no one can mod it or anything like that. We call this a difficulty tweak. I'm back. Welcome back, Cup Source. Welcome back to the stream. The live service of it sucked. It did. Payday 3 was absolute garbage. I hope you're talking about Payday 3. I, I don't know much about the live service of Payday 2. I got it on release back in 2013 on PlayStation, and I absolutely fell in love with it on day one. It was so much fun. It's the first game I've ever played that kind of perfectly blends in RPG elements into a shooter, an actual fun shooter with good not jank uh, controls, because a lot of shooters have jank controls. Like Half-Life 1 and 2, they've got kind of jank controls. The controls that carry momentum, basically. You can do a lot of precision stuff with uh, Payday 2 controls. Payday 3 live service I'm referring to. Yeah, I fully agree. I also pre-ordered it, and as soon as I started it up, I couldn't play the game for three straight days. I tried to play it on day one. It did, literally did not find a game for three flat days. I left it up and running in the background. I wanted to make a video on it too, and it, it just it wouldn't connect. All right, uh, so we actually need this money right here. I'm getting a little bit sidetracked by thinking about Payday 2. We need this money to buy our pipes that we are now just purchasing. What a game though, right? I did a live stream of Payday 2. Oh, I just got a an achievement called Black Friday for purchasing 100 items from stores. I did a live stream right before Payday 3 came out called Rip Payday 2. I thought Payday 2 was dead, honestly, at the release of Payday 3, because it looked so smooth, it looked really good, and the game that I have actually gotten to play so far has actually been quite fun. It's a fun game. It's just been absolutely ruined with the garbage leadership that has plagued Payday 2 since, uh, like 2015, I'd say. Y'all ever tried Trepang 2? It's pretty good, it's a lovely shooter. That's on my wish list. it's actually on sale right now, uh, probably not gonna buy it just yet, but I will be buying it eventually, probably gonna make a series on it. Have you heard of Risk of Rain 2? Uh, yes, I actually own that as well. I'm going to be doing a series on that as well. Hopefully in co-op. I don't actually know anyone other than Epic Flying Horse who owns it, and he's a real busy guy. He's actually just moved into a new house, though, so hopefully a lot of his busyness should be basically over. Okay, let's stop faffing around. Let's go into town. Let's buy at least some of the sorting system, because we do need some of the sorting system now. I do also have a sneaky suspicion, actually, before we do this, again, I'm going to get... A little bit in trouble by the postponing the town trip enough we're going to buy a repair kit because i think that at this point the repairs may have gotten to the machinery i just don't know but it's been long enough it's definitely been long enough for them both the machines to break i got it i got the game in fact i've been playing it while i've been watching your stream tripping or uh or payday 2 payday 2 is so worth the 
Wait, did we not turn this on? Oh, we didn't turn it on! Okay, at least we've got a repair kit. All right, I'm gonna unstuck out of just pure anger out of that one. Let's go ahead and get into the uh, truck right here and we'll go back into town and we'll actually do what we're talking about. Also, if people didn't know what I was talking about when I said we're in our undies and socks, this is what we look like. Big mustache man, pretty similar to me, but uh, in undies. Undies and socks, so you can't really see that from that end. There you go, undies and socks, that's what we're wearing. Risk of rain too? Oh, okay, oh, okay. Yeah, a lot of people keep singing its praises. Uh, I still haven't played it yet. I don't know if it's going to be one of those games that's really, really good to play blind, but I'm going to try it anyway. There's not many people who talk about it. Risk of rain? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because I, I definitely agree with that. There's not enough people that talk about it for how much people say it's really, really good. Honestly, I would say. All right. First trip into town. We'll drift around here. Uh, okay. We've already hit the well, which is not well. Indeed. We'll go to Conveyor Nation. We'll skip the tools store. We'll go straight here. Because we need a sorting system set up basically ASAP. And we can set up a really, really crude one uh, right at the entrance of that mine. Initially, uh, we'll probably want to migrate it to the end of those pipes that we set up, though. So strike conveyors, 220, right here. One, two, centralize. One, two, polish. Uh, we're going to need a right bend. We're going to need a straight to go at the end of the right bend for all of the ores to kind of, like, sit on. Because we're not going to turn on the pipes to the sorting system on one end. We are going to need four splitters. Four splitters? Yep, four splitters, all facing right, because that is the direction that all of the stuff is going. One and two. Hopefully we've got enough money for this. I think we've got about just under three grand, right? Two thousand. Okay, we can afford just this, but we can actually set it up now. We don't have enough to get the vertical stuff, so we're actually going to go downstairs with the brush and pan. We're going to kind of manually get ourselves a little bit of the ores. Doesn't matter if you're going on blind or not, but blind is good. Okay. I tend to keep my head under a rock when it comes to going into blind games. I really like doing it. I, I love the whole first impressions thing, but also, you know, you finish the game at the same time. Because there's one thing that always bothers me about first impressions or first looks at games on YouTube, and that's that once they've had a first look, they just kind of judge the book by the cover they've already seen, and then that's kind of the long and short of it, while I kind of like to enjoy the entire experience. Almost to an OCD extent. I played the Trepang demo and it's super fun. I've seen Tripping. I've seen gameplay of it. it. It does actually look really fun. I don't know if I'll get around to it anytime soon, though, to be quite honest. <laughs> I've got so many games on my plate right now. I'm going to be streaming Hydraenea a bunch in the very near future. We're going to be taking a look at the DLC eventually, too, hopefully by Friday. And we also really, really want to polish off Dead Space as well, because that's kind of taken a dip in views on the YouTube, which is absolutely fine. I don't mind that. I'm going to move this uh, one knock over here. And there is a reason for that. We want to put a bunch of uh, water filters on that right there. Okay, now we need a single straight pipe to kind of uh, connect those up. I'm doing this in advance because we want to put a right conveyor on that pipe run there. And it's going to be a little bit annoying if we have to move the water intake to do so. So let's go ahead and get these off the truck. Good. And there's a right split. Good. And right here is a straight. Wonderful. And we've got another straight right here. So we could probably set up a crude sorting system basically on these four here to basically just exclusively split off gold and iron and clautium. And then basically it, it piles everything onto this conveyor belt, which I will go and get a valve hook right before I forget to turn off that entire water system. Hey, bro, love the hard work in your videos. Are you talking about the edits or the live streams? Because, uh, quite frankly, the, the edits are going to be few and far between. There's only going to be about three of them going up every day. But thank you so much. It's, it's really nice to be validated. Oh, piss. We, oh, that actually scared me. We forgot to purchase the valve hook. Oh, we need the money from the back of the car. We didn't get the money. We didn't get the money. That's okay. We'll go and get some from the bucket down here because this thing has just broken, which gives us great opportunity to replace the buckets. Oh, no. We're actually one bucket short. Where is the other bucket? We don't want to mix our clautium with all the good stuff, though. Be quite honest. Is there a bucket up here? Let's see. No. There is not. So, okay, so let's go to the store, which we don't have any money for. Oh, okay. Okay, everything's going wrong all of a sudden. Everything's going wrong. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We'll just sell this and type. We'll take a look and see if there's any clautium in here manually, and if there is, we'll move it. I don't see any, though. 
Yeah, I definitely don't see any Klausium. All I see is gold and iron, which is absolutely fine. So let's go ahead, take this. I'm going to pour this onto the ground so we can use the bucket. We'll stick that right there. And now we will repair this bad boy right here. We want a bunch of water filters so that we don't take any damage on the machines right here, but that is going to be a future problem. Have you seen Skibbity Toilet 68? Uh, no, I'm, I'm like, I'm maybe 68 Skibbity Toilets behind, to be quite honest. Can you read my previous message, please? Maybe check and answer. Oh, right, uh, I'm going to make some pixel art on a Ace, Ace Sprite? As, as -E Sprite? As, as a Sprite? I don't know how to pronounce that. What should I make? There you go. Everybody, tell Blahaj what to make. Right there. Oh, there are so many things you can make, to be honest. You can make a, a, a Labrador, smiling. You can make a smiling Labrador, that'll get views. Okay, we need to convert this into money first. I hope it's not your jock that you're pointing to, because I'm not grabbing anything uh, below the belt, unfortunately. I am, I'm an engineer, not a common street strumpet. Drop that there. <laughs> you love to see it, don't you? I subscribed. Prepare for more content. Uh, my promise on this channel is a video a day. Other than that, everything is up to me. Everything that I put on, on this channel is just up to me and my own enjoyment. I was actually thinking of making like a, a series of recipes. Oh no, this is probably a stupid idea. I was thinking of making like uh, real basic recipes for people to uh, kind of like cook along to, but the recipes are like cinematic movies from the, the birth of the, um, of the things that you're sticking into them to the death where they're just being baked into them. But making like a, a cinematic experiment experience out of out of very very strange recipe ideas. I, it's a stupid idea. It's a stupid idea when I say it out loud. But I could make something really cool out of it. I think. All right, good. We got lots of money. What are we getting with this? Just a hook, I think. Actually, we just got our hook. We don't need to buy anything else with this except for a few corks, which we are just not going to buy for some reason. Let's take this and we will shut off the uh, top end of the sorting system. We don't necessarily care about this other end of the sorting system just yet but we are going to turn it off at the source when we do finish the sorting system that will definitely come real handy let's see if it's dripping i don't think it is no it is it is dripping sounds cool uh, it sounds stupid it sounds really really stupid but when it's actually up on youtube you'll be all like ah oh, that is actually a really cool idea i do like that nice uh okay so let's stick in the right bend here i'm kind of reverse engineering this we probably should just get everything that gets all of this crap out from below here first. Uh, also, we should get some corks now that I think about it, because we do have a couple of leaks down here that we are never going to plug into, which might be a good idea to just kind of fill in eventually. I'll get a... Let's get the actual sorting system on this belt right here, because this will be really, really easy to uh, kind of set up, I think. So we'll get one right sorter right here, right there. Very good. And we'll get another one right over here. Good, and if we've got another one, which I don't think we do, we don't, unfortunately. Uh, we'll get these straight right here, and now we need the inclines, I think, aside from one little dit, which is right there. Okay, I'll put this one down where it belongs, right on this bad boy here. Or is it here? I'm confused. I've confused myself. I think it is here and also here. No, here, here. It, it needs to be like one ahead, so there. Okay, good. Wonderful. Uh, so, we've got a little bit of ore already as well. Wowie, what time do you upload daily? Uh, 10 a.m. I schedule all of the videos for 10 a.m. Across the weekday, they are basically VODs, if they're condensed or not. Um, it, it doesn't really matter. depends on how popular the game is. Uh, but there are edits on the weekends. Friday, Saturday, Sunday coming out. Maybe someone in the chat could tell me what to animate. Animate like a, like a happy dog or something like that. Get the views. Animate a cat running a ball of yarn. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a really, really good idea. But the ball is literally endlessly running and unspooling and the cat can't uh, can't reach it. <sighs> Gonna have this in the background. Eastern time or Western time? Uh, sorry, that is uh, plus 12 GMT. I live in New Zealand and I go off of the... I have this clock uh, somewhere around here where we kind of I live. It, it goes by New Zealand time because I wear it sometimes. Um, I think they call it a watch or something like that. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a little bit bougie, but... You know, it, it functions as intended, so. Uh, 10 a.m. New Zealand time. I think I've got it in the channel description of my channel. So if you want to read that bio, that'll tell you exactly when the GMT time is. I imagine you're based in the U.S. I got a lot of viewers based in the U.S., according to my analytics. 
like a strangely huge amount of viewers based in the US. I don't know why. Absolutely no idea why. <laughs> it's not exactly like I'm targeting them or anything. Okay, so we're going to need a bunch of lifts. Uh, one, two, three, four lifts here. We're going to need five and potentially six. Six lifts. Six lifts, a right bend, two straights. Six, okay, we'll just go for the six lifts first, and then we'll just get as many straights as we possibly can. And that one bend. Where's our money? Here it is. Good. I knew I didn't leave it at the store. Okay, we'll fire that one down there. Very cash money. Let's go all the way back to the store. And we'll get the resources required. We're actually pretty close to uh, potentially getting enough resources to get ourselves the next automation machine as well. Which will double the amount of production that we have. So that's exciting. That's exciting. Very exciting. Uh, physics? Please? Physics? I can drive up the wall but not down. Please? Okay. I beg you. Oh, here we go. Good. <laughs> <laughs> that was super strange. Super, super strange. Okay, so we'll curl around here. And we're in town. Great. So let's hit up this conveyor nation. And I'm actually going to back the truck in because I know what I'm doing this time. We just want to load everything straight onto the truck as fast as we possibly can. Oop, we just blocked ourselves off. Whoopsie daisy. Let's drop all of this money into here. This <laughs> is still money bucket. Uh, I'm going to drop all the money and also the crystals that we don't really care about into there. Uh, the money didn't blend. That's strange. Let's take this bottom one here. 66 bucks, though. Why would we bother? Boop. No, it didn't blend. Okay. Uh, regardless, let's get six lifts because we know we need six lifts. One, two, and there's uh, three right here as well. Most people in the US, me, don't really have anything to do. So when we were bought, we just watch YouTube and make it be, it could be something with the algorithm here. I honestly, the algorithm has nothing to do with me. I, I can't I can't handle the al the algorithm whatsoever. The algorithm is for you guys whatsoever. It's quite funny as well because like I'll see every now and then someone will go ahead and just absolutely spam my videos with dislikes but what that actually does is it just stops the channel from being suggested to you in your own algorithm feed which is really really funny. So all they're doing is harming uh, themselves. If they just want to go around and spitefully uh, dislike every video that I have then you know, YouTube's just going to be all like, oh, well, they don't like the video. We'll just show them something else. Because YouTube's only interested in maximizing the amount of time that you're actually on YouTube, which is why your feed is actually pretty accurate. That's, on that's the only reason that it's accurate. YouTube just wants you to stay here because that's uh, ad revenue. Uh, we don't want this one, actually. We want a right conveyor, don't we? We want a right conveyor, and we'll see if we can afford this. We've got 604. I don't we think we can afford the other one right there. So we'll get these two right here, and we should be good. Wonderful. I don't see how people dislike this. Yeah, they're few and far between, but they do happen. It, it happens in clusters. And then I think the YouTube uh, algorithms just all like, okay, well, we'll stop recommending these videos to that person. And then they just stop. So <laughs> this is quite funny. Quite funny, really. It's nice you think that, though. It's, it's nice that you think that my content isn't worth disliking. Pretty nice. Very, very validating. Thank you for the endorphins. I watch a lot of transgender content, so that's why I always get in my feed. Oh, yeah, that's exactly why you'll be getting uh, my content, right? All of, <laughs> all of my transgender content. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm literally the definition of masculinity. <laughs> so if you got recommended me off of uh, transgender videos, then, man, you, YouTube's barking up the wrong tree here. I mean, still struck a good chord, but, man, barking up the wrong tree, huh? Okay, hopefully nothing's going to get stuck on the mud right there. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we'll put this here. Now, there is a tiny little veneer of dirt. There you go. There's uh, some of my trades coming out to coming out to say hello. A little veneer of dirt right in between here. I'm not entirely sure if the ores are going to get stuck on it, but I don't actually think that they are. So I think we're in a pretty damn good place. Right here. Uh, I'm trying to... Put that lower, but it wouldn't snap. There we go. It snapped on. Very good. Also, well, I'm also an animator and engineer, so I could see why. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. It makes sense. It does make a lot of sense, actually. I do tend to appeal to animators. Although, I have gotten really, really good at animating my own content uh, very recently in the last few months. I started using DaVinci Resolve last December, I think. And since I started using DaVinci Resolve, man, I don't want to use anything else. It's so good. It's so good! 
Are you streaming tomorrow? Yes, I am. I am streaming every single weekday. Uh, you've subscribed? If you turn on notifications, I'll put up a community post every single time I go live and you'll basically get a little notification on your phone saying uh, exactly what I say, which is going to be, hey, I'm going live in this amount of time and I'm going to be playing this game. So that's uh, basically how you can get the alerts. But I also have a Discord where I post all of the kind of live alerts into its own specific channel. So if you'd rather use Discord to get your alerts, then uh, that also works. But I know a lot of people kind of iffy about Discord sometimes. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. So I've also got the alternate path. Nice. Clausium. Of Discord there. If, if you'd rather use that. A small Clausium. Uh, we're getting a lot of Clausium, actually, I think. No, that's gold. Useless. Uh, we need this lamp. Probably right here, right? So we can see what we're doing. All right. That is so much better. Now I can see what's in the bucket. Excellent. You very much attract artists. Yeah, I thought I would. I am an artist. I am an artist. I... I, I, I've got to admit, I grew up as a teenager, a very angry teenager, because I lived under the rule of my stepfather, who basically told me that nobody likes gay people, and uh, what else is there? Don't ever show emotions. And this guy was an absolute twit and a half. Like, I think anybody can look at that these days and think, wow, what an absolute dick. But I was so afraid to show my artistry side for all those years that I robbed myself of a decade and a half of potential content creation. Oh God, it bothers me so much. Uh, the best I, I had was playing guitar and it was the only thing I really loved doing as well because I didn't feel guilty about doing it. So I'm out of that situation now and now I'm making anything that I want to and I'm happy. I actually have a happy lifestyle. Obviously my income is not phenomenal and uh, being disabled gives me certain perks when it comes to income, but at the same time, I'm happy. I'm actually really happy doing what I'm doing on YouTube right now. I've never been this happy and I've never been this kind of like calm and, and peaceful. It's so nice. I'm an artist too, but I don't know how to animate and do I get notifications from YouTube? You should get notifications from YouTube. You should do. If you don't, then on uh, my channel page, there should be a little icon right at the top that just says, uh, it's, it's a little bell. And if you hold down the bell, you should be able to get notifications. I think that's how it works. I ha haven't used YouTube mobile in a year or so. But I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I don't know how to animate. Yeah, uh, basically, if you want to make things, then start by making things. There is no better time than the present to make something uh, for artists when it, when it comes down to it. You just need to start doing something and then eventually your own passion will get so much of your life that you'll just naturally become really, really good at something. It just happens. It happens organically. If you let it. If you let it happen organically, it happens organically. Okay, now, uh, thinking uh, less like an artist and more like an engineer, we're probably actually going to need a hook centralizer here. And then we're just going to hope for the best when it comes to the machines that we're going to hook in here and here to kind of pump out onto the conveyor belt that is going to go there. Because if we centralize all of the ores as it's coming up this belt right here, then none of them will kind of fling off into the abyss. All right, we've got two sorters here. We need iron ore, we need gold ore, and we are going to dump everything that is not iron ore or gold ore onto this conveyor right here, which is not on. Thanks, I love your accent, and I've been drawing for five years. Nice! Nice! I wish I could draw. Uh, good old Scott's World in chat also draws. He sent a sketch through to the Discord, and... Uh, you know, I thought it was lackluster initially, uh, given that he said that he was a long-term uh, artist and sketcher, but once he told me he was quite restricted on the amount of pencils that he has, it actually became very impressive. Maybe I'll create like a little artist's page on the Discord. Maybe you guys can talk there about, about doing art and uh, techniques and stuff like that. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Or animation, anything like that. I don't mind, actually. Okay, uh, we've got this bucket. We are going to set up the crude part of the sorting system. We're going to take gold. I'm going to stick it in to this little doot right here. Boop. There we go. And we're going to take some iron as well. Hopefully this is iron. That's iron. Good. And we're going to stick this one on the sorting system right here. Great. Excellent. So that should filter off into two buckets that we're going to have to set up very shortly, actually gonna have to set it up very very shortly i'm gonna put this down here in the meantime because we still don't really have enough conveyor belts to automate all of this ah probably too far away put that there i've been doing pixel art for five years it shows dog shark you're actually very very good at pixel art it definitely shows it definitely definitely shows um 
Yeah, how many applications have you used, by the way? How, for your pixel art, how many different applications have you used? Because I found that when I was using Photoshop, I got really, really good at the real basics, and then I wasn't really motivated to learn any more because Photoshop was just so easy to use. And then I started using something called Affinity Photo, which is kind of like free Photoshop. Well, maybe not free Photoshop, but it's a once-off payment of 100 bucks, and then you own the entire application forever, which is leagues better than Photoshop's annoying subscription fees. So uh, using Affinity Photo, I'm actually motivated because I invested money into it, into learning how to do everything. All right, let's go ahead and get a couple of buckets. And we also need a couple of concrete floors as well, which means we need money, which we again left back at the town. Let's actually go back to town because we're going to need a couple of things actually before we set up this automated system right here, I think. What kind of games do you like to play and do you allow game requests? Yes, I if, honestly, on the Discord, there is actually an entire channel dedicated to, to game requests. I do have a list. It's a big list. But now that I'm streaming, um, hopefully I'll be able to get through a lot of those game requests a lot faster. Last week, I did a stream on Monday where I played a bunch of the kind of like little horrors that uh, had just been kind of like taken up my itch.io library and I wanted to make content out of them. So I recorded a live stream. I got through about 15 games in three hours. So that was 15 separate requests polished off in a single stream. And I uh, still have all the recordings that I haven't necessarily done anything with, but they are able to be edited and stuck up on the internet at any given time. I use one for my phone and one for my computer. Yeah, but what are they called, my dude? <laughs> what are they actually called? I'd like to see Fallout if you would like to play it. Ah. I've got Fallout 76, I've got Fallout 1, I've got Fallout New Vegas, all of those are on the list. Which one are you requesting specifically? Although I just got another one. What, game request or application? It's kind of cool, actually. It's kind of cool that there are applications that specifically cater to specific art styles. Because when I was uh, learning a lot of my Photoshop stuff as a teenager, uh, this is maybe like in 2006, 2007, when I kind of graduated from Krita and Gimp, no, they weren't around. What was I using? Something else. It was some other freeware. It definitely wasn't Microsoft Paint, but it wasn't much better than it. So uh, once I was learning Photoshop and stuff, it, it, it just absolutely exploded in the ability that I had. And when I was doing pixel art with Photoshop, I'd have to align all of the grids to be a pixel wide. That was hard. Fallout 4? Good shout. I've got that in VR, actually. I'm probably going to do a, a playthrough of that in the next few months. Pixel Studio on my phone, pixelart.com on my computer, and I just go A Sprite on my computer. Okay. Oh, there's another uh, chatter here who's also using A Sprite. We've got 144 bucks. Let's go dump this into the shop. We'll go and get two floors, and we should be absolutely fine to uh, set up the sorting system from now on. All of our buckets are ending up here, by the way, which maybe is not the best thing in the world. Okay, got this brick. Got this brick. Boop. There we go. Done. Dunion rings. Want to make a request for Fallout New Vegas? Honestly, I only play it for the mods. I ugh, I, should, I should, probably shouldn't say this, but I've got a, almost a billion mods <laughs> installed on my New Vegas right now. I uh, can't put that there. That can go there. Okay, so a bucket can go here, a bucket can go there, and then it'll just drop in all of the stuff that we need. That we need. It won't drop the Cloutium, won't drop cut gems or anything like that, but it'll drop everything that we need. Looking for something. Uh, yeah, this bucket right here. I just want to dump all of the crystals into there. All of the money can go into this bucket here. I'll clean up. Don't worry, buddy. I'll, I'll clean up this mess that I just made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll get these buckets right here that we already own, and we will set up the sorting system. By the time we put these buckets down, we should have enough money to buy the last of the conveyor belts for the bottom section of the sorting system. The kind of like automated production straight from the machines. A Sprite is the only one which costs money? Okay, I, I didn't know that. Is it like, oh, is it superior? Is it worth the money, so to speak? Is it is it worth the money to buy A Sprite? Because honestly, I found paid applications definitely nine times out of 10 worth the money. I even paid for an application called BuyClick Downloader, which a lot of people on the internet just seem to think is a virus. Um, the BuyClick Downloader basically is a download manager for YouTube things, and it supports playlists, and it can uh, drop it into files. It basically converts all of the kind of like metadata as well that YouTube has into the data that you would actually want in the descriptions of the videos and stuff like that. Very handy. Very, very easy. And 
you use it basically by highlighting the playlist that you want to uh, download or the video that you want to download. You copy, you hit control C on the link and then the application automatically downloads it for you. That was the longest boss fight I've ever had in Risk of Rain. Jesus? Jesus is in Risk of Rain. That is insane. I, I didn't realize that Jesus was really canon in many places, to be quite honest. It was like 20 bucks USD. Oh, yeah, that, that seems like a, a fairly good price point. If, you know, if you've been doing it for a while on a free application, that actually does seem like a reasonable uh, price point. Uh, let's get this bucket set up here. We'll turn off the production downstairs. And now, oh, don't need to, actually. It's already turned itself off. Let's sell everything in this bucket here. Oh, my God, it's made a mess, actually. Oh, no. It's made a mess. It's made a mess. Is that Cloutium? No, that's iron. Oh, that's not what I wanted to pick up. Is this Cloutium? No, it's gold. Okay. No gold. Just iron. All right, let's uh, put those down. We're going to start keeping all of the iron and stuff from now on. By the way, we're going to start keeping everything from now on, except gold. We're going to be selling all of that. No, he's not in the game. I was just stressing the entire time. I was not chatting. I was doing a boss fight. That's absolutely fine. Honestly, I'm happy with being background noise. If people are actively watching me, then also pretty premium. Or 32.69 New Zealand dollars. Yeah, that sounds about right. Usually our exchange rate is about 75%. It's not about... Whoa, my God. That's the biggest haul we've had so far by an enormous amount. That's five grand. Guys, that's 5,000 buckery booze. Background noise while I work, it is perfect. Yeah, right, right. And this guy knows me. This guy actually knows me <laughs> personally. I bet this, uh, oh, that's probably not actually what our friendship's like. I tend to talk a lot now that I'm a YouTuber because uh, I'm a YouTuber and such. Uh, let's go and get the last of the um, sorting systems and stuff. I always think, I always think, out of a place of either insecurities or just, you know, self-loathing, that when I talk, people just kind of tune me out. But I don't really think that that's the case anymore, right? Where are you from? I'm from New Zealand. Uh, rated the sexiest accent in the world at some point. Can't remember when, but it was definitely uh, within the last hundred years. If I had to narrow it down, I'd probably say maybe like the last four years. I don't know who also did this rating because I, if I was given uh, rain to rate the sexiest accents in the world, I'd probably put Scottish right at the top. I really like Scottish accents. Uh, they're really hard to understand though. So I know if a lot of people don't really like Scottish accents, that would also influence the, the factor of the, of the votes. But at the same time, that, that's, that's where my vote would be. So, you know, Yinsen's sexiest accent in the world is currently Scottish. That may also change depending on whether or not uh, my preferences change in the future. Because I am a I am a fickle listener. I really recommend Survivors of the Void DLC for Risk of Rain 2, and it's on sale right now. Everything's on sale right now, my dude. It's the Steam Summer Sale. Have you not seen the uh, spiffing VRIP video that's, that's kind of let everybody know, hey, the Summer Sale's on, and also uh, the entire Steam market's been broken? By dick stickers? I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding, by the way. They are actually called dick stickers. People are duplicating dick stickers, and they're selling them on the market for about a thousand bucks each. Well, were. I think the value of them's been massively diluted by now, but... You know. You know, it's, 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 the, it's the principle, right? It's the principle of the dick stickers. I've always wanted to go to New Zealand. It's a nice place. It's a nice place, but there are a couple of, kind of, like, pitfalls that you need to... You need to know when you come here. I zoned out for a sec. We're talking about our friendship. Since day one, we've been good mates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Z30 here. As soon as we met, we uh, fell in love at first sight, basically. I gave him a recommendation to play Enderall, the uh, popular mod for Skyrim. And uh, we, we, we hung out. Lots and lots. As if we were already married, which is hilarious because he actually has a fiance, and I'm pretty sure she's a little bit jealous. To be honest. <laughs> but it's, uh, it, it, there could be worse things that, uh, you know, fiance's good friend is known for. All right, uh, we'll go over here. Sorry, uh, the things you need to know about New Zealand, birds. It's, it's full of birds. We love our birds here. Uh, I, I'm completely on the same page as this. Birds are great. And pies. Pies are not sweet. Pies are actually like a thing full of meat, if you're American. Pies are not, you know, a, a, a giant hunk of chocolate coated in pastry. It's, it's actual meat. What else is there? The coffee is bitter as hell. That's how we love it. That's how we love it. Don't mess with our birds yet, yeah, definitely. Some of the birds will mess with you. 
Don't get anywhere near a Kia. They dismantle cars for fun. I have seen a Kia personally rip somebody's um, radio antenna off of their car and then proceed to beat them mercilessly with the radio antenna because they wanted the Kia to stop uh, defacing their car, which is pretty funny. I wouldn't say all of us love the birds. I swear to God, your car becomes the number one target the moment you wash it. Oh, yeah, you don't wash your car. Don't wash your car here. Absolutely not. That is a that is a big no-no. You will absolutely regret it. Day one, you'll regret it. Uh, seagulls. No one likes seagulls here. No one likes the seagulls here. Seagulls suck. In fact, if I can go one step further, seagulls suck ass. Uh, but the coffee one, that is probably the biggest one. A lot of the world is very, very familiar with Starbucks kind of coffee. Here in New Zealand, Starbucks is not coffee. Starbucks is literally not coffee. Starbucks is what we kind of know as a dessert. Not like here, messed up. Honestly, if there was a Kia, Luston Ikea, that would be a mess for the ages. That would be the worst dismantling job in history. I think German is funny. Like, imagine somebody saying, Bep Pfeifenscheit, a face begging to be slapped. I speak a little bit of German. I speak a little bit of German. It is a funny language in some ways. Like, butterfly is Schmitterling. And, uh, you know, there, there are obviously those comparisons, but... At the same time, I think German has a bit of a bad reputation for being violent because a lot of people tend to scream German just just to be funny. I'm learning German. I love German, honestly. Uh, my best friend actually took German in, in university, so I had the luxury of not having to, to pay a university to study it. I just kind of, like, you know, hung around him when he studied it. Though I love the word for birth control. What's that? What is the, the word for birth control? Krankenboot? <laughs> No, it wouldn't be crying and food. That'd be so stupid. Okay, so we should be able to pipe everything in now. It's just uh, coming in a little bit slow. So we prob... Ah, it doesn't really matter if it's slow or not, to be quite honest. Not really interested in the speed here. Anti-baby pill. <laughs> You're taking the piss. Anti-baby pill. Anti-baby pillin. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. <laughs> that is so based. <laughs> I love the Germans so much. I, I, Because honestly, like, once you get past the whole World War II thing, you find out that the humour of the German people is just so goddamn funny. And they all say it straight-faced. They all say every single joke that they say straight-faced. All right, uh, so what do we have to work on next? We probably want to think about the separation of the iron ore, which we've already kind of automated. We don't really need to do anything else for a while now, do we? Maybe we should get down there in the mud with a brush and a pan. Let's actually get a forge. <laughs> I know I said that uh, there was nothing else to do, and we've also got a couple of spare conveyor belts, which are strangely clipping into each other. But uh, we're actually going to go back to town. We're going to get our money, and the we are going to buy some kind of forge. We need to be able to comp uh, compact mount... I don't know what's going wrong with that word. I am dyslexic, but I'm trying to speak it. Compartmentalize uh, the ores that we have so that we can save a little bit of frame rate. German language is weird, but I agree. I, I love the Germans. I dated a German for like five years. Their culture is fantastic. I really like their culture. You know, for uh, we've probably got some Germans in chat, to be honest, but uh, for a, a Christmas tradition, they watch this kind of British thing called a, a Meal for One. Has anybody seen it? Anybody seen A Meal for One? It's about this uh, very, very wealthy heiress. Got a lot of money. Wealthy heiress who's trying to host like a dinner party, but all of her friends have kind of like passed away of old age. So there's this butler rushing around impersonating every single one of these uh, these dead people um, every time she addresses them. And he has to skull like a heap of these these drinks and he gradually gets more drunk and drunk and he still has to do the waitery things of serving the food and uh, falls over and such. It's, it's really funny. If no one's seen it, it's definitely a Christmas tradition that's worth continuing. That sounds sad. It's a lot funnier than it sounds. It's it's obviously um, kind of dark humour, but it's way funnier than it sounds, believe me. Uh, I'm actually going to get this auto smelter right here, because we can not only afford it, but they're awesome. And I really, really like them. Uh, pun intended on the awesome part. You know, or? Awesome? Awesome? Anyone? Awesome? 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 Awesome. You guys get it? Oops, I just hit somebody with my car and I missed it. Okay, we've got our first cursed person in this river right here. I'm going to hit him again, see what happens. Boop. Damn, I sent her flying onto the hill and she's dead. Okay, that's not good. 
That's not good at all. If you haven't hung around the jeweler to hear the ore joke, you need to. There's a... Seriously, is there a dad joke in this game? I won't be able to commit on every stream, but I'll be able to watch most of them since I'm from North Carolina. That is absolutely fine. Honestly, I'm only really here to kind of like brighten other people's days. If, if people miss it, that's fine. The videos are going to go up and there's still the potential to brighten someone's day. It's just, I really like the conversation element that's come with these streams, especially after I figured out how to actually get a little bit of the old, uh, how would you say it, uh, chat on the stream. Okay, we now have this right here. So, poos. We actually want to be able to turn this off so we can grab these buckets and pour it into the... Damn it. Okay, so we're actually going to need to maybe get a bunch more conveyor belts and probably set up the rest of the sorting system here so that we can stop the belt every time we actually need to... Oh, we've got more Cloutium. Yoink. Taking that bad boy. Oops. And it's gone. Okay. Uh, let's grab this iron right... Is it more Cloutium? What the hell is going on? Nice! Okay, I'm gonna grab this iron right here. I'm gonna tip it into this furnace real quickly. We got a little bit of it, and we're gonna drop this right here before the next one comes. Nice. Good. Oh my god, more Cloutium. Wow. Right, let's take some of this gold, and we'll put it straight back where it belongs, uh, because we didn't empty out this last one here. Right, what's next? Gold. I got an achievement called Smelt It Delted for smelting a bar. Let's smelt this gold right here as well, and we will drop this on the ground. Excellent. Speed throw! Great, so now we're actually going to need something called some scales, which we're going to have to go back into town for. But don't worry, they're not they're not terribly expensive. Guys, I got this 10 bucks for Steam. Just get... Just game shot. Uh, Blahash, do you want me to call you an ambulance? Can you can you feel the... the sorry, the right side of your body? Please, please respond. I will call you an ambulance if you need one. Well, you made my day better. That is great to hear, Linda. Um... Excellent. So, if we go all the way back to the store, we are going to buy ourselves a scale, and I think we should be able to probably start hoarding resources. And maybe we should also think about doing some quests, because there are some quest givers that give us something called tokens, guild tokens. And you can exchange these guild tokens for really, really good stuff, like tier 3 tools, which we will need at some point. I feel a little numb. Okay, you're an ambulance, Blahaj. You're an ambulance. I have Stardew Valley. That slaps. Stardew Valley slaps. I love Stardew Valley. Uh, Conveyor Nation. So we're here. This isn't where we want to be. We actually want to back it up a little bit further into this other store. I always come to Conveyor Nation because I always underestimate just how many conveyor belts that we actually need for a project. Let's get this bucket of money. We'll drop it in here. We'll get ourselves some scales right here. Boom. They're cheap as chips. Great. Shiny new truck. Yeah, I highly doubt that, my dude. I'm going to buy all of them before you have the option. Actually, are you the shopkeeper here? Or is this guy the shopkeeper? What the hell are you doing? That guy's creepy, isn't he? Do you have any advice for starting a YouTube channel and how long have you been doing YouTube? Yes. Yes, I do. I've got two allegories to give you. One of them is of myself. One of them is of uh, one of my uh, good friends who is also a big YouTuber. I have been doing this YouTube channel thing kind of as a hobby until last November. I had 70 subscribers over the three, four years that I've been doing this as a hobby. When I started uploading daily, I ended up getting to the point where I am at now at about 850 subscribers. So being on the platform definitely gets you way more subscribers than uh, just like uploading quality. Unfortunately, I hate to say it. Unfortunately, that is just the case. Now, I'm at 850 subscribers. It seems as though everyone who I have talked to who hits monetization through ad revenue, which is around about 1,000 subscribers, they have been on the platform for around about four years, so I am about par for the course. But since I've been doing this essentially full-time since last November, I'm almost monetized, and I have been in the most competitive, low-yield space on YouTube. So, you know, it must be doing something right. So just... You know, putting out content definitely makes a difference. Now, alternatively, I have a friend, Epic Flying Horse, who has his uh, own YouTube channel. He has about 65, maybe 66 by now, 1,000 subscribers. He has been exclusively playing a single game on his channel for 14 years. Now, do I think that he grew fast? Yes, at some point. His 1,000 subscribers hit at around about the three-year mark, and he'd been doing it uh, pretty Pretty diligently. What else are we looking for? I think I want to saw so we can saw things in half. And that's about it. 
Good. He's been doing it pretty diligently for those three years, and he's definitely put himself into a niche. He is now known in that niche with his 65,000 subscribers. And if you look up that game, chances are his videos will be one of the videos that will just pop up. Thanks for your business. Simple as that. He has been making content for 14 years. So in a way, he has not grown as fast as I would probably reasonably expect him to. So it's it, a lot of it relies on luck. A lot of it relies on quantity over quality. I've been putting out these live streams as VODs and I've had way more success than I have had as uh, kind of like an editor for YouTube. Now, I am really good at editing now, but it's made no difference. It's literally made no difference because I don't actually use the editing skills to get views anymore. So uh, th that's about it. Mr. Sinister is back, boy. Great to be back. Is Scott here? Hey there, Juju. I have no idea. He may have fallen asleep. I know it's quite late where he is. You think now is a good time to start a YouTube channel or should I wait? There is no better time to start making art than as soon as you possibly can, especially when it comes to social media. Like, I put off uh, uh, doing what I love doing, which is YouTube, for so many years, over a decade, because I was so insecure about my own skills and my own personality, I didn't necessarily think that people would actually want to watch me. And that was massively detrimental to the health of my channel. Now, I know I'm a good person. I know that people actually want to watch me. So uh, people keep coming back. People really, really like the content. And I'm growing at, uh, retrospectively, probably an alarming rate, I would say. There is no good or bad time. You just start and you keep going. Exactly, Z. That is exactly what you should do. That were the person watching in VR. Oops. What am I doing? I'm stuck. So I got everything that we need. That were the person watching in VR. Oh, right. Yeah, Scott. Um. Oh, yeah, true. If he's fallen asleep in the VR, then he's done something that I have never seen anybody else able to do, ever. Although, actually, I can talk about something else I've never seen that happened a few weeks ago. A best friend, Carl. He drove through a puddle. Uh, Z, you've you've seen this in the in the private group in the friends chat. But he drove through a puddle, and I kid you not, it blew a hole this big in his engine, in the entire engine of his car. I've never seen it before, and uh, I've insisted that the person who fixes his car give me his engine so I can make art out of it. It is it is so it is so mind boggling that such an injury to a car, like the the whole engine has just blown almost in half. It's still obviously connected, but it's, there's, a, there's a good gap between. Oh my god, his engine? I know, it's absolutely crazy, isn't it? Oh man, um, timestamp, if I remember to do so, I'll, I'll put the, the picture, I'll put the pictures up in this video right here. <laughs> I'll write that down real quick. I'll edit it in, in post, because I have the option to do so. Uh, what's the timestamp? 222. 222. Okay, there we go. It's gonna go on the live YouTube. So now everybody has an incentive to actually watch the videos. Wonderful. Why am I holding money? I don't want money. I want everything else. I want all of these things. Well, I don't want that conveyor belt, actually. Maybe I don't want everything else. Okay, we've got this here gem polisher. This thing is fantastic because now we can actually monetize our gems. Thanks for the advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So generally, if you will just ask a YouTuber who's kind of not busy for advice, they'll basically tell you the same thing, which is just start posting. And don't delete content, right? Because of how the algorithm works, if you delete your content, that is a potential for somebody to not see your work. There is a decent hole just drilled through his entrance, like as if a thick laser shot through it. That's exactly what it looks like. It's absolutely insane. It's, it's, it's actually crazy just how decimated that poor engine is. But yeah, um, what was I, uh, what was I up to? If you just start posting things, yeah, deleting content. Don't do it unless it will harm your brand. Uh, the, the thing that I have noticed is that people will come to your YouTube channel because they saw a video. If you didn't post that video, they never would have found you, which is a potential subscriber that you just don't get, right? Simple as that. Now, in saying that, if you've got a video that would be harmful to your brand, like you saying some kind of gamer word or some kind of slur or uh, having a hot take about something that's quite popular, cancel culture probably would kick in, might actually be best to delete the video. You can actually delete the video halfway through the backlash though, which will minimize the risk. I've luckily never had to do this, but it, it is an option that most YouTubers do have at their disposal. 
In saying that, uh, there's also a lot of talk about when to post your videos, and this one's a bit more controversial, because I have a hot take about this, about when to post. Usually, you'll see on your YouTube studio, if you ever get the chance, uh, kind of like a little tab that shows a heat map of when people are watching your video. You want to post way before this, not at that point. Because if you post halfway through uh, the, like, the view spike, then only half of the people will actually see the video. The other half will never have seen that video. They'll never have been recommended that video. And again, that's a uh, potential subscriber lost. I was watching someone who saw your stream and thought it looked fun. What, the, the, the blowing the whole thing? Have you done such things? What are we talking about? I have completely forgotten. I've kind of gone on a gigantic tangent while I was thinking about the in infrastructure here. Uh, we'll get this, and we also need to get a cast. No, we don't. We don't need a cast whatsoever. There's a right at six flags called Goliath. The safety bars don't click in. You have to push down to be safe, and you go sideways multiple times, so I'm not riding it. That sucks. I'm, that, that's, not, that's not fun. <laughs> it sounds like whiplash. ADH bright. Yeah. ADHD brain is definitely kicking in. It's kicking in real hard, uh, which actually reminds me, I take uh, medication for my memory. I should probably actually <laughs> maybe take it. I haven't taken it today, which is an irony of memory medication, isn't it? You know, you take it to remember to take your meds and you forget to take your meds because you haven't taken the meds. It's a catch-22. I also just spilled water down my front. Oh well, go big or go home. Especially when it comes to hydrating. But don't water poison yourself, also a big thing. So, now that we've got all of this set up, uh, the machines should have been running in the background. I hope none of them are broken. I, nope, they are not broken. I see them spitting out resources at a pretty good rate. We probably... Yeah, we definitely need to hook all of these conveyors up to basically harvest these resources, unless we take them all off of the belt individually, one by one. Let's go sleep. It's night time. No one can see anything. Uh, boing! There we go. We still have our lucky Clausium on our pillow right here. Y'all ever look into Warhammer? From the moment I saw the weakness of my flesh, I was disgusted. <laughs> I've looked into a bit of it. I've looked into the cool side of Warhammer. There is a cringe side of Warhammer that I don't want to be a part of, but the, the cool side of Warhammer, I, I vibe. I definitely vibe that. Like, end times. That's a cool side of Warhammer. I Man, it's 11.25pm. Man, that's late. I think it's afternoon here. How are your broker's hell vibes holding up? Uh, they have... Replicated. Again, we started from scratch today. Yesterday, I was on an off day. I was not happy with everything that we'd accomplished because at the end of everything that we'd accomplished yesterday, we basically had to start doing everything here that we have already set up anyway because we need the Clausium uh, to get put together to actually start drilling into the Tier 2 soil, which is the entire point that, uh, of which that we bought the other land in the first place. Uh, the MILF's Aquifer. We went there, and unfortunately, the MILF's Aquifer only has all of its all of its water source right at the bottom of the map, so you need Tier 2 tools to get down to there. And by the time you get down to there, it's a, it's a little bit frustrating to actually start farming up. A little bit frustrating, because the water pressure sucks as well. Guys, should I get American Truck Simulator or Celeste? Get Celeste! Uh, not American Truck Simulator. Oh, good God. <laughs> Dodge a bullet with that one. For the Emperor! As an ADHD, have you ever... Yeah, have to tightrope, having to drink enough caffeine to stay alive, but not to get super anxious. Uh, no, I don't actually have ADHD. I just have ADHD traits because of the, uh, the neurogenic fatigue illness that I, I mentioned earlier on the stream. But I also drink coffee. I have two a day, and my body has gotten to the point where if I have too much coffee, it just, it, it, it shuts down. It's like, no, this is way too much coffee. It shuts down, I get a big tummy ache, and I, I don't ever want to see another cup of coffee again until the next day. Basically how that works. Uh, if I have any less than two cups of coffee, my body's just all like, Where the hell is the second cup, you idiot? Don't you know what we're here for? We exist for coffee! It's literally that kind of stuff. Can't tell if the MILF's intentional or ADHD. The MILF's aquifer. It's, it's the MILF's aquifer. When you get to tell them 5% you, dodge this. Dodge this. American Truck Simulator is not that good. Yeah, I definitely agree with that one. It's a, it's a jank one. It's real jank, uh, kind of like German... Cash cow, I think. I can also get Euro Truck Simulator 2. Again, if there's like Euro Simulator in the title, I would dodge it. I would completely dodge it. <laughs> Though it, there seems to be a genre of game that's just kind of put out that are kind of crap. Got a lot of gold in here, actually. Mildew? No, MILFs! MILFs Aquifer. Here, I'll get the map out right now. Yeah, look, here's the map right here. 
Here it is. In the uh, top kind of, well, maybe not right, top right hand, but in the central north east, it's the MILF's Aquifer. MILF's, ready, ready, Kel, it is MILF's Aquifer. It's not Mildew's Aquifer. Come on, man, what do you have, dyslexia? Me too. But at the same, I, I'm confident it's not Mildew. And I know it's not the dyslexia talking. Is that Cloutium? Oh, nice. I don't have a uh, colour blindness. <laughs> we need a sorting system for the Cloutium. Oh, we, ne <laughs> we need to set up the rest of this, honestly. <sighs> MILF means I love frogs, right? Uh, yeah, 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 it can do. Until you hit about 14 and uh, everyone tells you what MILF means. What are your thoughts on the Undertale community? I haven't played it yet. The Deltarune community has actually been phenomenal so far. I, I Honestly, I can't say enough things about them. I don't know anything about, like, any of the bad side of the community, because obviously I haven't been in the community for, for long enough. But of the fandom that I've dipped my toes in, every single person who's a fan of that game that I've bumped into so far has not only been supportive, kind, um, patient as well, but everyone has watched me bumble through these games, create my own theories, and I know just how jarring it is for some random dude to come in off of the street, uh, young, dumb, and full of crumbs, with their own theories. It, it, that goes against established head cannons that are already in the Phantom, and I cannot say just enough how grateful I am that the community has not spoiled any of the game for me. It's, it's been fantastic, honestly. Like, I, I love the community so much just for that exact reason. I can't sing their praises enough. And the game itself, wow. What a genius game. Also, uh, the thing's broken down. So we actually can kind of take all of this gold in good conscience and we'll filter it into a bar. Right here. Boop. There we go. That's a lot of gold. Holy hell. That's going to be a lot of, a lot of money right there. Uh, we'll put the bar in here too. Good. Now we'll pour it out and we'll see how heavy it is. It's 3,000 bucks. That's okay, actually. That's pretty okay. I tried playing it. It doesn't even have instructions for how to play. I spent 30 minutes figuring out how to play. One star. Is this Undertale? I feel like the controls are a little jank, but then I started playing it with the controller and it, 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 everything opened up real good for me. I am really, really crap at bullet hells as well, by the way. I can't iterate this enough. I am so crap at bullet hells. When I beat Jevil for the first time, the rush of endorphins it was intoxicating. It was so good. Wait, you also have ADHD? Uh, assumed ADHD. I don't actually have ADHD. <laughs> Certainly not diagnosed, but I do have a lot of the traits because of the illness that I have. I have a failure to, to regulate my emotions, which I have spent many, many years trying to get a hold of, uh, trying to dive into something called stoicism to, to really get a hold of my emotions. I'm a fiery person when it comes to it. Um, but now I, I, I'm just very, very wise and calm. Uh, what else is there? I... Jump from topic to topic so much, especially in streams. But I think this may be a consequence of chat rather than myself. I've got a little bit of money in here. We'll put it in this bucket right here. Boop. Now we got five grand. Holy hell. Wow, that is actually a lot of money. What are we going to spend it on? Let's find out. <laughs> probably, probably conveyor belts, to be quite honest. So let's count up how much we're going to need because we are going to need a bunch of them. I'm joking. Yeah, I, I got that you were joking. I got it. There is not skip button to, uh, dialogue in Undertale. Hmm. Okay. There's probably a mod that does it, though. The Undertale community is weird as hell, literally. I haven't actually met anybody that, like, exhibits super, super weird tendencies, but I'm also a bit of a student of psychology, so I tend to recognize weirdness as I see it and then immediately justify it with some kind of, of mental categorization. A little bit of a shame. My girlfriend also has a, um, a a bachelor's in arts and science, and the art and science part of that was psychology. So uh, her and I, uh, def we definitely bonded over it when we uh, first got together. Well, maybe the second time we got together. We keep getting back together. We've been together six years now. Can you believe that? That's insane. I've been dating someone for six years, and I'm a streamer. <laughs> Unheard of. Not Undertale, American Truck and the Farming Game both need one star, people would agree. Uh, the farming game, if you're talking about farming simulator, it's jank and it's time consuming, but there is definitely an appeal to it. But a simulator where you drive around and you don't have a hot ass, I mean, the, the hands-on throttle and steering, that's uh, kind of what we call them here in New Zealand. 
you don't have one of those, then uh, the driving simulators just get really dull after a while, especially to people like me. All right, let's start loading up these uh, straight conveyors, and we're also going to need a single right conveyor. Right here. Let's probably also get two right splitters, because we're probably also going to finish off the uh, sorting system with these. Wonderful. And we'll kind of worry about the gem collection later when it actually matters, because it doesn't really matter now. We just need to get all of these conveyors out of the way. We got five grand. I think we can actually afford a lot of it. Sorry for the burp right in between. I uh, didn't want to hold it back. I chose not to. I thought about it, but I, I didn't. I, I just let the burp out. And if that's disgusting, I understand. Uh, but it happened. It definitely happened. And there's uh, no turning back from this. Unfortunately, there's there's just no turning back from this. I, I'm doubling down on uh, the fact that the burp actually dropped. In fact, why don't you celebrate? Burp dropped. Do you think you could do Undertale on stream? I am going to be doing Undertale on a stream. That is be going to be this Friday. I'm going to make a big deal out of it. I'm going to do lots and lots of voice acting for it like I did for Deltarune. And uh, I'm going to have a whale of a time, I think. Um, a lot of people are saying that Deltarune is definitely better than Undertale, but I don't know. Like, I, I, I just, I want to find these things out for myself. And I think that's really been the genius of all these people who have been letting me play. Oh, damn it. We forgot to pay for it. Okay, let's do that. Bugger. How do we pay for it? Okay, good. We need one right splitter. We can't forget. We need one right splitter. Yeah, I'm going to make a big fanfare of it. My internet is horrible. I can barely watch this in 144p. The topic of the stream is what? when are you doing Undertale? This Friday, everybody. It's coming this Friday. And I'm going to be... In case you miss it, I'm not going to drop it as a gigantic uh, l l steaming turd of one gigantic like eight-hour video. That's, that's not going to happen whatsoever. It's not going to happen. Don't worry. I know better than to drop a giant stinking turd of a, of a four and a half hour video of something like that. It's not going to happen. What I am going to do is I'm going to break it up into hour long segments. So it may be a little bit jarring to watch the stream, but it'll be easier to digest the, the kind of like edited videos that go out after it ends. How much money have we got? So at 900 bucks, we could probably get another one and that's about it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we can't afford another, can we? Oh, no, just some blue crystals and crap. Uh, here you go, lady. Here's your tip. They're worth nothing. Enjoy! <laughs> Do we actually buy it? Yeah, we bought it. I'm certain we bought it. I'm certain we bought it. Good. As someone who was in the uh, Undertale community as a middle schooler, there is some cringe. Yeah, there's always some cringe in every community, isn't there? I imagine when my channel gets a little bit big enough, I, there's probably going to be a little bit of cringe here too. Uh, somebody actually commented uh, on one of my videos quite recently, Papa's Diarrhea. I had no idea how to interpret it, but it was so cringe, I, I had to delete it. <laughs> I was going to pin it, and <laughs> they were like, please decipher. But uh, I, I, I decided against it. I just deleted the, basically, tweet. I, I think what he wanted to do was tweet. Okay, good enough. Uh, excellent. This is actually the best way that we can access the boot, to be quite honest. Just uh, sideways. Yes, very handy. Okay, so we want uh, cutter. This has to be sorting. It has to orient this way. Yes. Let's get these down. Good. And one here. Good. We needed four of those. We forgot to get the other ones! No! Ugh. I think Undertale was better than Deltarune. Apparently that's a hot take. Two of the worst people are back. Shampoo and Belle Dash Dashin or something. Oh no, not Belle Delphine. <laughs> Uh, you know the booby streamers are why I left Twitch in the first place. Also, in case anybody didn't know, I used to be a Twitch streamer before I streamed on YouTube full-time. YouTube, love it. Everyone on YouTube I've met has been absolutely fantastic. Well, all of the viewers I've met on YouTube have been fantastic. A lot of the creators I've met on YouTube have uh, been really standoffish and, quite frankly, just dickheads. Um, but I think it's because they're not really interested in collaborating with another person, and that's pretty much all I wanted when I was approaching them. Huh? So... If that's the case, then uh, chances are they're, they're exactly as advertised. But the communities that I've found on YouTube, absolutely fantastic. Twitch, on the other hand, has probably got some of the most toxic garbage people I have ever met in my entire life. Oh, my days. Ugh. Have you ever watched SCP Overlord? It's a great fan-made video. No, I have not. I might do a react to it. I really love the SCP universe. It's fantastic. I adore it. I've gone through up to, I think, season five of the SCP uh, website, which, you got to admit, is actually pretty diligent for, <laughs> for someone who doesn't want to read. 
Have you ever watched this? Yes. Uh, I got Stanley Parable and Celeste for 10 bucks. Damn, that's cheap. Maybe. Is it the deluxe edition? Because uh, people have been requesting that and I've been looking for it to go on sale. Not really most people like Undertale more. Really? Oh, is, is some people have been telling me across the uh, Deltarune streams that the, uh, Deltarune is just commonly accepted as the better one. Holy hell, did we get exactly enough? We did! Oh my days. Oh, we also... Nah. No. We didn't get exactly enough. We actually need two more conveyor belts, unfortunately, so that we can uh, remove these two and replace them with the straights and we'll stick the other two right splitters over there. And there's a reason we've got them kind of like high above the ground. We're going to take a bunch of these auto smelters and we're going to uh, stick them right where they drop the ores, I think. I've linked that to you before. Oh, Stanley Parable. Sad it's only the regular edition. Ah, uh, okay. Deluxe is uh, 12 bucks. Okay, okay. Maybe I will get it. I have been looking to play that a few times now, but I haven't really found it cheap enough to justify it. Because I've got the base game. I don't want to play the base game for YouTube because I know there's a lot of content that I've missed out on. But uh, it's definitely one of those games that I don't really want to miss out on. Okay, we've made a bit of a mess up here when it, when you kind of like look around <laughs> a little bit and kind of gauge exactly what we've accomplished here. There's a bunch of elbows lying on the ground over here. Uh, there's a gem polisher, which we could probably actually just stick like, I don't know, right here. Something like that. And we also have an auto smelter and some scales, which we can't really hook up yet. We could probably start polishing some gems. Okay, we've got an emerald right here. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to stick it in there. What is this? Uncut emerald. Let's cut it. We'll stick it in the gold bucket. Because we're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. We're going to cut it. We're going to stick it in the gold bucket. Good. Wonderful. Know the SCP Overlord? I'm pretty sure I linked you the video in the past for you to watch. I didn't watch it. I'll I'll be the first to say it. I didn't actually watch it. So uh, sorry if you did actually link it to me. We've got some Cloutium here. Let's throw that on the ground. And we should probably actually just throw the Cloutium on this here conveyor belt system because it'll have the sorting system for the Cloutium when we finish it. Okay, we just got an emerald right there. Very nice. And we've got an emerald right here. We basically have to cut these uh, until... We get enough money. We'll put this Cloutium right there. Until we get enough money to... What are we doing it for? We are finishing off the sorting system. We need two more straights. Uh, that right there is an uncut emerald. Wonderful. We've got an emerald. Gonna move all of these. I don't think there's anything under these uh, gems right here, though. Okay. I mean, Chapeau and Belle Delphine. Why sell bath water that has Hermes in it? Okay. There's also SCP Dollhouse. Never heard of it. Is that also a video? The first playthrough of the Parable game, Going in Blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Always go into a blind game blind. Never look up. Any spoilers, unless you ultimately have to do it to fix the game. Just go in blind to, uh, to, to play it, to experience it for the first time. All right, so uh, we definitely have enough gold to sell to get these other conveyor systems. So we're actually going to turn off this entire system right here, which we can't do because uh, poos. <laughs> we can't actually do that. Maybe if we just really quickly grab... Oh, it's full of... <laughs> it's full of goodies, though. We need to replace it with a bucket. Also really good, made by the same guy. Oh, the uh, SCP Dollhouse? Oh, I definitely have to take a look at them. SCP's getting a TV show, according to Scott, who uh, usually frequents the chat. I think he's fallen asleep by now. Um, but there's a TV show coming, which I am very excited for. I'd love to see other people's interpretations of SCP. Because I played SCP Secret Files. That was super cool. I actually loved that. That was probably one of the best single-player games I've played uh, in years. Gonna put the stream on quiet mode? Probably because of the pedos, right? Yeah. People don't really like pedo chat. Oh, well, which is probably why it's not really taught in schools anymore. It was a big thing uh, when I left school, honestly. Lasted 22 minutes. Oh, I don't know anything about Risk of Rain. I don't know if 22 minutes is really very good. But I am going to be playing at co-op eventually with some friends. I can't wait. Maybe even with Z. I don't know. Let's see if he owns the game. Maybe not. All right, uh, speaking of which, uh, I'm going to go and do a bio break. It's really damn good. Yeah, uh, I've heard that from so many people, including Steam's curators. Uh, I'll put this here. You can all have the soothing, soothing sounds of water dripping out while this thing just absolutely ejects ore after ore into our wallet. You should make a video or stream where you watch all the episodes and make it a try not to cringe challenge. What, on the SCP thing? Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Wish me luck on the parable. Good luck. You're not going to need it, though. It's, it's, it's a pretty easy game to get through. There's just a lot of branching paths. Just follow your gut. You'll get there. All right. I'll be uh, right back. I'll literally be, like, maybe even less than a minute. I just have to go and do some biological functions. 
which uh, humans do. I, I know it's not very um, thematic for me to stream while also saying that I'm a human, because uh, by the time this video goes up, this won't be human, but at the same time, I need to go do it. So, uh, you know, wish me luck. Wish me luck. Boom! Did I get anyone? I know this could get me banned, but I think Jensen is a fake human. How dare you? I will have you know that I am the most Jensen Jensen on the top world today. Thank you very much. Absolutely not. Jensen is fake. How dare you? What a conspiracy theorist. This guy right here. Message retracted. Oh, he did the dirty delete as well. Oh, oh, dog chuck. Oh. <laughs> ah. My friends got bored of the game because they couldn't stand the whole roguelite aspect of it. I think that's probably actually the best part of games these days is roguelites. Gotta be said. Like Rogue Legacy, that is a good one to spend your money on. Rogue Legacy 1 and 2, goddamn they're good. <laughs> and they're a furry and they're trying to say that they didn't do anything wrong even though what she did... Oh, actually I think I've heard of this. Did Turkey Tom do a video on her? Uh, it's not Spiffo, it's uh, S S Shap Shapo, something like that, right? I've, I think I've definitely seen some kind of edutainment video on it. I think it was Turkey Tom made a video on it. <laughs> I don't know why, but the pipe spilling water into nothing is kind of infuriating for some reason. Yeah, I definitely agree. That's kind of why I left it here. I wish there was something on <laughs> my machine here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of why I left it here. It drives me absolutely nuts as well. Uh, so I've intentionally decided not to go out and buy a bunch of corks to plug them in. What happened? Uh, uh, sorry, I, uh, I went to go and do my biological functions and I uh, came back and I tripped over my Doom helmet and also then I knocked over that sword that I was showcasing earlier. Unfortunately, uh, I probably should have put them away earlier. <laughs> I kicked it and uh, because I paid a Russian guy to make it, it actually ended up hurting me more than I hurt the, the helmet. I gotta go, but I love your stream, and I'll be back for tomorrow for your next stream. Have a great day or night, depending on what time it is for you. Thank you so much, Linda. You have a great night yourself. Did you just say Spiffo from, like, Project Zomboid? Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, kind of, like, on my off time, when I'm uh, either editing videos or uh, managing the Discord or doing other stuff, administrative stuff, basically, for my channel, I uh, sometimes watch Sips, the streamer. I, I really like his videos. He's... About as stupid as an idiot can get, and he just will not stop playing really hard games, which is really funny, because if he sucks at the game and then he gets really good at it, he still plays it like an absolute idiot. He can just justify being an idiot. <laughs> and sometimes it's really, really funny, so. Yeah, well, I think that was... Markiplier said something about that about him as well. Okay, we got some Cloutium over here. We have half of a sorting system. What were we doing? I think we were going to go and try and get some more money, right? Right. Okay, let's go ahead and turn off the machine so that it's not pumping resources into the buckets. And then we will try and snipe this. Oh, we can't do the gold in the furnace. We're just going to have to take the whole bucket, I think. Ah, let's put it down. Put it down until it's completely full. Ugh. This is going to be way more satisfying, by the way, when we get more machines. And we are going to get more machines. We're going to get way more machines. Uh, we could probably also buy a hammer of some sort to kind of, like, reinforce these things where they are. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sleep. I don't actually think it skips time, but I think it skips the day-night cycle. There we go. We're going to lay with our head on the reliable, trusty, lucky piece of, of Cloutium. Our first Cloutium. And we're good. I heard you getting mad at what someone said. Who, me? Me? What? Oh, what happened? Okay, so uh, there's a rule in the Discord, in my Discord. When you join my Discord for the first time, you are presented with a set of rules. One of them is to not accuse Jensen of being a fake person. Because Jensen is not a fake person. Jensen is still very much alive and able... But, you know, sometimes there has to be a, a, a bit of a stand-in into the meat suit. Some, sometimes, the, sometimes somebody else has to take the reins a little bit for this channel to do well. Some, sometimes you've you got to outsource a lot of the, uh, a lot of the skill cap of, uh, of streaming and such. All right, let's take this. We'll sell it. We'll see how much money we've got. So no accusing. 
No accusing Jensen of being a fake person, especially me. You're not fake, just don't exist. How dare you, sir? <laughs> How dare you? Jensen is me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I am Jensen. Well. Yeah, thanks. I can't wait to never do that, lady. <laughs> I'm happy just giving her a fistful of gold and saying how much, and then she does the math. That, that feels good, right? <laughs> Shut up, C30. Yeah, get him. Get him, Juju. You get him. You get that guy. He accused me of being fake. He accused me. Okay, uh, so now that we've got this money, we're going to uh, put this in the car and we'll try... <laughs> I didn't actually think that that would seat into the car. Oh, that is so silly. We need another bucket, actually. We need a bucket to go here to catch all the gold. And I think we need to turn the machine back on because we may have turned it off to get that gold. Yes, we did. Boop, boop. There we go. Good, it's ejaculating ores. Wonderful. Okay, let's come up here and we will uh, leave the mess of Cloutium on the ground. Actually, no, let's pick them up. Let's not, let's not be Philistines. Let's, let's have a little bit of culture up, up in this, up in the stream right here. Let's not leave all the Cloutium lying around on the ground. It's not very nice. Yes, because physics. Gonna put the stream on pause for the parable since I get brain overload when I hear two people speak. It's probably, honestly, I, I probably shouldn't say this. Stanley Parable is probably worth quieting the stream for. It is definitely worth it. I've uh, played the base game years and years and years and years ago. Uh, like when it came out kind of years ago. It's worth it. It's actually worth it. I'm thinking left. What would you do if I got purified salt? Don't. That's another rule in the Discord. You cannot, you cannot entrap any Yinsen in purified salt. It can't be done. Allegedly. 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 Never mind, the idiot is still here. <laughs> Nah, Z30's a, uh, he's a good friend of mine. He, I, I know him IRL. He's here. He's here, believe me. Uh, let's go ahead and smelt all of this. See what we've got to work with. We may be able to get some more mining machines if we're lucky. If we're lucky. We'd have to be lucky. We've got 346. We still need 54 kilos left to get the next machines, which will double our output. Which is a kind of about what... We have been seeing in the really, really good runs. No, it's not. We haven't even hit the three hour mark yet. This is doing phenomenal. Wowee. Great. Okay, so let's uh, head into town and we will get two conveyor belts. We need two conveyor belts. Two conveyor belts. Count them. Two conveyor belts. And then additionally, we also need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight conveyor belts. We need 10 conveyor belts. All right, let's hop into the car. <laughs> Okay, we've break danced our car back onto uh, normal Euclidean physics. Don't know how long that's gonna last. Always lurking, sometimes talking crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's easier. He's here. He's here. He's here. The bucket. Yeah, the bucket. It's sideways. <laughs> that's physics. It's normal physics. Look at us go. <laughs> it's like so stupid, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it would weld to the side of it. But I think I think how the game works, right, is there's kind of like an area in the back of the cars where if you just drop an item in there, it'll it'll weld. I also think that maybe we should just leave the bucket there because it looks really funny. Take our money out. So if I get into the here, right, and I jump up and then I hit Q to get in there, it'll be all like, oh, yeah, because you're outside of the, the acceptable realms of the back of the truck, it's just going to make the money fall in there. But when you get into here, you pick up the money and then you get in the truck. It welds into one weird floating location. You've probably all noticed this in all of the streams I've been doing so far. It's very strange. It's very strange. Physics lock. It is a physics lock, isn't it? We'll leave that bucket there as nice decor. Maybe if we get ourselves a hammer. Wow, got a bunch of garbage there, don't you, lady? Ha! You got ripped off. <laughs> what idiot tried to buy something with that? Wow. Sucks to be her. So we need 10 of these bad boys, uh, straight off the bat, straight off rip, two, and three, and four, huh? Huh? and five, and I'm going to start huh? stacking them on top of each other as well, just so we can kind of like grab them easier when we go to check out and load up the truck. Two, and three, and four, and five. One more, right here. Boop. There we go. Two and a half grand. We have 81 bucks. 
That was all of our money. That was literally all of our money. Oh, I was not expecting that. Usually we have like a thousand bucks left over, but it seems as though at this point we don't have any money left over. Actually, we've got enough money to buy a bunch of platforms. Uh, what do you want? Half a kilo of tomatoes and a soup bowl. 12 tokens. Eat my ass. Eat my ass, sir. Mac down. Mac down on, my, on, a, on a, a tasty feast of my butthole. How does that sound? Wasting my time telling me to grow produce. What does he think I am, a farmer? I'm not a farmer. I'm obviously an engineer. Would a farmer buy so many conveyor belts? Well, probably actually. I don't think you can automate the farming in this game, though, to be quite honest. When will you bury an NPC in the hole and cover it up? I will curse your run if you don't. Uh, mm, may have to. May have to. I don't want this run cursed. It's been so good so far. Uh, there we go. We've already knocked somebody into the river. Are you happy? Are you happy with that? Is that enough? Is that enough? We'll do it eventually. I think we got to do it kind of opportunistically, to be quite honest. I think when people are like walking around, we got to hit them with the car to kind of like get them into one of those places where they could get stuck. If somebody is walking around outside the shop, we could probably knock them across the river and get them stuck in that again. But I'm not sure we can get people stuck in the rivers. Uh, sorry, in the in the holes themselves. I don't think that's possible. Hello, friendo. Okay, I thought I could knock him a wee ways away, but it doesn't seem like that's the case at all. Man, these driving physics are something else, huh? What the hell is going on? Okay, let's come over here. We probably want to back the truck up into the place we actually need all these items, which is right here. Right, so... There are five types of gems. There are five types of gems. So, one, two, three, four, five. These are all going to be reserved. This one's going to be a lift eventually. So, we've got to start putting the sorting systems... Six back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right here. Right here. That is where the sorting system is going to go. So we can have good access to all of the ores. We are going to auto smelt them. And then we are going to auto polish and divide all of the gemstones as well. Okay? That's the plan. That's the plan. I need a grave sacrifice. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not sure if you can actually sacrifice people. I'll, I'll look into it. I'll look in between episodes on how to kind of like... Oh, we actually had a... Conveyor belt right here. That'll be handy for the next uh, machines. I'll look into how to, like, get the NPCs to go around. Because I think that bumping them with the truck might actually be the best way of doing it. <laughs> construction hammer, too. We missed construction hammer. Well, we couldn't afford a construction hammer, actually. So let's just grab this money. Which we didn't bring with us. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. I literally cannot believe we are this stupid. Oh, my God. And I say we. I mean that. I mean that chat, that includes you guys too. I can't believe you guys were also the stupid. As stupid as I am to forget a construction hammer. Can't believe it. Literally cannot believe it. Either that or make a second ore extractor. Please, the water drip torture is too much. What do you mean water drip torture? This isn't torturous. That's the sound of progress. That's the sound of production. Okay, I turned off the machine. That's going to take a wee while. We need to, uh, hilariously, we need to actually remove the sorting system. So let's go ahead and pipe in these uh, other conveyor belts right here. Here and here is going to be a sorting system. So let's put these here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just kind of leaving these ones here as spears. Oh, there's also going to be a drip coming out of the uh, end of here as well. And once we get the upgraded uh, type, then it'll be consistently faster too. Hold up. Have I miscounted? Three, four, no, five, six. So we didn't actually want the straight conveyors here or here. We wanted those to be dedicated to uh, sorters right here and here. So let's get this one out of the way, I think. Put that on the back of the truck just to save a little bit of space. And we should be good. It's the sound of wasted pressure. And it's not the sound of wasted pressure. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll take this bucket and I'll fix the issue. Okay. Well, that's one of them taken care of. <laughs> it took so long. I literally cannot believe it took that long. Okay, good. I have cursed your bucket. No! Not the tiny bucket! We need that! Probably. We probably need that. I don't know, actually. <laughs> Do we need it? Okay, that can go there. And this one over here can also be replaced 
Right there. Gorgeous. Now, we aren't harvesting anything just yet because we need two straight conveyors to start piping out from here, which we actually have. We actually have two straight conveyors in the back of the truck right here. One. Great. Let's make it face the right way. Great. Put that right there, that bad boy. And there's also going to be one right here that'll go out this way. Now, I don't really trust the uh, straight pipe at the end of here, so I think I might put a T-junction in this and just pipe into this one alone. And then put an elbow here, maybe. I don't know. Like, uh, I think they get stuck in between the conveyor belts every now and then. It's like if you brought a mug for an oil change, but <laughs> that's just what you did. <laughs> That is a great comparison. I love that. Yellow. Hello there, Scott. Yellow. Anyan. Anyan. Okay, uh, we'll see how much of the metal we have here. Maybe we can actually get the the upgraded... Whoops. I didn't mean to pick that up. Whatsoever. Okay, good. It didn't delete all of our iron. Uh, we have enough. We actually have enough to now get two more machines. So let's put this bad boy in the back of the truck. We're also going to need all of the gold that we can carry because we are going to need to spend money on the items required to do such a uh, an endeavor. Take a bit. Great. How much is this? It's probably not going to be much. It's only a thousand bucks. Actually, that's our lowest yield yet. Let's go! Let's go! Why are we singing in operatics? What's, what's going on? You had to witness a tryhard to stop water from making sounds with a small water bucket. How will he do it? <laughs> Coming up on National Geographic. Get Snoop Dogg to narrate that. Get Snoop Dogg to narrate that. That'd be gorgeous. I would love that. Uh, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. We put we put some blocks around here, and then we put... Oh, piss. These are facing the wrong way. We put some um, furnaces right in front of them, because they're not terribly expensive. And then we put crucibles on top of that, and that should minimize the amount of uh, kind of assets that are being loaded into the world, so to speak. So I'm actually going to do that. Let's take this gold, we'll sell it in this bucket of absolute garbage and crap, which we are going to pour into a smelter as well. Make sure to put gold bar on the physics-defying bucket. I don't think you put anything on the bucket. What are your thoughts on Jevil's character design? Uh, yeah, he definitely meets the requirements for his name being a devil and a clown. If nothing else, that is true. It, it, is, it, is a, it is a big old one in that computer. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Any programmers here know what I mean? That old, when, when that one hits. <laughs> when your application doesn't crash and that one hits. <laughs> Bob Marley. Okay, we don't actually have any money here. We do have an empty bucket, which is just plain stupid. I don't know why we've got an empty bucket here. We've, pr we've probably outgrown buckets, to be honest. Is he now going to the store and is calling gems trash? Gems are not trash. Well, no, these are, these glowing crystals are not gems, by the way. These are shards, as you can see over my shoulder, just, just over there. These are shards, and uh, what these function as is basically electricity. So you mine these things up. You can't sell them. You can't make money off of them. The only thing you can do with them is to put them in pressurizing pipes to increase the water pressure... From a specific point in your in, in your in your uh, place, and it works literally as simple as you can put it on a T intersection, and it still increases the pressure. As long as you put the electrical um, crystals into that there pipe, the pressure increases, which is stupid because it's made completely redundant as soon as you buy the second tier of uh, the uh, extractor pipes of the extractor pipes. Completely redundant. There is no need for them in any circuit whatsoever. Okay, why are we here? <laughs> the ADD's kicked in. Uh, we need four of these small furnaces. In. De. Fwah. And of course, everyone's favorite, French for four. But uh, we'll stick this over here. We also need the pots as well. We actually only need three of these things. Let's go ahead and delete this. Oh, with the old Wilhelm scream, and we'll get three pots. Three pots. One, two, and a single one more. Boop. There we go. That's pretty cheap. I'm going to individually run these back and forth now. I hope the machine is on. First world problems. He seems to be broke. He's explaining to me that the gems are shards and are for electricity. They are. They are electricity. Like, there are gems in the game, and they can get polished. Like, uh, this one right here, Uncut Sapphire. 
boom, we are now holding an uncut sapphire. That's wealth. Actually, let's not put that in there. Let's just stick that straight back on the conveyor belt. However, these electrical items right here doesn't do anything if you use it on the gem cutter. You instead have to put it into the smeltery right here. You pour it, you get a bar. What is this worth? Absolutely nothing. It's worth zero dollars at any weight. Also, no one will buy it. Uh, we basically only use this to inflate the, uh, the, the circuits. To convolute the circuits, you could say. First world problems, gold bar is only worth 1k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why can't you sell them as beyond me, considering the lady says the shiner, the more... Yeah, exactly! The shiny of the board, they'll pay. Exactly. Um, but I think that they are functionally useless to other people, because we are the only people that can really have a hydrogenair setup, and all of the other people in this planet are just idiots. I think it's about as simple as that. Okay, so now that we've done that, we want to maybe drag everything else in here. We're also going to need another three platforms to stand on so that we can kind of manage this uh, infrastructure from above that we've started committing to set up. I think we're going to put the auto smelter onto the gold first so that we kind of minimize the amount of time that we spend down. So we'll put this one here. That's for iron. And then gold is always second in my playthroughs. This is going to be Clausium, and I think this end one here is going to be for the garbage-ass crystals that I, I just showed you all don't have any value. Probably because they're incredibly common. So is iron! <laughs> so is iron, though. If I had a thousand kilograms of this electrical crap right here, and I wanted to sell it, surely someone will give me five bucks for it. For a hundred kilos of the stuff. People pay more for literal scrap garbage. I'm surprised how he knows how to talk. He is making gold bars and shard bars. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, 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 I don't have to talk. The hell is Goldie talking about? Yeah, it's, it's a mystery to me, but I'm agreeing with it anyway. Iron has more uses than funny shiny crystal. Okay, in this game, well, actually, there are a lot of uses. No, I concede. I concede. There are definitely more uses in this game uh, for, the, for the shinies than there are anything else. And by shinies, I mean iron. Okay, hopefully they're going to land in there. Now let's get all of these items. Hopefully uh, we're still piping items out. It does look like it. I don't think the machines have broken. About to find out. Uh, what? Uh, what? What? Oh? Uh? Is something wrong? Did I not turn it on? I didn't turn it on. That was the issue. Okay, let's get this iron. And we're going to take it and we're going to gap it all the way back to the sorting system over here. We'll jump. And we'll jump. And we've got a lot of time, actually, before this hits. In fact, we would have a lot of time if the circuit were even on, which it's not, because we uh, bought one of those really, really awesome uh, switches right there. You turned it off before when we were talking about the bucket? Turn what off before? <laughs> I'm not feigning ignorance. I am actually ignorant at this point. We'll be back on National Geographic tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central Time. <sighs> Wonderful. I can voice it. I can voice it. Okay, so uh, it's probably not immediately obvious, but the new medication that I was on yesterday that's, uh, that kind of gave me the light head has, again, given me the light head. I don't know why. Does anyone else have experience with Accutane or Oritane or anything like that? It's a real weird one. I was putting it off for a lot of my life. It's, it's basically a, a medication that kind of makes acne a little bit more acceptable to your system. So uh, I've been kind of... Medicaid for that recently, and uh, it's got some nasty, nasty things. Mining machine? Oh, yeah, we did turn that off, didn't we? Now I used Ritalin. That explains a lot. <laughs> that explains a lot. Hey, actually, I um, I heard recently on the grapevine that there's a way of telling if you've got ADD, no, ADHD, without getting a proper diagnosis. But if uh, you do actually have ADD without getting a proper diagnosis, you probably can't do this again. If you have a friend who has Adderall, uh, and you take one of those Adderall. If it calms you down, there is a very, very high chance that you have ADHD. And only Ritalin. Good shout. Apparently Ritalin's really good stuff. Uh, but if it like if it wakes you up and it's kind of like MDMA and you're taking it like a drug, and it, it, it actually wakes you up, you don't have ADHD. High, high chance you don't have it. Or if you uh, do have it, you cannot be medicated with, um, with Adderall for it. it. It just doesn't work. It doesn't function. Doesn't function as intended. Okay, let's start finding the gold. This is an uncut emerald. Don't care. Uh, what is this? This is Clausium. Uh, we, we want Clausium. We want Clausium on the sorting system. It's going to go onto the third one. Right here. Right here. 
And the crap one with no value can go right at the end, because I don't like it. Okay, we just fell off the sorting system. Problem, I can't do anything with Ritalin for my friends who has parents who don't believe in ADHD because too much of it can stunt growth. That is true. So it's like a one-time thing, and I... I can't confirm this, but the guy I heard it from was a bit of a druggie, and he, he seemed to have inside information that... It's like a, a one-shot fire-and-forget thing, and if you if you have the ADHD, then the Adderall basically tells you that, essentially. I heard it on the grapevine. No one's uh, confirmed it yet, because <laughs> I don't have friends that have Adderall whatsoever. But uh, it's it's a thing going around. It's a thing going around. <laughs> Coming up next on National Geographic, rare and find on how... Yes, that sounds good. Okay, so we've set up most of this. What we actually want to do is also put a bucket right at the end of here with another little platform. In fact, we need a bunch of platforms, so let's go and do that now. And then we'll have our sorting system up and running at round about par for a really, really good run, I would say. Like, at the 3.15 hour mark, we are at a really, really good place. We could have also just spent our time maybe getting some more machines to farm up the resources for us. But what is the point if we don't have anywhere to put them? Quite frankly, I'd always just say go with medical professionals' opinion. I would fully agree with that. I would fully agree. Uh, unfortunately, we don't really have a lot of medical professionals here in uh, New Zealand. A lot of them are real crap. Real crap. Like, I've dealt with medical professionals with my uh, neurogenic fatigue illness um, who have prescribed things for me like ibuprofen. 800 milligrams of that three times a day was uh, what was originally prescribed for me for that. And that is just heinous. You should never prescribe that to anybody, no matter what. Right, that is an, an excessive amount of ibuprofen, I would say. Could you play some music? I could, uh, but unfortunately, I'll have to pick it. I'll have to pick it. I'll have to put the music. You know what? Sure, I'll put some music on. In fact, I actually know exactly what I'm going to put on. It's going to be... Uh, the last you bop you lose that I put on in my Discord. So, if you really, really want to find good new music, I've got a uh, channel in the Discord I just created called You Bop You Lose. The premise of it is if you can sit through an entire album that I post and not like a single piece of it, you win. So, you know what they say, uh, the only winners really are the losers. The first one, I, uh, I'm starting off really, really hard. It's Hollywood Undead's most recent album, the Deluxe Edition. So if you can sit through that whole thing and not enjoy any of the music, holy hell, you've got the uh, ears of probably a boomer <laughs> or a silent generation guy. Here we go. Is the... Is that balanced? Yeah, it looks balanced enough. Okay. We'll go through this. Uh, what are we doing? We're getting the uh, platforms, aren't we? We'll get this right here. Now, is the game value volume okay in comparison with the music? See bad. No idea what that is. I wanted to listen to I Expect You to Die 3 theme song. Hell no. Lost already? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. God, Hollywood Undead is so good, aren't they? You know, they actually... Back in, like, 2007, they helped to create the metalcore uh, rap genre, which is pretty crazy, honestly. This album came out 15 years after they helped found the genre, so it's pretty impressive, actually, what they've done with it. Sounds good, I lost already. <laughs> Search up Seabat meme, it's so damn funny. Uh, I'll have to do it outside of the stream. The stream's dedicated to exclusively gameplay, uh, because there's uh, going to be VODs mainly uh, made to be watching in a good single setting. So we can do this whole thing on now, by the way. I think it might be a good idea to sleep first before we turn it on so that we can see the satisfying goodies go into the buckets. There we go. Just watched ourselves jump. I lost before the stream. Oh, you poor boy. You poor boy. I, I assume. I should never assume somebody's gender. Should never do that. But I assume if you're uh, with me, you're either a... Um, oh, no. YouTube statistics actually tells me that 97% of my audience is male. And yet the people who seem to talk most on my channel, usually female. Pretty crazy, isn't it? I'm a male? Okay, I assumed as much. An obscure decade-old electronic song by a Scottish DJ has become a viral meme. It blew up after being mentioned by a Reddit poster who said he played it during sex for two years. Uh, my album for that recently has been... Oh, it's probably TMI, isn't it? I can't resist. It's been uh, Wage Wars' new album, Stigma. It's really, really good. Really, really good. It's got a great flow. 
It's 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 a great it's a great adult album. Are these coming along? Yes, they are. Nothing got stuck. That is actually fantastic. So it's pretty slow. We're probably going to need a couple of Cloutium intakes at this point because everything's just going a little bit too slow for me to kind of keep up with. Now, do we want to watch all of these goodies go in or do we want to go and get a new machine? What do we want to do? Both very satisfying things. Do we want to watch every single one of these goodies get filtered into the sorting system? Or do we want to go and get ourselves a brand spanking new machine? Oh, no. Oh, no, we've definitely actually got time to go and get a repair kit. No, we don't have the money, actually. Well, no, we do, actually. We've got time to go and get a repair kit, repair that machine, and then watch all the goodies. Hey, try to play a song on your guitar, maybe? You are three hours too late to hear me play a little bit of guitar, unfortunately. I started the stream early because I saw a couple of people were here early. Uh, so I just played a little bit of acoustic. How did you know I played guitar? <laughs> How did you know that? Are you... Are you behind my green screen? Are you in here? I lost in in last year. Okay, yeah, no, I know exactly what that is. I am a dude, don't worry, I am a dude. Okay, I'm gonna fix this machine and then we're going to get the reward of going downstairs, upstairs, and enjoying. Okay, I, I'm speed running up, it's not working. I'm getting stuck on literally everything. Oh no, it's almost filtered in. Here it is, here it is, here it is, there it is, there it is, the Clausium first, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Clausium first, yes. And now everything else. If we had a construction hammer, I could probably get rid of the, like, yellow outline on everything. Filter. Yes. Yes. We've got a bunch of garbage up here, to be quite honest. And a bunch of the crap crystals. Okay, just get rid of those, basically. That's the get rid of pot, I would say. Uh, we don't have the gem cutter on us. So all of the gems are getting filtered straight off the edge into this bucket right here. And so is this bar of garbage. Okay, we're gonna put this one into the into the yucky garbage pot right there. Yuck! And we've got some gems. Uh, okay, we'll cut those before we go and enjoy them. My soul inhabits your headphones. I've been hiding for ages. That's impressive. That's real. You got to tell me your trick. You got you got to tell me how you inhabit people's headphones. <laughs> I'll tell you how I got this bucket welded to the side of my car. We'll try and get another one. Actually, every time we'll weld a side a bucket to the side of the car, we'll just leave it there. I think. Okay, we've got the iron, we have a bucket, we need gold. Boop. That is bugger all. I don't think we're going to be able to buy anything with this. Probably should have turned the machines on, to be quite frank. It's 32 bucks. Yuck. We can't afford anything with that. Okay, that's not good. Uh, let's go check the shop and see if we've got, like, maybe 500 buckery boosts, because that's kind of how much we need to get the schematics for the machines. Only if you play a song in your guitar. God, I spelt that horribly. What, the guitar? Wait, where's our money? I'm, oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I'll play a guitar on my... I'll play a guitar on my song after the stream. How does that sound? I'll, I'll play a guitar on the stream. I won't record it. I won't record it in the... Um, and for the VODs. Because I know people are coming back to the channel just to watch the gameplay. That's kind of the niche I've set myself up for. Uh, I'm going to drop all of this crap right here so I can have the bucket. Yuck! Gross! Yuck! Okay, let's put this money in the bucket right here. Good. And we'll put the bucket right here, and we'll watch all of this stuff get sorted, because, again, it is super satisfying. I love this. Are we ready? Are we ready for the sorting? I'm going to sort! I'm sorting! Oh, that feels good. I know it's worthless, but it feels good, doesn't it? I mean, you could do that as an outro. I probably should. I probably should, indeed. But at the same time, I kind of like just, like, cutting it halfway through a sentence, like uh, like like someone who uh, doesn't really know how to, YouTube, how to use pro YouTube properly. I really like just cutting it halfway through a sentence, and um, a really good sentence, too. Just deleting that half of the sentence. Leave it on a cliffhanger. I've left uh, videos on a bunch of different cliffhangers, actually. If you've seen the Delta Room playthrough, I left one on a real nasty cliffhanger uh, right as I was about to explain kind of like my, my own personal theory for Spamton. Oh, perfect! Great! Uh... <laughs> I think the truck likes the music as well. Okay, we've got a couple of party buckets in the back now. Wow! Wowee! <laughs> I love that so much. I love that so much! Why are we here? I've forgotten. Uh, we're here for... We got the sorting system up and running. We're not supposed to be here. That's what we're here for. 
We're supposed to keep on going to Icehelm. You should end the video saying, now I shall address the allegations. I have actually had no allegations against me, which is pretty funny. Although, I've made videos that kind of like poked fun at friends to like insinuate that there's something about them. I got one friend, Epic Flying Horse. Uh, he does exclusively, well, exclusively now, Skate 3 content on his channel. I think he's played like three other games on his channel, but none of them did very well. Uh, he only played Skate 3 stuff, and I made an expose video that's telling everybody that he can't skate. Just made it up to be like he was this heinous, like, mass murderer or something, and no, it was just like, yeah, he can't skate. He plays a game that depends on skating, and he can't skate. Funny. Okay, I actually wanted to put that iron in the bucket. Thank you very much. Okay, let's drop this in here. Great. It didn't work. Okay, let's put that off the end of the truck. A little bit annoying. And that's it. I've also cancelled another friend, unfortunately. Hey, check the time. Uh, 3.23? Or do you mean, like, uh, where I live? Yeah, it's, uh, about half past four where I live. Wait, where do you live? <laughs> do you live elsewhere? Also, my phone is wrong. I keep it fast, so I'm never late for anything. Is it four? Okay, 420, I imagine, is what you're getting at, right? All right, we've almost got our resources. Let's come over here. We'll drop our money in this bucket right here. And now we want one of these right here. We are going to buy that token. We are going to buy this other token. And we're going to craft our first couple of items in this playthrough. We're going to have to individually uh, carry these by hand, unfortunately, because we can't afford a pallet. But it is what it is. I turn a bottle into glass. Where's the bottle? It's in my... <laughs> I got to start reading chat messages before I start reading them out loud. I live in your headphones. How did you already forget so much hate? It's, it's hard to remember somebody who lives in the headphones because there's just so much stimulus going on in here at all times. And also in the headphones as well. That's a little bit of a... L little bit of a neurodivergence joke right there. I don't think my channel attracts artists. Someone did, said that a couple of hours ago and I, d I don't think that's true. I think I attract neurodivergence. I think, I think that is predominantly my audience. It's just neurodivergence. Oh, I meant shake my head. No, I don't mean hate. Oh, uh, I love when, um... It's a bit of a tangent. But I absolutely love it when, like, Gen X and Boomers start using an acronym wrong. Like, LOL. Lots of love. Anyone seen that meme? Uh, which is just, like, uh, Grand Died LOL. <laughs> it's so funny. I love it so much. I love, I love when people do that. I am all for it as well. If if somebody older than me asks me what an acronym is, I will give them the wrong definition of it. Almost every single time. It's impossible not to do. Especially when you know the consequences. All except my grandma. I love my grandma. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that to her. I'd do that to everyone else. Because I'm spiteful. <laughs> oh, I love it though. Okay, uh, we will take the bar and we will dump it into this receptacle right here. We'll hit this hammer. And it will craft a, bun a bunch of stuff. Let's get crushed. Boom. We just got crushed. That sucks. We're dead. We are now officially dead. We died. Uh, let's throw this up top side. Wonderful. And we'll swap out this little dude right here. I just got two achievements. One for crafting an item and one for using the Ice Helm item shoot. That's nice. Thank you, game. Thank you for the achievements. Okay. We'll drop this into the bucket. Boop. And we will then hammer this. From the outside this time, I'll let you see what it looks like. You've seen what it looks like to be absolutely crushed to a pulp. And now you know what it looks like to uh, have this thing crafted. And it's gone forever. Great. We have fed the beast. We're going to take our bucket and we're going to leave. I don't know why we're taking our bucket. There's literally no need to do so. But we are taking the bucket. All right. There's a dude up there. I think he just watched us try and crush ourselves in the gigantic forging hammer. But he didn't do anything. He didn't call us an ambulance. He didn't, he didn't do anything. I didn't, I didn't hear... You're an ambulance once, whatsoever. We're going to be crushed by this elevator. What's the point in feeding the beast? Uh, yeah, that's a real good question. We haven't actually seen the beast, but we know it exists. The thing is, though, every time you feed a machine to the beast, it actually ends up crapping out uh, an item of exact quality right here. So I, I, it's very strange. Don't know how it works. I'd hate to meet that thing. Okay, we'll put that there, and we will grab the thumper from right here. So this will double our production output. Wonderful. We'll take this bucket right here and our floating bucket rules. There we go. 
We've got a bunch of floating buckets in the back of the truck. We may as well just name this thing the truck it at this point. Okay, uh, so we're gonna pop up over here, over the hill and far away. They pray that we'll return one day. Sure as the river reaches the sea. Back in Hydronia we'll be. Okay, we'll uh, drive all the way over here. We'll take this bridge for the first time in our lives. Oh, 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 I got an achievement called a dirty job for producing a thousand dirt from drills. And it made me swerve all over the bridge and we almost had a real nasty accident. What a rude achievement, huh? So if you made a doll of yourself and fed it that, would you have another you? Uh, I don't think so. I think it would digest us and our meat, but then crap out an exact copy of us. So the original us would die, but we would have another copy of us come out the other end of the beast with a different set of consciousness. Not knowing. Not knowing at all. Okay, uh, we'll put this thumper right over here because... Honestly, we need to. Probably need to. We'll turn it on as well for fun. All right, we're producing a bunch of crap over here. Uh, we also need this thing right here, the grinder. Okay, uh, let's clear our workspace because we've actually made an absolute mess in here already. Good grief, yuck. What a yucky space we've made. Gross. Uh, we don't want that on the conveyor belt to be sorted. We want it down here because we are going to pipe it in. We'll take this bucket and we'll empty it out and we'll stick it here. We'll take this lantern. We'll put it in the bucket. Whoops, I didn't mean to turn that off. Let's uh, turn it on. Put it in the bucket. Now we can carry the bucket. Or not. <laughs> okay, game theory ruined. Uh, we'll hook that one on there. But it shouldn't be pumping anything because we don't have any dirt in its bum. Do we have a shovel down here? We do, actually. We do have a shovel down here. We should probably actually get another straight pipe to pipe in this conveyor first, I think. Where are the straight pipes? Straight pipes! Where are they? Uh, two for one beers! Straights! Straights, listen to this bargain! Two for one- oh, there it is. Right. <laughs> Only had to say it once. Excellent. Uh, let's stick this bad boy right here. Good, and now we will pipe in this conveyor belt right here. I'm actually also going to move this piece of concrete out onto this conveyor belt right here. Or not. Never mind. Let's manually move it out by hand like a peasant. And we'll go back down here and we'll make sure to shove some dirt up this thing's bummy bum. Here we go. And in the poop chute, it goes right there. Boop. Okay, good. We've doubled production. We've doubled it. <laughs> Read my comment if you don't understand, if you understand it. Quick save. It's a quick save. It was a game theory, but it failed. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right. Uh, since we've actually uh, been hoarding our Clautium down here, we should probably also stick this on the conveyor belt right here and now we probably want to focus on getting a gem cutter to get rid of things like this this uncut emerald so we can sell it and also a straightener but i also don't necessarily think we need a straightener because all of these ores appear to be in a pretty nominal position to just fall out into their required places great okay so i'm actually going to try and take the money out of this floating bucket right here oh, this will be a tricky one got it and we are going to go and buy a hammer, a construction hammer, because we desperately need one. The production doubled, but yeah, the water dropping remains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll plug it in with more production eventually. You got the cash. Uh, yeah, I got plenty of cash, actually. Yeah, watch me spend it. Jerk. So I just got a construction hammer. The reason we want this is because I am sick of looking at the yellow outline every time we go to interact with something. We are going to mash all of these into their own little places. This one here, this one here, this one here, this one here. Uh, we also want all of the sorting system to stay where it is. So I'm going to bang the pipes and also bang these. Awesome. It's harvesting season. I've processed a thousand dirt and harvesters. I just got another achievement. Now, I'm not going to knock these ones in because we want a vertical ramp here. And we also want a sorting system for gems along here too. Why do we want that? Oh, logic circuits. We want a logic circuit to automatically kind of knock all of the gems into one really big gem, I think. Okay, we're going to construct this, construct this, construct this, construct this, and we want to knock that one into place. I can't really... I'm pixel hunting. There it is. And we'll knock that, and that, and that, and that, and bing, and bong, 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 and YouTube, please don't strike me for repetitive content. Bing, and bong, and bing, and bong, and bing, and bong, and bing. 
bing and bong. Bing and bong and 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 I'm happy with that. That's pretty good. We gotta get this pipe at the back here though. We uh, did not bing it or bong it. Bong, we bonged it. We didn't bing it. We bong we bonged it. Different girls be like mean, you ugly, shy, them, the legend of Ninjago. I have no idea what that means, but I know what the legend of Ninjago is. I downloaded the the Lego L L Legend of Ninjago game on my PlayStation a couple of days ago. I know it's a franchise. I don't really know much else about it. We have bugger all Clausium right here. We've probably actually got a lot of the iron already. Oh, look at the production! We can actually see the increase in in value. Look at this. Single production, single production, double production, double production, double production everywhere. Look at all of this. This is crazy. Oh, it's because it's so slow. Right. So we are actually going to need to get a couple of better pipes, I think. Lego Ninja Go was peak. I haven't played it yet. I am pretty excited to. I'm not going to stream it. I'm just going to play it privately. <laughs> I know it's a little selfish of me to do so, but, you know, such is the rule sometimes. Okay, we've got an empty bucket here. Let's put this in the back of the car for seemingly no reason. Put that right there. Okay, so we're actually looking really, really, really good. It was a show and it's still going on. Really? Okay, that's crazy. Uh, I think I saw it around on like Nickelodeon or something when I was quite young as well. But I'm 30. I'm 30 now. Okay, so we could probably plug this. Yeah, we need a gem cutter, and I think a hook centralizer would actually do us some real good. So we're probably going to prioritize that in the next run into town, which is going to be right after these three bits of gold ore go into this pot right here. One, two, three. Boom! And we've got an empty pot, and these are just going to filter straight in, baby. Perfect. Right, so uh, let's see how much this bad boy is worth, and we should be able to buy a bunch of things with it. It is two and a half grand. That's pretty good, actually. It's pretty damn good. Okay, we are going to put that in the back of the bucket truck, the truck it, and we're going to have a wee sleep real quick. Going to jump over ourselves. The voice acting was crazy. In the Lego Ninja Go. The, the Lego game, right? The Lego Ninja Go. I love this Cloudium more right here. We could probably also think about getting a, a house at this point as well. We've got a lot of money to spare. And houses aren't actually particularly expensive, I got to say. Last season was in May 2022, and they're making a new one, pretty sure. Okay. Okay. Sure. I mean, I'm, I'm probably not going to watch it myself, but I'm glad you guys have a fandom that you really like. Okay. We've made a real mess of the back of this truck right here. We don't have... What we don't have that we had in the last uh, stream by now is another truck. Another few things, actually. Jensen, I played it and did the nuclear thing. Pretty funny, but the narrator was giving me an existential crisis. Nice. Did you get, like, the, uh, the, the countdown playthrough? Is that the one you got? Ninja go. Ninja go. Ninja go. Okay, uh, now that we've got money, what did we want to do? We basically sorted this up. We need better output pipes, don't we? And we probably also need to start maybe getting some water filters for this right here too, because we are damaging our machines by pumping in unfiltered water. We don't want to do that. We don't want to damage the machines. We want all of the repair work to be up top side here. And we want to be able to access it with the, what are they called? Logic circuits. We want all of that. That's going to be expensive. The logic circuits are going to be expensive. What show are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, Ninja Go. Apparently. I don't really know. I don't really know. I just kind of go with what chat goes as a, as a prompt for talking out of my ass for an extended period of time. All right, let's go get some better pipes and we'll also price up how much it would cost. I think it's about... 800 bucks for a bunch of the water purifiers. I could be wrong on that. Could be seven grand. I think it's 700 for 10. Because the way the circuits work is that you can stick water hooks, water purifier hooks onto a water circuit. And what that does is it purifies the water by 20%, which lowers the damage that you'll do to your machines with the unfiltered water by 20% per water filter. So if you get five of those, your machines take no damage. You can put 10 on a circuit. Maybe we only need five. Maybe I was overspending. Maybe we do only need five. Okay, we'll go and get five and we'll see how this kind of works out. 
What's this? Jeweler. Okay, let's drop this over here. <laughs> Get our money. And we will take our money while this guy tells us how he's calculating how he's paying us. I don't care if he's undercutting us by like 50%. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't want to do the math myself. Okay. Yeah, we could probably actually get five of these straight off rip. Let's do that. Let's get five of these. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Now we need two uh, of these right here. Plasium intakes. So that one is OP, and we can definitely afford another one. Let's go ahead and get another one. Excellent. And we'll hit this button right here, and what are we left with? Still about 600 bucks. Pretty, pretty good indeed. Okay, we are going to kind of load back onto... No, we can't, actually. I think we have to individually load all of these items. <laughs> I just hopped onto the back of the car. Individually. A little bit of a shame, but, you know, it is what it is. Whoops, didn't mean to do that whatsoever. Okay. Put that there, and we'll take this one, and we'll put that there, and we'll also take this one, and we'll put that one there, and we'll also take this one, and we'll put that one there. I know, I know, I know, algorithm, don't strike me for repetitive content. <laughs> And we'll put that one there. Good. And we've got one more before we can gap it out of this hellhole of a city. Boop. There we go. Good. Wonderful. All right. Let's uh, do a U-turn in this very precariously packed area. We're hitting everything. It's like that Austin Powers scene where he's trying to get out of that narrow hallway on the golf cart. Had to raise five hands. I don't remember. Currently living in Jensen's headphones anyways. He won't stop playing music. If you like this, go into the Discord. I'll be dropping an album this good every single time uh, a week rolls over. It's going to be a thing. It's going to be a you bop, you lose thing. I think everyone's lost so far. Like, straight off rip. Poor guys. Poor guys. It took me like two songs to fall in love with this album. Because I'm usually very sceptical about things when I first encounter them. But my blind run of this album, definitely second song in, I was in love with it. Now, here's the thing. We actually need another straight pipe onto the sorting system here to line it in so that we can actually turn... Never mind. I'm just going to delete this one from the world right here. There we go. And now it should be way faster. Oh my god, that is significantly faster. Oh, that's perfect. I hope it doesn't flick all of the things above where we want them to flick. No, it doesn't. Excellent. Good. So now this line is going to be significantly faster. We need to line in this one, and we're going to have to be a little bit smarter about how we do this one. We want a hook, basically, that is going to turn everything off and we also need room to set up an auto repair system. So I'm going to take this filter right here. I'm going to rip it off of the hinges of what we are using. I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to turn it this way. And essentially what we want to do with this, whoops, is jump on it and fall into the lake a bunch of times. We'll want to get rid of these intakes as well. Yuck, get rid of that. Uh, we need a bunch of straight pipes basically leading out this way towards where I am and then we're going to use two elbows and we're going to hook them back in here and that'll give us enough room to filter in some logic gate logistics, I think. So let's get our straight pipes right here and we'll, we hope we've got enough. I think we've got enough. I think we've got enough. We'll go under this bridge like a greasy troll and we'll drop it right here. Good. Okay, so it doesn't really matter that these are crap tier pipes, honestly. It literally does not matter because the water pressure is almost entirely dictated by the intake pipe at this point. Uh, we actually need lots of straight pipes and we have a couple of hundred bucks. We could probably afford some from the store just over here. Nothing's going to happen, by the way. Oh, no, actually, something is going to happen. The machines are off. I thought that the machines would be pumping onto the sorting system, which would not be functioning, but it seems as though that's not the case at all. We actually do need lots and lots of straight pipes. What are these? Elbows? Okay, let's reorganize our inventory here. Now let's come over here, and we'll drop a bunch of these straights right onto here, I think. Good. Good. Uh, we need lots of them. I th We're going to need a lot of these straight pipes, to be quite honest. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And we can't really exceed 600 bucks either, I don't think. Because that's how much money we have. How much is this? This is 264. That's fine, actually. We'll use that. Okay, let's go get our money. And we will exchange it for the last of this infrastructure. So, the plan is, basically, we can leave Ember Cradle running while we go and buy the rights to another landmass. And we'll be a little bit smarter about the next landmass that we go to. We're not going to go to MILF's Aquifer because we need Tier 2 or Tier 3 tools to get to the bottom yeah. just to be able to access the water. We can't just go there with Tier 1 tools. Tier 1 pickaxe we have, Tier 1 shovel we have. Tier 2, 
Pickaxe is about 800 bucks. Tier 2 shovel is about 600. So we need well over a grand to be able to access water there in the first place. And that's not including any of the automation that we are going to set up anyway. Right. Uh, got a pipe right here. Good. Pipe there as well. And I think now we're going to do a little bit of a, a spin move. A little bit of a, a, a sexy spin. Really get, the, uh, really get the female pigeons into this one. Good. And two. And another one here. Boop. Good. And another one right here. Good. And another one right here. Good. And another one right here. Good. And now we need two elbows. One right here. Let's lean that over that way. And we'll lean this pipe there. Okay. So everything's piped in now. And I also want to go... Oh, it, bo it really bothers me, actually, that the pipes aren't aligned. Oh, no, they are aligned. They are definitely aligned. Okay, good. My previous message showed all the endings that I did, if you want to see. Uh, I don't want to spoil it for myself. I've completely forgotten about the entire game, and I do want to do a solo run for YouTube at some point. But I'm very, very glad you got through it. It's a really good game, isn't it? I only remember it's a really, really good game. We want one of these hooks right here, a valve hook. Boop. I don't know why, but every time you say MILF's Aquifer, I keep mistakenly hearing MILF's Aquifer. It is MILF's Aquifer! Oh, hell no. You're weird for that. Bad hearing does numbers on me. No, 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 it's, it's MILF's Aquifer. MILF! MILF! It's, it's not MILF's Aquifer. Come on! What do you think this game is? Family friendly? <laughs> Have you ever met a plumber? Is this hooked up? No, that's off. Okay, we'll turn this on. And... Yep, okay. Whoops, didn't mean to drop that. Good, everything is all piped in. We are generating resources. We can start putting the water hooks over on here as well. I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five... Might be a good start, and we've also got one, two, three. We've got we've got another two. We can always extend it out by another length of elbow, but we don't really need to just yet. So let's get our hooks, which are actually in the truck, so it's probably going to be easier just to drive the truck around to the other side of the lake right here. Good. There's way more endings, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, in the Stanley Parable, there are heaps and heaps and heaps of endings. It's basically a pick a path. Uh, I'm lost. I, I have a water filter. Okay, I'm not, I'm not lost anymore. I don't know if this is right. Do we want to stick it on top? Maybe? Or do, do we want to, like, hook it onto the side? Like this. I like that. I like it on the side, honestly. Good. We'll do it on the sides. One, two, and there's also going to be another one right here. Grant! And we'll also get another two on this side right here. There, and one more. Okay, so... At this point, the machines will be taking zero damage at all. So we never need to repair them. We never need to repair the machines. Oh, I spoke way too soon. Let's actually repair them all because they can't go down in durability now. It's a good time to do so. And that got rid of the uh, repair tools, which we were kind of keeping underground. So now I think we just need to keep a repair kit above ground. And every time one of the water filters breaks, we are A-OK. -okay. I think. The infinite hole ending? The button ending? Oh, you guys are talking about Stanley Parable, right? Thanks for your business. It actually is. Uh, it's uh, Sorry, it's not actually MILF's Aquifer. That is just the uh, kind of pseudonym that I've given to the MILF's Aquifer. We haven't seen any MILFs there whatsoever, which is actually really good because if we dug one up, I highly doubt it would be alive, quite frankly. Uh, so we are here for... Why did we just come here? Why did we just come here? There was a reason for it. Okay, we just hooked up all of that. That's because we're not supposed to be here. We're supposed to be in the other store. Uh, we'll grab all of this money, all of this delicious money, and we'll drop it in here and we'll buy a repair kit. We'll just keep this one as kind of like a, a last-ditch effort next to all of the others, all of the other water filters that we've just set up. I think that's going to be the way. I think, I think this is probably the most ideal setup that we could have because now we can very thoughtlessly plug in heaps and heaps and heaps of machines into the setup that we've got, and it'll just absolutely spew out resources. Kind of like we had in that four and a half hour stream that I did when the save was bugged. Fortunately, not bugged. Okay, good. And we'll take that. Good. This is my favorite song on the album, by the way. A great one. But I'll be happy when I die. Uh, we have three grants worth of gold. Three grand's worth of gold is probably quite a bit. We're probably more interested in the iron at this point now, aren't we? We could probably actually... You know what? Let's start building a house. I think that's going to be a good idea. Let's build a house. 
I'm going to build it in the same place we tried to build it last time. Have you seen Warframe's wheel lift together? No, I have not. I have not seen that whatsoever. I've never heard of it. I used to play Warframe. I actually, I still have the, uh, what is it called? Ah. Oh. There were, when the beta for the game came out in 2011, I jumped on it and I signed up. I got an account that had one of the three starter classes at the time, which are now classes that you can't get. I still have the electric one from that beta on my account. Very cool. Very cool. Although I haven't played it since like maybe 2018, I think. Played probably the last time I played Warframe. It's a really fun game. I love it. Okay, so we're here. We want to sell everything that we have. All of this gold right here. And I think we're probably going to want to get a bunch of automated smelters. Because it's a little bit fiddly to deal with all of those pots, isn't it? Uh, we'll come in here. This is where we're buying it. Yes, definitely. Let's go ahead and do it. We'll get two of them. I don't think I'll ever need to get the electric crystals in an ingot in a timely fashion. So we're just going to do this for the Clausium and the iron that we already haven't done. Okay, we'll come over here. And since we've still got a fairly comprehensive wallet, we are not going to leave it behind. We'll do that and then we'll start getting a house together, I think. We could probably even get a bunch of... Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get a bunch of platforms so that we can actually get a house up and running at some point. Okay, good. Put that there. I actually figured out how to do this as well, how to kind of uh, filter all of the items into the back of this truck, even though it's way too skinny to feasibly house all of the items that we want to back into this truck. Oh, the buckets are heinous, aren't they? Disgusting. You can still get vault. Oh, really? Really? Because you couldn't last time I played it. It was uh, removed from the game. It's still a starter? Crazy. Warframe is pretty trash if you don't know about it and want to play it. Only six classes and weapons. Mm, There's so, so much more to Warframe. It is so big. It is so, so big. Honestly, I probably spent maybe 300 hours last time I tried to play it, and it, it was just too much. It, there was too much content for me to actually get through, especially with all of the open world areas and such. I couldn't get through it. I was way too overwhelmed. I couldn't finish it. Okay, I'm getting a weird issue. I think the truck might be a little bit too close. Let's just go ahead and back it out. Okay, I'm happy with this. Uh, we'll slip them through here. We will put these here and we will buy them. Boop, there we go. And we're just going to kind of like hold them up there. And then we want to... What do we do? Is it Q? Yeah, we want to drop it into the back platform. Okay, good. And we'll put that one there in the exact same place because we know it works. Put that one there, and we'll take this one, put it up here too. We'll buy it, very good, and let's drop this one here, and we'll drop this one also in the same spot right there. Very good. We're probably going to get maybe, I don't know, 10 of these things. Might be a good idea. Maybe 12, actually. We'll make a 3 by 4 house again, I think. Good, and we'll drop that there, and we'll drop that one there. Good. It's a little bit of a shame that you can't stack items on top of each other without them clipping in the, in the shops, which is a little bit of a shame. There's tons of tons of stuff. The game slaps. Yeah, I fully agree, uh, Goldie. Warf Warfare is another game. I've never heard of Warfare. Oh, you're not talking about, like, uh, the Call of Duty one, are you? Because that kind of sucked. That kind of sucked. I feel like that was a, a bit of a damp fart. Call of Duties have been a bit of a damp fart. I'm actually holding out hope for Call of Duty Black Ops 6. That one looks really, really good. I don't think Willem Dafoe would tie his name to something that actually sucks. You know, I've got a lot of trust in Willem Dafoe. He seems to be a very, very good judge of uh, media. Yeah, it, it's, it's really hard to find a bad thing to say about Warframe. It, it's kind of clunky when you first, like, start playing it, but once you get the hang of the... Uh, once you get the hang of the... Not the mechanics, but the structure of the levels. It's so breezy. It's so much fun. It's a big time sink. What was it? The, um, there was a, a bit of a meta when I was playing the game that no one was really talking about when I was playing the game. It was the melee weapon that had two blades on one side and a shotgun in the middle. It basically gave you a free, a free gun. That, in Warframe, absolutely kicked ass. Okay, we should have... We probably should have enough of these resources here to at least lay out the foundations for a house. So let's go ahead and go back home with our heads held high, knowing that we didn't cheat or anything like that. And we we just have everything that we need organically. We have done it all ourselves. 
feels pretty good actually. It actually feels like I've I've done a little bit of work, but I know I haven't because it's a video game. You left 40 bucks. That's absolutely fine. Uh, we're going to go back there. That'll basically be a free 40 bucks when we go back there to get the other materials for the house. Okay, let's... Uh, I tried to jackknife it in there, but the physics wouldn't allow me to do so. Let's go ahead and back it up here. Good. All right, how are we looking in terms of production? Uh, pretty good, actually. Yeah, this is nice. I wonder how much iron we already have. We probably already have enough to get another machine. Got to be said, probably enough. Okay, let's go ahead and flip this so that the flat part is on the bottom. Good. I'll put this one here and we'll start lining it in from there, I think. Good. And over here. Boop, there we go. The reason I have the notches on top is so I can gauge distance. Basically, how the game works is uh, every block is about a meter. Or I like to think. It may not be exact, but it's, it's pretty damn close. So these kind of two by two blocks are two meters. I like that. I, I like know exactly how wide things are. Put one here and another one over here. Good. I'm going to move this out of the way because we don't want it there. We'll put this one down just over here as well. Very good. Wonderful. And we want to put this one here. Excellent. And let's take this one. We'll stick it over here. Good. I don't think we really have to notch it into the embankment. Might not be necessary, but further down there, we'll definitely start doing that. All right, we've got uh, almost the foundations for a house here. One there and one here. How many did we end up with? More than we actually needed, which is wonderful. So this is going to be the area of our house, essentially. We're going to build our house on this. Let's go ahead and sleep. We just teabagged ourselves. Does that mean your character is like one meter and 20 centimeters compared to those? Maybe. We could be short. I don't actually know many tall engineers, personally. I've, I've worked in the trades for about five years. I don't know any tall engineers. I know a couple of tall engineers, but no, it's very uncommon, I have found, to find engineers taller than, like, six foot, which I am, I am bang on. I'm 187 centimetres. I am the definition of six foot, so which isn't really a brag. If you just, if you literally just cross the finish line, it's not really a brag. He's short, he's small. My granddad's over six foot somehow, and he's an electrical engineer. I know a lot of sparkies who are tall. That, uh, that seems to be a common thing. I don't know many plumbers who are tall, though. I, I know a lot of really short plumbers. Don't know. Although, all of this is anecdotes. So, you know, take from it what you will. Good. Okay. Uh, let's see what we have uh, piped out. Actually, we still have the other machines to hook in, don't we? We still have this auto smelter that we could afford. That we are going to replace this one here with, I think. Let's go ahead and just hit this lever right here. Stop the production from flowing. And we'll go ahead and move it. We need the building hammer to unstick all of the things that we've stuck there. Okay, let's take this hammer right here and we will unstick a couple of the furnaces. This one right here can go and this one right here can go as well. Wonderful. Let's move these pots. Uh, oh, we actually need a cast, don't we? Can we pour it into here? No, we can't. Okay. Let's go ahead and find enough to buy a single cast. Smaller than the shortest person on the world? What, at six foot? That's pretty unreasonable. Uh, any money in here? Yes, perfect. Okay, let's get a cast. We'll empty out these pots. I'm surprised we don't have a cast already, to be honest. Let's go ahead and buy this casting mold right here. Wonderful. 42 bucks, still worth it. Let's buy it. Let's come over here and we will cast out these pots. And then we'll think about building the rest of the house. I think I'm, it would definitely be worth it, honestly, to have a house to come back to after a long, hard day of engineering. Right, uh, pour that one. That is a big ingot. Oh my God, that is huge. Where is the scales? There it is. How much is this? Enough for another two machines? Yes, it is. It's almost enough for another four machines, actually. That's insane. Wow. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Go ahead and move that furnace, and we will put this one right here. We can probably move these up a block as well. Do we want to move it up a block? Can't really get away with doing it, necessarily. Okay, here. No, that's not going to filter into the pot. Okay, we definitely want it to face out uh, from down there. Let's go ahead and empty the Clausium ingots. Wonderful. So we've got these two hot pots. Delicious. I love hot pots so much. That's such an awesome concept. If you guys have not heard of a, of a hot pot, you guys are in for a world of a treat. They're amazing. They're like a, uh, I think they're Chinese, a culture thing. 
it's a gigantic pot of soup, essentially, and you're supposed to sit around this, this soup while it cooks, and uh, you kind of dip the entrails and cook it in real time while you talk with all, all of your friends and family. Love it. I love it so much. Hot pots are so socially awesome. Uh, where's the other pot that we have? It's in the back of the truck, right? If we didn't take it out, it's in the back of the truck. There it is. Good. Okay. We probably also want to move these blocks right here because they're not really doing us any good either. Okay, I'll do that. They're a little bit in the way, unfortunately, and we'll leave that one as, as a height. Uh, we can't put that down there for some reason. I think we need to maybe mine it out a little bit more. Can we put that one down there? No. Okay, we've got to dig out the earth here a little bit to fit these blocks. We'll just leave them over here. We'll probably need them eventually. But we can now turn everything back on because everything's all hooked up. Oh, poos. Uh, I have no way of getting over here now. Let's take one of these blocks and we'll put it right in the corner. Right there. Excellent. Good. And we'll go ahead and turn this bad boy back on. Wonderful. And everything should be back to smelting efficiency. So, we can get another two machines. We should probably do that. We have 38 dits of Klausium, which is actually crazy. I know what they are, and I want to try them. They sound so good. Oh my god, I was drooling. I know. Hot pots are probably one of the only food that does that for me, as well as kind of like crispy chicken sushi. Sorry, Maki. Maki. It's Maki. We are basically uh, Japan's neighbours. More so Japan's neighbours than... Australia's neighbours, and here in New Zealand, especially southern New Zealand, we definitely take our sushi seriously. Like, a surprising amount of seriousness goes into our sushi here. It's not just crap. It's not just raw fish, like strips of raw fish. Uh, that would be real sushi, but uh, no, we, we get maki here. We love our maki. Dino nuggets? I uh, probably don't want to put dino nuggets in a hot pot, but you could definitely put them in a maki. You can stick anything in a maki. Maki is a bed of rice with the seaweed underneath and a couple of toppings on top of it in a line, and then you roll it up, essentially. That's what most white people think that sushi is. Usually a lot of cultured people don't really immediately... Well, I, I, probably actually most people just think of sushi as just being maki, right? Empanadas are good. I don't know what that is, but I'm an I'm a absolute fiend for a burrito. I love burritos. And chimichangas. Love them. Okay, uh, let's think about maybe buying some housing. I lost. I lost, guys. I bopped. Oh, no. I bopped. I bopped. No. It slaps. No. For everybody watching the uh, video in the future, this is uh, Hollywood Undead's new album. You still haven't lost? Seriously? How can, you, how can you avoid this? What is this one? Evil. Hollywood Undead's deluxe edition album of Hotel California. Evil. Evil is where I lost. I haven't heard this half of the album. That's why I stuck it on the, uh, you bop, you lose. Me either. We are the same. Ah, oh, you guys. You have no souls. You have no souls. Okay. But uh, do follow that page, because it's not going to be, uh, like, rap and trap all the time. It's not going to be, like, stupid party music at all times. Uh, there are going to be very, very, very uh, varied degrees of music in there. Okay, so I kind of want a little bit of a workshop around here to put these scales on. Uh, we want to turn these around right here. So now we can essentially just pour things out like this. We can weigh them. 264.4 kilograms and five and a half thousand dollars of value. That's pretty damn good. And we'll put it straight back in there. Now, I'm pretty sure that we also won't knock anything down onto the ground. Oh, that's heaps. Uh, let's take this other brick of iron right here. We can now create another two sets of machines if we just put these blocks into this furnace and we will... Whoop, there we go. Wonderful. So this will get us double production. Oh, oh, so close, actually. If we had 800, that was the case. I can't eat seafood. I tried it once, so I couldn't get up from my bed. Oh, that sucks. I'm so sorry to hear that, Juju. That, uh, that is absolutely the worst. On top of that, you don't, it doesn't have to be seafood. Sushi does not have to be seafood. You can have, like, anything inside of a maki roll, which is what everybody seems to think sushi is these days. Uh... But real sushi is just kind of like raw spiced fish. I, d I don't think it's really the taste of many people, to be quite honest. I don't think anybody looks at a, at a rotting fish rubbed in herbs and thinks, I can't wait to eat that. Tried it once and I was unable to leave the toilet. 
It sucks too. That it, all of that absolutely sucks. I hate food poisoning and salmonella and stuff like that. It's the worst. No one likes it. No one wants it. No one likes it. Okay, the sorting system is pretty good so far. We could probably just ignore it for a bit. If we have enough money, we do have this brick. What the hell are we doing? We've got this block of iron right here as well. Is this the big one? Yeah, that's the big one. Okay, so we'll leave this in the pot for now, I think. And we'll just come back to that real soon. I'll take a look at how much money we've got. How much is this? That's seven and a half thousand buckery booze. <laughs> My God. That is absolutely insane. We've got seven and a half grand right here. Great. I'm loving this production, by the way. Let's go into town, and I'm going to make the big danger dangler decision of buying a gem cutter and a hook centralizer, which are basically the two things that we're missing. I'm going to stack these up right next to the house. Good. And we'll put that one there. Good. And uh, I suppose we'll just try and place this up above this and just drop it on there. Yep, that'll do. Oh, I didn't actually realize this was a technique that worked. Oh, my days. This is, this is functional. I love this. Wow, look at our stack! Oh, that is precarious, and it's right next to our bed as well. Okay, I don't like it anymore. Right, let's go into the... Let's go into the... Let's go into the store. Let's go into the store. We've got a lot of money on us. Well, we've got a lot of assets on us. Liquid assets, which we're going to turn into seven and a half thousand bucks. I wish I could eat crap again. It was so good. Ugh. I tried sushi without seafood, and it tastes like trash. What? Did you really? Did, was it Maki? Because I'll tell you what, I make a mean, mean marquee roll. I'm, I can make them myself. Uh, what I do is I tend to take, like, um, uh, uh, kind of like packaged chicken steaks, which already have a lot of spices and stuff on them, and then I lay them on a bed of vegetables and rice. That tends to be the balance that uh, people really, really like out of my marquee. But you also need to get the vinegar rice. I don't know if you use, uh, sorry, the rice vinegar. I don't know if you use the rice vinegar, but that's like the quintessential part of sushi as well. You got to do a cooking stream. A lot of people have actually been requesting that I try like viewers recipes. I might do that. I might do that. I had to learn how to be a good a good cook um, because my dad was putting me to shame. Although my main skill, we don't want that on the truck. My main skill is to take a crap food and then make it taste really good, like a uh, really really trash rump steak. Literally, like, well, the, when I was. Young, they were about five bucks a flank uh, at the supermarket. I get one of those. You'd rub it with rock salt and uh, garlic, garlic herbs, and a little bit of pepper, and then you'd fry it. They turn out tasting like it's a forty dollar plate at a restaurant. Really, really good. Do you know any scrambled egg recipes? Because I got a really nice one. I do actually. Um, there's been one that's been floating around on the internet uh, by this Australian chef named Nate. He's been uh, cooking up a bunch of what he calls bum nuts. I love that word so much, bum nuts. But yeah, no, um, he basically took my recipe and uh, made a video out of it, which was very surprising. And my best friend, Carl, basically made me watch this entire video. And then I realized, that's how I make, that's how I make scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs go hard. Yeah, they do. And they're really good sources of proteins. Okay, why were we here? We were here for a reason. We were here to buy none of these hooks. I'm browsing at this point. I'm literally browsing. Uh, we probably want one of these magnifying glasses, honestly. To be honest, so we can see the repair condition of the water filter hooks. Hooks! That's what we're after. We're at the wrong store. So we want to buy this magnifying glass and let's bugger off to the other place. Conveyor Nation. We'll put this in here. Yeah. I'm almost the weight of queso. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I have literally no idea what that means. Okay, good. Um, so we're here and we want the hooks. We want a gem polisher hook, which we surprisingly don't have yet. And we also want to centralize a hook because they're just really, really handy and they kind of save us headaches in the long run anyway, especially when the game gets to the frame dip stage of capitalism. You know how there's like, um, there's, there's early stage capitalism, there's mid stage capitalism, there's late stage capitalism. And there's of course the one that nobody gets to, re to record because society's fallen by then. Uh, but there is of course... Uh, the other uh, capitalism that I just mentioned right there. Frame dip. Frame dip capitalism. For the safety of the earth, do not jump if you're almost that heavy. What the hell is queso? You're leaving me in the dark here, guys. All right. Let's back out of here. We got the hooks. We got the hooks we needed. 
Uh, we're not going to worry about building a house until we get back to the city just yet. But we should be in a very, very good place to set up some automation. I mean, we've already done that, to be quite honest. Oh, hey, this guy's that guy that got knocked into the river and he ne never left. Okay, he doesn't want to go back into the river, it seems. But I could probably bunt him in if I'm sneaky enough like this. Bop! Oh, damn. It. There he goes! He's gone! Okay, he's on one of our machines. He's coming back. Is he going to fall into the hole? No. Sir! Stop right there! Uh, great. I've got, I've got a gift for you, my friend. <laughs> oh, done! Okay, so the quest! The quest has been completed! The curse has been lifted. Sacrifice, sacrifice. Sacrifice! Sacrifice, Herbert! We'll try and get a few more knocked down here as well every time we opportunistically see them walking past. How does that sound? Okay, let's fill in that hole with... I, I know what everyone's going to say. Everyone wants their favourite thing to fill the hole. They want this pot. There we go. <laughs> like a glove. My soul has been freed from your headphones. I'm free! Nice. It feels good, doesn't it? I didn't actually... I was, I was looking this whole stream for someone to jam in that hole and the opportunity just popped itself up. Oh, I love being a scheming opportunist. Uh, we got a lot of uncut gems here. Let's change this fact with the gem polisher that we just bought from the store. Okay, let's... Park that there, and we're, oh, I'm, I'm disoriented by the pots. We're going to go ahead and do a, a real quick sleep when we get a teabag ourselves, I think. There we go. Teabagged a little bit. A little bit. Yep, okay. Our Cloutium is still there, our lucky Cloutium. We are never getting rid of that. If there is, like, a display podium, we're going to stick that bad boy right on there. Okay, we've got the gem polisher right here. This thing is fantastic. I love this thing so much. It takes a lot of the hassle out of the game. Maybe right here? Yeah, I think right there. And I think that the hook centralizer should probably hook in like real close to where all of the ores are coming in from. Ah, there's a flat one right here. So if we can do it right here, we'll centralize all of these ores right there. Great. Okay, now we've got a straight line of ores coming in. Nothing is going to go wrong at this point. We've also done the sacrifice. I'm a trap you on a microphone. You're going to have hearing loss, buddy. Too late, my soul is free. I'm stuck in my gaming chair. You should expand production now. Yeah, that is actually a really good idea. I really should. Let's go ahead and pour out this iron. We'll see what we've got here. It should be 800 kilos. Wow, 900 kilos. That is excessive. Wow, let's put it in the mess of buckets back here. Uh, we also want this here magnifying glass real close to all of the productive enterprise over this way. And the reason we want this is because we want to see how... Okay, that one's almost busted. That one's almost busted. I'm actually going to go ahead and do some preemptive engineering right here. Boop, boop. I'm going to repair those. In fact, let's just use the whole thing, honestly. Why not? I know it's a bit of a waste, but money is coming to us in droves at this point, and we, we need the production up. Good. Let's go! Good luck. It'll break. It cannot be break. If you enter the property, you'll be immediately arrested. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt any property in this game will remain not mine. Oh, perfect. This is a good opportunity to get another one of the uh, the upside down buckets, right? Uh, maybe this one here that's kind of like space normally. All right, that's good. I like this. <laughs> one of them is completely upside down. I love that. Uh, we actually didn't want to go down this route, though. We actually wanted to go to Ice Helm, which is... Nowhere near this uh, city right here of Bridgeport. I did a jump right there. I did a Dukes of Hazard jump. Let's knock this person up into the sky or not. Uh, let's knock this person up into the sky. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I'm not going to argue with it. Let's knock this guy up into the sky as well. There we go. And away he goes. Oh, we can actually run him over again, but I don't think we should. Two hidden runs in one go is probably not amazing. You mean my home? He was going to sit, just try to sit on my gaming chair with my soul in it? That would be the worst hell in the world for your soul to be trapped in a really comfy chair. Because the only thing that you would experience for the rest of your life is the feeling of sweaty ass. That would be it. That would be the, the rest of your life. 
Okay, I'm going to back this bad boy in here so that the uh, beast craps out a couple of machines right into my back end right here. Human centipede style. Uh, let's take this here. <laughs> sorry for that reference, by the way. Really sorry for that reference. It's just what crossed my mind. I'm jumping down. Vertigo time! Oh, that actually gave me a little bit of vertigo. Thank you! Uh, we can get two of each machine as well, which is pretty good. Alright, let's go ahead and craft two of these machines that are already on the podium that we've already crafted earlier today. One machine! Ah, 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 ah. Let's go ahead and feed the beast with this bad boy right here. Boop. And it's gone. Wonderful. Gone forever. Never to be seen again. Uh, we still have a lot of iron... Oh, we, uh, we left the leftover iron here last time. That was, uh... Generous of ourselves? Or negligent? I can't really tell. We only want one bar, though, so let's just compartmentalise everything here. Uh, we need another one of these machines right here. Boop. And we're going to take this bad boy and we're going to drop it all the way over here. Boop. There we go. I love that feature, actually. I didn't know that was even in the game until the cursed playthrough yesterday. Okay, let's start plugging in this bad boy. Let's start making some of those. And we will use the excess iron that we still have. What am I talking about, excess iron? This is a really expensive one. This is where two-thirds of all of the materials are going. Uh, drop that there. And it's gone. It's gone forever. Never coming back. Aren't you trying to be family friendly? What do you mean, me? Family friendly? Well, uh, like, it's a perk. It's a perk. I basically... The thing is, I promised myself that I would just swear less because it's fun to do and not to hear. And I stand by that. So I'm not really... I'm not really trying to, like, appeal to children specifically, but... You know, it's a, it's a consequence of just not swearing much. Good. That's gone forever. Wonderful. And um, I'm also going to take this bar with us. Did we get two of them? I think we got two of them. We'll go topside and check. Most of YouTube kids only got old videos. Really anything new? Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people who are trying to, like, exploit the YouTube kids thing by shoveling out a bunch of AI videos at the moment. So it's not really a place that people really want to be. Oh, that's handy. I think this is the first time the lift has actually been here for us. Ah, that's very lucky. Thank you, game. Okay, we'll see whether or not we need to go back in there very shortly. We've got two grinders, yes. And we have... Well, we got two thumpers. Excellent. So we've got everything that we need. Um, whoops. I'm going to go ahead and get the bar of iron that we kind of left on the ground in the doorway over here. Right here. Yes, this bad boy right here. And I'm going to whack it into the back of the ute. Awesome. And now we're back off to double our productive enterprise. Wow. Wowie. Well, it's for people under 13, so that's where they should be. I don't know, like... Is it, it, if, if they're not harming anybody, I don't mind kids being on YouTube, to be honest. Although that is also a hot take. I, I know a lot of people don't really like having their um, their genres mixed with... with uh, what do you call it? Censorship. Mass mass censorship based on the uh, the Copper Act. The Children Protection the Thingy Act, that one. Which really confuses me. Why would you demonetize people for stuff on a platform which isn't meant to have kids on it? What about Copper? Yeah, exactly. Um, I think the Copper thing is really just... I don't know. Like, it seems more like policy than applied law on YouTube. It seems like policy is really dictating a lot of the YouTube kid stuff. I wouldn't necessarily say that a lot of individuals would make the decisions YouTube's made when it comes to the whole copper thing. Uh, great. We actually need more room to... <laughs> I forgot he was down here. Oh, I forgot he was down here. Oh, hello, Herbert. Um... This is embarrassing. <laughs> Let's give him some lighting so we don't forget he's down here. Uh, or not. Yep, okay. Well, wow, he's real keen for that tomato soup, huh? Okay, we can't put that there. Can't put that there. Can't put it there. Uh, can we put it here? Yes! Alright, now we've given him some creepy underlighting. I'm happy with this. Oh, uh, yeah, that's very creepy. I love it. I actually love it. Okay, we need our pickaxe, which I think might be topside. So let's go up topside. I probably didn't have to unstuck myself right then, but I did anyway. <sighs> what about that idiot Ryan Toys review? 
Oh, no. He has also come under fire recently for being a, a, a little bit of a degenerate, I think. I think maybe Turkey Tom did a video on him. I keep up with a lot of Turkey Tom. He, he tends to uh, fill in the void of the YouTube dramas that I should be up to date with as a YouTuber. I don't know. If he doesn't do it, uh, chances are I probably won't see anything about it. Your new employee. You think Herbert is my new employee? He's asking me for tomatoes. What kind of employee wants payment in tomatoes? That, that's just... He's up to something. He's got to be up to something, right? Herbert's got to be up to something. To want tomatoes from us. Do I look like I farm tomatoes, Herbert? I say all of this in direct earshot of this guy, knowing that he's already had his... Eardrums blasted out by the thumpers. <laughs> Poor bastard. He's wanting a fair wage. Don't judge his tomato payments. He's going to upsell them. To who? <laughs> no one's buying. Actually, a lot of people are buying. But at the same time, I really don't think I should be paying an employee in assets. That's usually a recipe for, for failure. Now, we still need a couple of straight conveyor belts. I think we've got a couple topside that we can just hook into this uh, kind of... A little bit yucky design that we already have here. Oh, what's that? The hell is that? Oh, we found uh, one of the relics. Wonderful. Okay, so we can actually go and put that in the temple. I don't know what we get for it, and I don't even think there's any kind of like fanfare or victory music that plays when we actually get these artifacts, but we can collect artifacts in this game. Just in case nobody knew. <laughs> no one else is farming, that's why it's so useful. Yeah, but to pay him in tomatoes, I have to farm them. That's the thing. That's the big issue with all of this. I have to farm the tomatoes to pay them in the tomatoes, which means I have to eventually start the monopoly on the tomatoes. So why would I not just sell the tomatoes and skip the middleman? He's not doing anything either. He's just sitting up there and uh, letting the thumpers blow his ears out. And demanding that we make him something. He's not even doing anything. What a dick. Honestly, we could probably do without him. All right, so we're going to need uh, two T's. We're actually going to need to mine that out a little bit further, I think. Good. Have you seen a single piece of food in your time? Okay, you got me there. You got me there. Oh. Hey, the bucket makes a really, really good pickaxe holder. Physically, that wouldn't work. But, you know, physics don't work here. Here's your scapegoat. Oh, yeah, that is actually worth a tomato. He's, he's going to make a good scapegoat, especially with that horrid underlighting on his face. What a jerk. In fact, let's go ahead and get a thumbnail for the uh, for the series that we're going to be doing. There we go. Took a thumbnail of Herbert. Alright, he's getting bumped around the place. We're probably actually going to have to box him in there with a a couple of a couple of dirty pipes. Which we don't really have. Okay, we'll have to go topside now, I think. And we're going to have to get the infrastructure for the items down south, aren't we? So we're going to need uh, an elbow or two. You need some straights for the conveyor belt. Please don't bring this back up. Oh, you penis. Okay, that's not going to work. we got to drop everything down here. Let's go ahead, grab our pickaxe out of our bucket, and we'll dig straight up from here. We'll make it a bit of a pitfall, and we'll make it a little bit generous so that we can start dropping supplies down here, I think, would be the best option. If I get sued, he takes the blame. Yeah, he's definitely going to take the blame. All right. Let's go ahead and open up this hole so that we can uh, kind of fist a bunch of resources down here. I don't really like the idea of Herbert being able to see the light of day again, but this is just like the uh, the King of Retail Hernando fiasco all over again. God, that was such a good game. I love that game so much. I can't wait until the uh, second one comes out. Okay, so we need uh, a T. We need two T's. An elbow, two straights. Two T's. Four T's. Two straight. No, four T's, two elbows, one straight. Four T's, four T's, two straights, because I'm holding an elbow. Four T's, two straights, four T's, two straights, four T's, two straights. Where are our uh, materials? Just up here, okay, good. Four T's, two straights, four T's, two straights. Four T's, two straights. Please don't let me forget. Four T's, two straights. Four T's, two straights. All right, good, we'll uh, drop this here. Four T's, that's an elbow, that's neither of what we want, that's unlucky. Four T's, two straights. All right, one straight here. Uh, we probably actually need four straights, don't we? Two, four T's, four straights. Okay, three T's, three straights. We're out of T's, I think. 
Uh, need another two straights. One more straight needs to go up here. And uh, we're good for straights. I did not expect that to get wedged. What the hell is going on with this hole? Oh, it's probably the relic that's floating amongst it. Okay, uh, we'll put this one here. And we also need a straight to go here, which means we also need a straight to go here, right next to it. And we need an elbow to kind of curl around here. Wonderful. And we're going to need another T that hooks into this because we're probably going to expand out further that way as well. Now, the reason I wanted these other straights is so that we can hook these conveyors in here and here. Okay, it's a little bit of a fiddly thing that we've got here, but I think it's definitely going to pay off. Can't really see much either. So how many straights? No, we don't need straights. We need T's, don't we? We need one, two, three T's. We need three T's. And that's basically all we need to hook in the other two machines in their full entirety. Oh, piss off. <laughs> piss off, Herbert. I'm already sick of him. I'm going to go to. Good night, because it's 1.20 a.m. Goldie, you have a great sleep. You too, Gunner. You have a great sleep too. Or whatever you do at night. Honestly, I have no idea. If you get possessed by some kind of otherworldly entity and float around the town causing uh, mayhem just so that the... Uh, just so that the demon can stretch its legs. That's absolutely fine by me. I don't mind. What, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Okay, so we need a few more teas, I think. There we go. We'll get this wooden cart on our backs and we'll go and buy them. See, Yinsen, can't wait for the Undertale stream. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, okay, Juju, I'll see you tomorrow. You, you have a great time. All right, let's drop this cart in front of the teas that we need to get because we need to get a bunch of them. We only have elbows, hilariously, which is usually the opposite of how these runs go. We've probably got enough money to afford these. We definitely have enough money in the back of the tractor. I think in the next episode we'll work on maybe getting ourselves some better housing. We'll, we'll get some better housing. We'll get some better digs. Okay, I'm happy with this. Let's get these teas. Do we have enough in the bucket? 313, 364. We do not. Let's go ahead and get our money. I ain't Slender Man or something. <laughs> well, do you actually know that, though? Do you actually know that you're not Slender Man? Okay, let's go ahead and whack this in the hole. And we bought it. We bought all of the teas. Wonderful. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead, get the artifact. We're going to haul it into the artifact room for posterity. And then I'm going to go ahead and just start dumping things into this kind of access hole that we've created. Oh! Oh, 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 round two, round two. Oh, he got up. Okay, damn it. I was hoping to bump that guy into the, into the hole with Herbert, but it doesn't seem like that's the case at all. That's a shame. I have returned. Hello there, Gunner. Hello there, Gunner. Okay, uh, so we almost had a second soul for the, for the hole. A second, a second soul for the hole. We are going to take this here relic and we are going to go and drop it into the temple right over here. I'm not tall, I'm a stump. Ah, oh, he'll grow. Everyone does eventually until they don't. Okay, I'll drop that there. I don't think it does anything. I think we need to collect a bunch of relics and then we'll get something cool, but I don't think it does anything so far. Unless we kind of have to like find all of the pieces of the relic and then fix it? I don't know. I don't know. I've never actually got all them together. So now that we've uh, freed up this hole right here, we're going to go ahead and drop a bunch of T-pipes down just so that we can hook in these other two machines, which we could realistically actually just drop down this hole right here. Okay, good. One. Right here. We are going to pipe it into this area. We are going to put the T-pipe here. Uh, too close. Right here. Right here. Good. And we will... Rotate it so that it's more like this. Good. And we want one right here. Great. Okay, so we've got the infrastructure. Now we need the machines. One here. That is backwards. There we go. And we'll turn it on because it can't take damage. We're going to unstuck ourselves and we'll go and get the other items from the back of the truck right here. I'm happy to get them one by one as well. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to drop them down this hole and hope for the best, I think. Boop. Yep, that's probably good for it. <laughs> oh, well. As long as it gets to the item steadfast, right? As long as we as long as we do it quickly, it's fine. Alright, we'll drop this down the hole and let's go ahead and get the last one out of the trunk. Uh, we've made a mess of buckets in the back of this thing. This 
This truck is really actually starting to be a bit of a headache. Okay, we have now plugged the hole with machinery. That's not good. Let's go ahead and we'll take this one first and we'll put it maybe here. Okay, can't put anything anywhere. Maybe, nope, that one definitely has to go back where it was, which it can't do. Damn, okay, we've congested this whole hole. No! <laughs> we've made a mess. We've made a real mess. These grinders are now congesting the entire hole. Okay, good. One there, and we'll take this one. We'll stick this one here. We'll flick it on as well. And now we want to put this one here, and we'll take this one, and we'll whack it there. And before we go ahead and jam some dirt up this bummy bum, we're going to go ahead and get the conveyor belt that we actually need to finish off what we are working on here. Where are they? I was certain that we had, like, two spear conveyor belts. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't actually have two spear conveyor belts. My mistake. Oh, huh, strange. All right. What happened to the kidnap guy? Uh, we filled him into the hole. He's still in there. He's definitely still in there. I think if we just uh, come over here and look under the pot. Yep, there he is. He's still down there. Okay. Well, let's actually get a couple of elbows to kind of box him in there. I think that might be a really, really good idea to pin him in so he doesn't think about escaping. Uh, let's block. Whoops. Block it off right here. Right here. Good, yes. Okay, so we can't escape out this way, uh, which is hilarious. We've actually boxed him in, which is very funny. And we still need two more conveyor belts. We can definitely afford it. Let's just go ahead and buy them. We'll buy them, we'll set up this productive enterprise, and then we will be in the clear. What else are we looking at? We've got some coins right here. We are going to drop them into the back of the... into the trucket, and let's go get the last two conveyor belts. I think there's yeah there's definitely not two more conveyor belts that we could use unless we just scavenge the ones at the end of the kind of like gym manufactory now let's do that let's actually save some time because time is money we'll grab these two instead one and two and instead of uh having this kind of like weird interim bit right here we're just going to drop everything off the ledge like so and we'll put that there Nothing was floating into here anyway. Okay, we got two. Excellent. As long as it remains contained, the curse remains at bay. Yes. Yes. We need to We need to create our own curses, I think. Okay, good. Why did we put the increased pressure on the sorting system before we put it on the productive enterprise? That was a little bit silly. I'm just realizing now that that was probably backwards to how we should have been doing it. Fell in the grinder. Whoops. Okay, great. And now we are going to be shoveling some dirt... From here, and we're gonna shove it up this thing's bum bum right here. Boop. There we go. And one more. Right in here. Right up the bum. There we go. Good. Okay, so we've kind of hit a bit of a wall, li a literal wall, as to uh, how we can kind of push out this way. But we're in a really, really, really good place right now. Look at all of this productive enterprise. That is so much stuff, by the way. There is so much stuff here. Why am I still here? Uh, probably because I'm entertaining as hell. Okay, we've double production. It's going to feel really, really good when twice the resources are going to start coming up this pipe right here. I think this is a really, really good place to end the stream, to be quite honest. I have not only run out of time, but I have also gotten to a point where I am really, really pleased with what we've done. We have not, unfortunately, made the house, which we are definitely going to do in the next stream. It's probably going to be the first thing that we do in the next stream gonna make a real nice house overlooking this uh, gigantic mechanical monstrosity we've managed to make but we are in a very very good place oh you can already see the like the multiplication of all of this crap that's being dumped onto the conveyor belts oh that feels so good hold on play a song uh no i'm just gonna end the recording for the youtube guys who watch this video in the future i'm probably not gonna end the stream until a few minutes later so thank you everybody so much for watching Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for the Fixed Hydroneer playlist that I have made. And right over there, you are going to find something else that sounds Australian and I think you'd really like it. Down in the description on this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me and my community at your leisure. You're welcome to it at all times as well. And of course, until the next episode or stream, thank you so much for watching and goodbye!